Konnichiwa, everybody. Hello. Ah. Ah. Hello, chat. Sorry about the delay. Ah. I overslept. Hmm. Good morning. Body, thank you for the gifted. Hey, thank you for the gifted channels and how to thank you for the gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. Oh. Sorry, I kept you all waiting for about like it's all been reading like an hour. <laughs> Boy, sorry, Chad. Oh. Haka was here. Oh, that was nice of him. I don't know why I overslept today. I didn't do anything particular last night. Oh, I guess I was just like really exhausted. I didn't realize it. We spoke about bread. Oh, that's nice. Bed too comfy? <sighs> Honestly, no. The bed's kind of... The bed's kind of meh. Um, if you want to know the truth, the pillow, the blanket, and the mattress cover, they're all disposable covers. Like they, they don't even have like a zipper that you could unzip to clean it and wash it. It's just, it's all disposable kinds. So it's not the greatest, but yeah, we might do what we got. We got good rest. Yeah. I don't know if I did. <laughs> breakfast or brunch no I like literally woke up like like 20 minutes ago I have coffee that's nice important question waffles or pancakes waffles I like waffles because I don't like either waffles or pancakes on their own but waffles have the structural integrity to hold other things so if you were say eating um, like country fried steak or chicken, right? You could cut a little bit of the steak and then like place it on top of the waffle and the waffle will hold that steak. I only had it like once, but like it was so good it stuck with me. But yeah. And things like blueberries. It's really nice when a single blueberry fits into each of those little holes little squares they're like little egg cups for blueberries it's really cute when they all fall into each individual slot just to go fellow thank you for the super long time since i was here life has been a pain but pushing through love coming home and seeing you street knowing the quiet i found truly thank you for being lovely and building this community ah thank you so much for the super thank you thank you i'm I just woke up so my brain doesn't really know what to what to say in response to that, but thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. But uh please be sure to also give everyone wait, everyone here give yourselves a pat on the back too for making the community so welcoming. Yeah. Bubble wobble? Miso butter. That sounds really good. That sounds really good. Sorry, I'm like sipping on my coffee, but it's like way too hot because it just poured it. <sighs> All right, chat. We're gonna go long today. Uh, I forgot what we're we'll doing, but we have the cool sunglasses. Oh, that's right. That's right. This is what we're doing. Hey, Robin, how's it going? Okay, she's busy working. That's fine. We'll let we'll let Robin do her thing. Okay, wait, chat, I have a question. I forgot. Do chickens... Do chickens eat plants? They don't eat plants, right? They only eat, like, grass. Oh, good, we love you lots. Ah, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the soup. Uh, now they only eat grass? Okay. Alright, that's good, that's good. The chickens will mess up my gardens. Real chickens will 
like dig and scratch all over the place and mess everything up, don't they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gotcha. Eight. Haha. <laughs> One of my friends, my chicken, one time my friends eat. <gasps> That's true. That's a thing though. Wait, you can, did you know you can feed chickens chili and it makes them, it makes their eggs better or something. Our chickens vegetarian are omnivores. They're omnivores. They will eat everything. They'll also eat each other's eggs if you give them the chance. So don't give them that chance. All right. We're going to hold on to the gold star large eggs, but then we're going to turn everything else into mayonnaise. Yeah. Mayo. Chickens are wild critters. Funny hugger, thank you for the super. Kainichiwa. I have a bit of a stuffy nose, but otherwise I'm doing good. I had ice cream, and I'm going to work on some right tonight. <gasps> Let's go. I hope you have a good time. I hope you have a good time. Good luck riding. Good luck riding. I hope it goes well. Yeah. They'll also eat mice if hungry now. True, they'll eat pretty much anything. You have to realize that chickens are like dinosaurs. They're like modern dinosaurs. They will they'll eat anything that they get the opportunity to. Okay, let's see. Uh do we did we give do we give Abby a gift? No, we haven't. It's a new week. Let's go give Abby a gift. Yeah. Wait, hold up. I know we have a box at home. Ducks and geese do grad snow. I prefer to eat meat if necessary. Deer do too. There's a terrifying video that I saw a long time ago about... Uh, it was a horse that ate a chick. It was really traumatizing for me when I first saw it. Uh, but there's a couple of videos of just like animals that you wouldn't expect just eating things like there's one about this one video that I saw where a squirrel was like eating like a body of another squirrel and we're like wait a minute I thought squirrels only ate nuts but no they'll they'll eat like insects and stuff too if you give it the chance it is the animal world is intense chat it is very intense squirrels eating birds too yeah deer eating baby birds it's easy to try to like classify in your mind how like nice and soft all the animals are, but at some point you get reminded of just how brutal like the the, the wildlife can be out there. It's insane. How do you even find that video? By being a child and having unrestricted access to the internet because my parents didn't know how to teach me about internet safety. Um, that, that's how, I mean, that's kind of how I learned about a lot of things like LimeWire or Kaza or, um, I don't know. There's, there's another website. I'm not sure if I should say it because like people might go search for the title, but like, there's a website that starts with the letter E, um, that like my friends and I would like dare each other to go and challenge each other to go to, but yeah. Summer's here. It's not really my favorite season. Oh, I love Abigail. We can both enjoy not summer together. Um, it's like, you know how there's like that movie, was it that like movie that came out called Wayne's World or something like that? It's kind of, it rhymes with Wayne's World. Um, kind of. I, some of the older folks here in chat may remember that one. Um, but like it has really like unfiltered, it's like YouTube, but it was like unfiltered and just like people would post the wildest stuff there and it was insane. There you go. Oh, thank you. It's my favorite stone. It's so well pretty. Oh, oh, and I love Abigail. Summer yucky, auto spring, enjoy your rise. Yes. I don't like, I don't like summer. Ah, I am unaware and will remain unaware. That's probably for the best because it's like a very old, old website that was around like in the early 2000s. It did not age well. It did not age well. Marky, I think about the super. Neck deep in koi ripples. I feel like a senpai just from your working on your birthday piece and helping others with their pieces. 
Oh god, that's right. Oh man, my birthday's coming up. I... Oh my god, Haka was talking about that, about how his birthday's coming up so soon. I... Oh gosh. Okay, see, see. Uh... First of all, thank you for the super. Second of all, oh god, I have to prepare for that too. I don't know if I have time to like prepare for it because of all the idle duties. You still got a couple of months. You would think. You would think. Oh wait, hold up, I have to upgrade my thing. I can't. I gotta go get some... Hey, hold up. What were we doing? How does June feel so close yet so far away at the same time? It's kind of wild. Wait, hold up. I need money. I need money. That's the. That's what I was doing. I wasn't gonna go to the mines. I need money. I can't go to the mines right now. I don't have. Um, I don't have enough money to upgrade my tools. I completely forgot. What were we doing? I don't know. It's only been a week, and I completely forgotten. Uh, part of me wonders, like, would it be better to just, like, dedicate a whole month to just only playing Stardew? Or would it be better to have, like, mix and match? Because sometimes I completely forget, because bouncing back between, like, four different games is kind of wild. Cries up bank account. Yeah. I need at least 4,000 more. Well, 3,000 to upgrade my pickaxe. Because I can't keep going further down into the mines, or else I'm going to waste a lot of stamina. Financial crisis real, even in Stardew. <laughs> the Mayo Empire. I need to wait until my second barn is finished. Because we're making a good amount of money from the mayonnaise, but we only have two mayonnaise machines right now. Okay. I think I need to hold on to the muscle. I think that's a community center thing. Why did we start this? How many more days? Does it tell us? It doesn't tell us how many more days. Okay, chat. Let's go. Uh, let me go drop all this off here. Oop. No. Wait. Nessa! Oh, great. Thank you for the 11 months. I was watching the last vod. You said you wanted to see your whole farm. In the bottom settings menu, there's a screenshot option for that. Bottom of the settings menu. Options? At the bottom? <gasps> Whoa! Where does it save to? I don't know where it went. Where did it save to? It doesn't tell me. Is it the desktop? I think it's gone. It's lost now. I will never find it. I like. I would have. I'd appreciate it if it tells you where it, it's on the desktop. Oh god, where is it? Where did it go? <laughs> uh, in the Steam files. Oh no, I have to dig into the Steam files. Of all the things, it's like, I I think that's like one of the most annoying things, like every, because everything goes through Steam, you have to go through like the Steam file, Steam apps, common, Stardew Valley, content, uh, which of these folders is most likely to have a screenshot? And none of them actually, buildings, characters, data, data? Events, TV, festivals, no, don't spoil myself with that. Effects, fonts, loose sprites, maps, maps. Mines. That's not it either. I don't know. It's gone. It's gone. It's vanished. Some stuff saves us in the documents. Alright, let's check out the documents. Uh, users. Shinwiwi. Documents. There is no folder that suggests Stardew Valley. Can't you search your computer? I could, but I would have to search the entire computer because I don't know where it is. <laughs> Does it show up on the Steam page? Uh, let me check. No. Steam only shows me the photos I take with this, 
themes screenshot capture tool. So I think it's that one. It has to be that one. That's like, I have to take it through Steam in order to see it, but that only takes a picture of what I see on my, like on this screen. It's okay though. We'll <laughs> Scroll to the bottom of the menu. It should have a thing. Oh. It's an app data roaming? What the heck? It's an app data. Why is it an app data? Why it's... Oh, my farm is kind of pretty. It looks like a mess. We should clean it all out. But I need to build like a second silo. <clears throat> okay. Wait, do you want to see, chat? Do you want to see? Hang on. Uh, let me grab the right file path. Look at, look at that. Here, I'll turn the game away. That way. All right, that's the map. Yeah. So that's what the whole thing looks like right now. Oh, we can finally start planning things out. I think what we can do is just I want to I want to build like three more silos so that I can chop away all the grass and then just level the whole area. I want to clean the entire place once, but I need to have more grass around there to um, make sure that I can sell or like save all of the make sure I can save all of the hay. That's right, hay. Uh, all right. Thank you for helping me out. I can finally see. All right, wait, chat. Does anyone remember? Does anyone remember how um how much a silo cost? I forgot how much a silo cost, and Robin's busy, so she can't tell me how much it costs right now. Time to plant the farm. Yeah, let's go clean things out. Oh, the little chickens. Okay. I want to be careful and not cut any of this right now because I my silo is full. So because my silo is full, I don't want to waste on any of the hay that I could be harvesting. 100 gold. Okay, how much wood though? How much wood and stone? Okay, let's just clear out all the loose wood here. Because I think we should be getting close to the time when Robin finishes building the other barn. So if we can get enough materials. Oh, oh that's right. It was clay. Wait, do we have clay? Five copper bar, ten clay. Okay, right, let me let's go double check. Wait, I think we should have the copper bars. Copper, copper bars, plenty of copper bars. Oh, just enough. Wait, ten clay. No, no. <laughs> okay, quick into the mines. We need to find clay. I think we have plenty of copper bars because we spent a lot of time trying to find copper in order to upgrade. Um, given that uh, furnaces were the ones that were eating up a lot of the. Wait, wait can we just buy clay? Hot pepper. I don't have hot pepper. Wait, hold up. It's the first of the month. We should buy some we should buy some things. Oh no. Uh 12 days, 11 days to mature. Blueberries? <laughs> Wait! Oh no. I completely forgot about plants. I really want to go back to the blueberries because we did blueberries last time and they were really good. Poppy seeds produces a bright red flower in seven days. I think it's going to be blueberries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen blueberries. Hop starter. Oh! <gasps> Hop starter? We can make hops? 
Wait, no, I didn't want to actually buy it. Oh, darn it. No. Okay, okay. Quick, 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 quick. We'll do clay tomorrow. We'll do clay tomorrow. We gotta get these started because it's already the first day. Completely forgot it's already uh, the first day of summer. Well, now you got at least one. Yeah. Strategic blueberries. You can make pale ale. Oh, I want to, but right now I need money. I really, really want to. Okay, okay. Uh, wait, this means we had to take some of that iron bar and coal. One, uh, sprinkler. One, two, three, four. That gets us 16, which is exactly enough for the blueberries. Perfect. And we have enough copper and iron bars to spare. All right. Um, uh, I guess we'll plant here. Because we can't really... Beggars can't be choosers. No, that's a, that doesn't work. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Yeah, a single hop. Not hops, a single hop. So you can only have one little hop. Okay, and then... Sprinkler. Yeah. There we go. Um, Sorry, grass. We're going to cut, cut this away just to clear out some space. Alright, there we go. And then... One, two, three, four... Sprinkler and one, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Sprinkler. One, two, three, four. And then one more. Uh, one, two, three. We'll keep it compact. We'll keep it compact. Three and four. Got this really cool like pinwheel design going on. I like that. Yeah. Pinwheel. Uh and then over here we'll put the hops. As I don't know. <laughs> I don't like how the sprinkler only hits like the area up top, bottom and down. Like, the, it does like the plus shape, it's kind of annoying. Uh-oh. Okay, oh my god, wait, okay, we'll get rid of it. We'll, we'll, we'll break it, we'll break it. Okay, god. Yeah. Sorry, chat, uh, it's early in the morning. We'll, we'll put them in a straight line. Wait, hold up. In a line. No, I need to buy more before, Ah, oh, shoot. Oh shoot. No wait. The store closes soon. Where are your seeds? The seeds go if we break it. Restart the day. Should we restart the day? No, we have to we have to come in. It's 720 already. No, oh, no. <gasps> we made it. No, we didn't. No, he's gone. <laughs> no. no. We don't have funds for cops yet. We lost a lot of money. Yeah. Ah, oh, my brain. We start. No, we have to commit. We have to commit. Yeah. Oh, sorry, chat. I'm really tired and I wasn't thinking. Okay. Let's go at least water what we do have. Did we water them all? I think we watered them all at the very least. Yeah. Uh, okay. For tomorrow. There. Wait, where's my other... Didn't, didn't I have four sprinklers? You accidentally placed it at the gate? Oh, by the gate. Oh. Oh, there you are. Okay. We should have picked an odd number. Wait. 
down to, down to, down to. Yeah. All right. And now we'll prepare for tomorrow. Oh, it's so dark already. How's it 10? It's 10 p.m. already. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. It's fine. We have. Did we. Wait, hold up. Did we sell? Community center? Community center? No, wait. The carrot doesn't need to go to the community center. It doesn't sparkle. Uh. Hold on to the spring seeds. I guess we could plant some of the mixed seeds too. Is it just that? Yeah, it's just that. Okay, let's sell the carrot. We need the money. No. We're so we're so poor. Alright. Oh. Okay, let's check the weather for tomorrow. Bright and sunny, hooray. Carrot doesn't spark joy. Wait, carrots don't go for... Wait, what? Oh, that's right. We still make good money with the mayonnaise. Yay. I have a question, Shaq. Can you replace hats on pets? I want to give Biscuit the fisherman's hat. Fortune teller. Very displeased today. Uh oh. Right click on them. <gasps> we have a coop. It is our pleasure to inform you that your farm will be featured in next week's up and coming column of Stardew Valley Tribune. Congratulations, we're impressed with your quick progress. SVT. Yay! <laughs> My cousin walked in on screaming, Shinri. I looked up to find you destroyed your crops. Poor cousin had to tell her no vaccinating. Oh no. Thank you for the super. Yeah, I just needed to make. I just wanted to make sure that we did cause any we didn't get into any problems. Thank you for the super though. Let's go blueberries. Yeah, I. Nah, let's not risk it. My brain is still too EP. I'm not gonna move that. Uh, there. A line is fine. All right, chickens. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, wait. Oh, they're ducks. Oh. Okay, where's the other one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ready? Did you get them all? Boopo. Becky. Billy. Oh. <gasps> ducks. Oh my god, there's so many eggs. So many eggs. Oh my god. Are these... They don't eat that much food. I think they eat in the grass? Ooh. They're so cute. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to assume that the eggs also operate on the same pros like progress of the gold large stars. So we're going to go turn these into duck and egg mayo. Wait, can we make another egg mayo machine? Woodstone, earth crystal, copper bar. I think I have enough for one more. <gasps> Woodstone, earth crystal, copper bar. We can make, we can make more. We can make two. We can make two mayo machines. Wait, I can't read the mail then. I get to read the mail surrounded by the smell of... Or I could read the egg... Uh, no, I could read the... I can read the letters surrounded by the smell of mayonnaise. That's what I'm trying to say. Sorry, chat. I like just woke up. I, my brain is like... You know what I'm trying to say, right? Like, the mailbox is here, and the, the mail machines are next to it, so it's like... Yeah. My brain. My brain. <laughs> uh, I, 
don't know why I'm so tired. <laughs> Uh, hey, let's get Shinrich Veter of Eggs. Yeah. All right. Let's go take a look and see. Oh, it's so cute. All right. Chickens. We're going to do chickens. Um. So, my plan right now is we go. It's Tuesday, so Marnie's not going to be there. Marnie's are Wednesdays, right? Uh, oops. Let's go water this. When does this finish growing? Because I kind of want to move it away. Okay. Must be jet lag. No, I haven't traveled yet. I went on a small walk last night around like 11 p.m. And then I got back around midnight and I was watching Haka play Eeb. I never, I never saw him finish the game because, or I didn't see his him finishing the second playthrough, because I went to sleep like halfway through. Tuesday is Zoom before the ladies, so Robin and Marty won't be there. No, Robin, no, I need your services. No, probably the sturdiest coop I've ever built. Hope you get a lot of use out of it. Ah, darn it. Okay, what can we do? What can we? How can we make money? Fish? It's gotta be fishing, right? He did save him. I I guess we could mine. We kind of do need the clay. <laughs> if you talk to her while she's passing the counter, you can still use the shop. Ah, uh, if I had known, I would have like zoomed faster and gotten here sooner. But yeah, let's go into the mines because we need. Five more pieces of clay. Ooh, ooh, grape. Wait, I think Linus wants that grape. Okay, he doesn't want the grape. All right, I'll take it. He was like staring at the grape. And I was like, are, are you gonna have it? Are you gonna have it? Yes, no. The luck today ain't good. Ah, oh, that's right. No, we're only here for the copper. It's okay, we're only here for the copper. Or not the copper, sorry. We're only here for clay. So it's okay. We're not looking for, I just need, I just need dirt. That's all I need. All I need is dirt. Okay, let's go. Okay, ignore all of this. Ignore all of this. Where's the dirt? Give me the dirt. Oh, this is the one over here. The one with the little flower on it. Oh, it's so cute. I'm sorry I have to kill you, but what? That's kind of cool. We don't need this, but that's kind of cool. Uh, you need the special dirt. Yeah. Where's the special dirt? Come on. Where's the dirt? Where's the dirt? There's no dirt. Of course, the one time I want to go look for dirt, I can't find it. Bug meat. Slime. Oh, God, it's so good. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, there we go. Come on. A ladder. I just need dirt. Please. Have mercy. I know it's a bad luck day, but I just need dirt. It can't be everything bad, right? Scratches your door like a puppy with separation anxiety. Hey, Haka. How are you? It's not premium enough. No, I need I need the premium dirt. There it is. Dirt? Dirt? Any dirt? Any dirt, please. Any dirt. No, there's no dirt. Why? How are you, Haka? Thanks for taking care of the coys while I was oversleeping. I don't know why I'm so exhausted last night. Uh, come on, dirt. We talked about bread, it was epic. Man, do you know what? I haven't had bread since I've been to, like, I haven't had, like, sando like, sandwiches, but, like, I haven't had bread bread in a while. It's, like, on. You cook too hard. It was just sausages. Okay. 
And I miss bagels. Yeah, I miss bagels too. I haven't had a bagel in a while. There aren't any bagels in Japan. No, there isn't. Are you serious? There's no dirt? There's the dirt. There's no dirt. Why is there no dirt? I'm so sad there's no dirt. Yeah, toast a bagel with cream cheese, egg, and avocado. Haka, speaking of ba uh speaking of toasters, there's something really cool that you should you want to check out. Level 15? Okay. It's called the Toaster Project. I would I would I would encourage you to check out the thing called the Toaster Project. So basically what the toaster project is, this one dude was like, I wanna know how much work it takes to build a toaster from scratch. Like all the way from scratch, completely. And it's kinda cool. Like the amount of work, cause like he's like, oh, okay, I wanna make plastic on my own. I wanna make them mine the metal and like get the copper to uh, like get the cables and stuff like that. It's really cool. Are bagels your favorite bread? They are. Okay, two clay. I need five more. Or three more. That's like something I would do, right? It's like playing Minecraft in real life. I know, it's really cool. Um, it, it document. It takes him like, um, like a whole year, I think, of calling people and being like, hey, I'm trying to build a toaster. Could I like go into your mines and take some of your ore? And then he has to like process the ore himself and then make the cables himself and then stick it all together. And the hilarious part is, um, spoiler alert, he does make a toaster in the end. Uh, it just melts itself completely when he, uh, like it, it just like nukes itself. Like he turns it on and it just completely melts um, because it, it, he doesn't have the insulation. Um, but like, it's really cool how he documented just how much work it took to build his own toaster from scratch. Um, like successfully toasted bread, which is you know he considers it a success. It's like great, nice, but it's kind of kind of wild if you think about it. Just how much work it goes into making a toaster. Quick before they start. Oh no! Oh no! Quick! Quick! Okay. Oh, thank goodness. But yeah, a microwave from scratch. I'm not sure if that's possible. I don't know, like, if, if a microwave broke, I would have no idea how to fix it. I can fix, like, mechanical things, but when it comes to electrical things, no. Oh, we got the clay! We got the clay! Uh, should we keep going? No, let's just go back home. Die some radiation. <laughs> Reminds me of the channel, How to Make Everything. Oh, that channel is so cool. I used to go to sleep with those videos on. And I'd be like, this is how you make gum. And then they go through the whole process of like how the machines make gum. And the guy who narrates it is like this British dude. British woman. I think they, they I think they trade off like every other episode. But it's like really nice and cozy. <laughs> Could you imagine the look on the person's face and it's like, can I have some of your ore to make this toaster? <laughs> <laughs> Things that you'll never have, like you probably never have heard. Oh wait, hold up. We should go to the community center because it's here. All right. Oh, you're so cute. Wait, hold up. We have things, right? This one. Oh, I, I did bring my conch with me. Hmm. I miss the Discovery Channel. It doesn't hit the same anymore. The Discovery Channel is interesting nowadays wait why was this one jiggling i don't have any of these what why are you shaking i don't have anything is it just telling me that it's summertime so that's why it's shaking okay i know i have ah great Do I anything else? Wood? No, I want to save these for now. Mm. No, I think that's it. I guess that's it. This kind of channel is so sick. I love watching science stuff. I used to love it, but I think nowadays they've changed to like kind of not so sciencey things. 
it's less discovery and more like could aliens be real the answer is yes but we're gonna talk about it for an hour as if we have new information but we don't actually have it hold up beach 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 we gotta go to the beach <laughs> yeah it's all reality shows of misinformation i'm so sad ah but like it's kind of ooh. Sweet pea. But sadly, it's kind of like how... How it always goes, I think. Oh, wow. There's like a council. Council of seagulls right here. What's going on? The sad thing is, it's kind of how it all always ends up being. Um, sorry, is the music going on? Oh, worms! Woo! Clay... Like, uh, in if you treat everything like a business, what ends up happening is that you start you start making decisions based off of business and less about the actual content. It's more about like the the whole act of making money. And these channels have learned that just strictly solely educational content is not profitable so in order to get people to watch your channel so that you can make money you need to attract them and that usually ends up being like outrageous stuff or clickbait stuff and i don't know like i understand why but then the question is like why why perpetuate that system you know yeah, aliens. It's like, okay, that's great. Ooh, wait, what? Hey, these are cute. Hold on, I've got to sell some stuff. Uh, sell that, sell that. Sell carrots. Wait. Duck mayonnaise. It's a rich yellow mayonnaise. Let's sell the duck mayonnaise. I want to see how much four mayos come on. Yeah. Oh, hey, biscuit. All right, let's check out the weather tomorrow. Tomorrow is clear and sunny all day long. Let's go. All right, real quick, I want to go boil some water. Rich yellow, so many protein. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? Are you? Uh. Oh no! That's a thing that can happen? Oh, that's a lot of money. Oh wow, that's a lot of... Oh what? 375 gold for a non-star duck mayo? I hope my chickens are okay. Oh, it's a good thing? Something unlocked? Earthquake good, earthquake good, okay. Alright. They're in good humor, a little extra luck today. A scripted event. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Shimui, this is embarrassing. I lost my lucky purple shorts. I'm telling you because I think I can trust you. If you find them, bring them back to me discreetly. I'll pay well. Lucky purple shorts. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Good morning, biscuit. Yeah. All right, chat. Give me just a minute. I'm gonna go kettle, boil, water, coffee. <laughs> It should not take too long. <clears throat> well, I don't know something funny, chat. I brought over with us, um, what? 
I brought over some of those hydration packets. You know the packets that you like play like you open it and you pour it into a bottle. It's kind of like uh, like those Kool Aid or like the Tang kind of like flavoring packets, right? Um, I got some of those. I brought them over because I yeah liquid IV that kind of stuff. Um, I brought them over because I knew like the boys would be drinking a lot, and I was like, you know what? If the boys are drinking. I want to get this to make sure that they don't get hungover, so they stay hydrated, right? There, I, it turns out that it's a skill issue for me because I'm 30 and like they're younger than me, right? So <laughs> they don't get hangovers. I do, right? But I haven't been drinking that much while I was here, so. What I've ended up and like using, I, I still use them because it ends up that like there really isn't that much water here in Japan. So I've been using the hydration packets for just plain old hydration. Like I don't know how to describe this. I went shopping right, and they have like a thermos, and I told you, I told the story already. But the thermos is about the size of my hand, right? It's got in, it holds enough water for one single gulp, and that's it. And I'm like, why, how, how do you do this? Like, how do you eat meals with literally just a single gulp of water, right? Cause I, I'm so used to having like a pitcher of water whenever I eat, cause I'll be like, you know, munch, 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 and then like pour some water and then like, there's a whole bunch of like water, right? But no, like the cups here are really tiny. The serving portions of water and like drinks are super tiny. And I'm just like, how, how? And I've been using the hydration packets just to keep me like regularly hydrated. Not even as like a hydration to fight off hangovers. It's just hydration to be hydrated. And I'm like, whoa, what's going on? As someone who literally only drinks water, that would be a problem. Right? Like, I, I don't know. Like, I've been drinking a lot of tea from the vending machines to like make sure I stay hydrated. But it's just like, man, Japanese usually don't drink with food at home. It doesn't make sense to me. Because I'm so used to having like a lot of... A lot of water. Gotta use a bowl. Unsweetened tea. Yeah. Like every single time I go out, I have to visit one of the vending machines just to buy like a whole bottle of water or like a bottle of tea. And I'll be like sipping through it throughout the day because I'm just so dehydrated constantly. That's why it's recommended to bring empty water bottles. I, I think you should bring like a really good thermos, like one good thermos that's a size that you can handle, but keep it empty so it doesn't add weight to it. You can fill it up. You can fill it up with water when you get to Japan, um, but like having that thermos, I think, is really important. I usually drink two plus liters a day. How do they live? Right? Is it hot there? Not quite. Not yet. It is getting warm though. Try not to drink too much while eating, but that would be frustrating. Mm. For me, I'm used to having like, like Chad, you've heard my my uh, mug before. It holds like four cups, like measurement wise, it holds like four cups worth of uh, coffee. Like that's how big my morning mug usually is. Is the tap water no good? No, the tap water is amazing. The tap water is so clean, you can use it for anything. <laughs> Meanwhile, my household, the hydration check is constant. Yeah. That's a big mug, dude. It's not that big. I think it's like the right size for me. As someone who cannot go for more than an hour without drinking water without getting a headache, I can't imagine not being able to be uncomfortable with that little water. That's like that's that's what I'm saying. I don't know how they do it, but it's like uh, I want I want more water. Like please give more water. Okay, it is Wednesday, so Marnie should be there. So we're gonna go double check. Uh, Marnie's place. I'm gonna go get some. Oh, it's not nine yet, so Marnie's still not open shop. So let's go get some forageables. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, the water kettle should be good. I don't want it to be too hot. Oh, can you hear the boiling? My coffee is almost out. I bought a jar. It's a small jar of like instant coffee granules. Uh, it's almost out now. I bought it when I moved here in March. So now I have like a rough estimate idea of. Ooh, look at that pour. Oh, that's a nice pour. 
Oh, I can see the steam. Ah. So now I have like a rough idea of if I buy one of those small jars of instant coffee granules, then each is good enough to last me about 45 days because I bought it early March. Um, and now it's like April, the midway of April. <laughs> yeah. It's always nice to like pay attention to those kind of things that you learn a bit more about yourself and you're like, oh, so that's, you know, that's how much toilet paper I use a month or that's how much uh, tissues I use in a month. That's how much coffee or um, like, I think the more important ones would be things like cooking, like oil. Like if you buy a big bottle of uh, canola oil for cooking, or like maybe you buy, uh, I don't know, pepper. Because it's easy to buy a ton of pepper and then like have it last for you maybe six, seven months, right? Because you never really think about it. You just always have salt and pepper in your house, right? But like. Being able to keep track of that's kind of nice. That's so I, that way you know when you need to buy more and how long it'll last you. Upgrade your axe to silver, then you go to the forest. Wood skip fish. Wood skip fish. That's cool. The joy in figuring out mundane daily needs. I don't know. It's a lot of fun for me. It's not too mundane, is it? <laughs> have you drink any iced coffee drinks if so how strings the coffee it's okay um i don't know i i'm the type of guy who doesn't really like sweet coffee um like i'll have it if i if it's there uh if it's the only thing they offer but like usually i don't like sweet coffee so the fact that almost all the coffees here have a little bit of sugar on them is kind of like eh to me like i'll have it if i have it but it's not something I would go out of my way for. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah, the bitter is good, just like my soul. No, I don't have a bitter soul. Okay, let's get some. Let's get chickens. Let's get chickens. Okay, we're gonna get chickens. Um. Oh wait, hold up. Wait, Chad, how do we do the chickens again? I had to have sweet coffee because I hate the bitterness, unless it's cranberry juice. Mm. I, I think for me, I just kind of got used to the bitterness. Okay, wait, Chad, I have a question. I want to move all my chickens in here. Oh, it takes so long to scroll. Wait, do I have to... How do I move the chickens? <clears throat> so what I want to do is I want to put all eight chickens in here because chickens lay eggs once every day. Once a day. Ducks, on the other hand, lay eggs once every other day. So I want to make this a place I can come by and check every single day really easily and then like have, you know, pick up all the eggs, right? And then over here, I because this is a smaller coop, it's just enough for all four of my ducks. You have to click on them individually to move them. Ah, okay. Hmm. You gotta talk to the chicken directly. <laughs> you just walk over to the chicken, you're like, all right, chicken. Got some news for you about your housing situation. Chew is cute. We'll, we'll stick with Chew. That's cute. Oh. Great. I'll send little Chew to your new home right away. Let's go. Okay. Uh. Purchase shop. We don't need any of this stuff. Not yet. Not yet. Purchase more animals. More ducks. More ducks. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Womo! Little Womo. Okay. And then four. Wait. I probably should not buy all all chickens. Or I probably should not buy enough to fill up the chickens. <laughs> okay. Five, four, three, two, one. 
we're toe. Wilma we'll and we're toe. And chew. <laughs> yeah, I had to leave one space open so I can shuffle the ducks back and forth. But that's what I'll do. I'll move the chicks into the bigger one. And then we'll move the ducks into the smaller one. Let's see. But I can do that at night, right? Okay, hang on. I need to start from the other side. What are these names? They are the randomly generated starter names. Ooh, wait. Worms. All right. Okay. Boppy. Boppy, I'm going to move you to this one. Okay. And then after Boppy goes there, I'm going to go talk to... Oh, they're so cute. Chew. All right. Chew goes here. We're going we're gonna to be shuffling them back and forth. All right. So Boppy is there. And then we got to get the other ducks. Oh, Chicky. No, Chicky is good. Chicky stays here. Okay. I pet them all. Boopo. Boopo gets moved to... This one. How's business? It's going. We are organizing and optimizing. Chicken houses and duck houses. Yeah. All right. Werto. We move Werto over there. All right. We just need one more move. Well, four more moves, I think. Two, three. I can't math right now. I'm going to randomize my kids then. It's going to be something like Kipper. <laughs> Imagine if that's what they're like, imagine if that's what it ends up being, you know, like, oh, you know, why did your, why did your parents pick that name for you? And it's like Stardew Valley name randomizer. <laughs> it's like, did you, did your parents name you that because they liked it or it was like, it was meaningful? No, Stardew Valley randomizer. At least you know that they really liked Stardew Valley. Okay. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Chew. Trophy. Where's the... Oh, there you are. Gotcha. Butchers. But the name be named Easter because it was on the calendar. Wait, so it was named Easter because the name was... It was just on the calendar? Oh, no. That's really unfortunate. Wait, inventory for... Oh, God. Man. Okay, did I did I pet them all? I think I pet them all, right? Yeah, I think I pet them all. Let's go. Alright. So there should be eight chickens in that coop, and there should be four ducks in this one. One, two, three, four. Bupo, Botchers, Billard, and Puppy. Let's go. Organization. Okay, hang on. <laughs> okay, drop all those in there. Uh, do we have any eggs? Egg? That's a small egg, so we're going to cook that too. We're only keeping the gold star large eggs. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. Perfect. One, two, three, four. Yeah! Do the ducks need a pool? Wait, do they? Do they need a pool? Oh no, the pool is so far away. In the pond, yes. No, they don't. Wait, I'm getting mixed messages. They don't need it? The pond is optional? It's optional. But sometimes they're, when they're near them, they swim. Oh, wait, that's really cute. Wait, I want to see them swimming. Hmm. Hmm. I think what I need to do. Okay, okay, okay. How about this? How about this? We're going to, we're, we'll, eventually, we're going to expand the ranch. Okay, so like the one at the top here. It's really difficult to show you, but the one at the top, we're going to expand that one eventually. So what we'll do is 
let me go build a few more silos so that I can go and harvest the hay. Because right now, the reason why I haven't expanded is because there's a whole bunch of... Um, there's a whole bunch of hay that's growing. There's a whole bunch of grass. But I don't want to cut it down yet because it'll be wasted. So I need to build another silo to hold all the hay that, so that we won't waste it. Hey, Harvey. Hey, remember to cover your mouth when you sneeze. The grip that Harvey has right now on Stardew Valley TikTok is insane. Like, I... I have not seen so many people thirsting over Harvey. It's wild. Like, I don't know why. I think it's because that one guy who cosplayed Harvey really well, and then he like did a thirst trap TikTok, and now everyone's like, oh my god, wait. Wait, he's actually really hot. <laughs> right? I take my whiskey, that take my whiskey neat song. Oh my god. Okay, we can't afford a coupe, but that's okay. It takes two days. No, that should be fine. That should be fine. Okay. That's why I keep seeing Harvey on my timeline as well. I'm glad Harvey's getting love. He's so cute. He seems like a sweetheart. I'd melt for that song. Are we sure it's not because he's a doctor? That too. That too. Alright. Let me go grab all the materials so that we can go build it. Hmm... I think for the energy that we have right now, we'll save it to cut down some trees. Copper bar, clay, wood, and stone. In my most recent save file, I'm marrying him. Chat, I don't... It, it started to value one of those games where you have to play multiple times over because I feel already strapped for time. And I'm only pursuing Abigail, like specifically just Abigail, you know? How do people have whole conversations with the entire town while also managing a ranch? Like, how do you... Like, yeah, who has the time for that? Wait, wait. Don't. Okay, we talk. Construct. Of all the things... Of all the things... <sighs> Oh no, we're short on stone. <laughs> no, quick to the mines. I don't think we'll have time though. She closes her shop soon. It's like, ooh, great. She closes shop soon. Oh my god. I play Harvest Moon and Rune Factory. That's impressive. That's impressive. Okay. Wow. It's just mocking me. The very first stone I get is is the the ladders. Come on. To the mines. Wait, I should I should keep this up here. Okay. We need 30 more 30. Okay. Come on. Can I get there before like 6 p.m.? 73, 74, 75, please, please. More rocks. I don't want to have to wait additional days. Okay, 80. 82. Oh my god. Please. Please. Okay, 87. 88. 89. 90. 91. 92. Oh my god. No! It's already 6! 95, 96, come on, 98, no, no, please, 99, are you serious, okay, oh come on, come on, come on, 100, 100, 100, leave the mines, quick, run, just to hit the big rocks, give you hella stone. I don't have it upgraded. I only have the regular pickaxe. I can't break the big rocks. I wanted to, but I don't have the copper one. I don't have the money to upgrade to my copper tool. No, Robin, come back inside, please. No. Ah. Oh. Man. Uh, 
at the cashier. No, but she doesn't walk into the cashier when she walks back home. No, please, 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 please. Just wait until she passes by the cat. Like, if I stop here, can I glitch it? If she, like, walks by here? Because she's not going to go, she's not going to walk backwards into the, into the shop here, right? She walks like this and goes home. Okay, you can still access the shop. All right, all right, come on, come on, come on. I have a hundred stone. I just want, I just want to be st started today. I'm gonna stand there menacingly until she comes back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No, no. 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 Robin, please. Uh, yeah, she she just skips the counter. Wait, she you have to click the counter? I thought you had to talk to her. Oh man. Next time. Next time. Should have really said I know you're closed, but oh no. I'm one of those people that shows up like two minutes before it closes and asks them to make me like fried blooming onions or something. I don't know. I can't think of a food that would take a long time to cook. <gasps> you know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. Community center. <sighs> Please, I have this so often. It happens like weirdly consistently and... It's like impressive how you know what, I'll cut this. This this bothers me. This down here. No. It's fine. They survived. They survived. It's okay. <laughs> uh Why is ranching so much hard work, chat? Okay, I'm gonna cut these down. I'm cutting these down so that I can move the move this silo over just to compact it a bit more this way when we talk to robin i can get this move it to the side you see how there's like two blocks here like one two I can move it over and then i could plant another silo right next to it but we'll be ready for tomorrow yeah love blooming onions oh. wait 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 hold up i want to see if the fisherman hat works fishing hat Fishing hat. Oh, that's cute. Oh, fishing hat. That's oh, adorable. Okay, wait. Uh, tomorrow's weather is going to be clear, sunny all day long. <sighs> of course, it's summer. There's like no rain in summer. I had a party of six coming in right before closing. They were 45 minutes to eat, additional 20 minutes to shop. I, oh my god, that's insane. <laughs> Mayonnaise. I'm gonna be honest, after seeing the price of duck mayo, regular mayo is kind of meh. Like, mayonnaise is 190, duck mayo is 370. Like, I want more ducks now. But ducks only lay eggs like once every other day, so it's not like, it's not as much, it's not more, is it? Like, I don't know, is it more? Okay, weather for tomorrow, clear, sunny, fortune. Very displeased, that's fine. The audacity of the standards of this man. <laughs> Aww. Okay, one more hiding inside here. Ooh. Cute. Once you go duck, you can't go back. Isn't it supposed to rhyme? Wait. Okay, they're small eggs. They're all small eggs. So let's go cook them all. Yeah, duck mayo. It's insane how much value improvement there is with duck mayo. Or, sorry, not duck mayo. Um, With eggs and mayo. Okay, 
That was, I think I missed a chick here. Did I? Okay, there's four here. Did I get all four here? Want Fonty? Trufy? Wait, I can't click the chicken. The little chick, where's the chick? No, there's a small chick hiding here. Worked out, there we go. Fonty? Wait, is one hiding inside? No. No, don't eat it. Wait, Chad, is it just me or have they not eaten any of the hay here? I don't feel like they've... I don't think they've eaten the hay. Have they just been eating the grass? Did I pet you? Womo. Grushenka. Chew. Okay, got them all. They eat outside. Ah. Uh, okay. Should we make some more mayo? More mayo machines? I kind of want to make more mayo machines. But no, let's not make the mayo machines yet because I need to make sure that we have enough to uh, build the silo. If we have access to outside, they'll eat the grass first. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Hops. Oh, I can wiggle without it hurting. Wait. Wait, we didn't buy our eighth chicken. I completely forgot. We, hold on, we didn't buy our eighth chicken. We, remember how we left that one space? Um, to like, we, we kept one of the spaces free so that we can move it back and forth, move them back and forth, right? We didn't buy that eighth chicken. I completely forgot. Let's go, let's go get the eighth chicken. How are you? Purchase animals. Oh, here. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Track. Yeah. Okay. Now we go by the silo. Snot so? I don't know about snot so. <laughs> it's a terrible name for anything. <laughs> I want to know how are these generated? I thought I said truck. Imagine naming your son Track. <sighs> Some people like terrible names. Yeah. Ooh, duck mayo. Okay, let's get the eggs cooking too. Egg, 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 and regular egg. Okay, mayo. Large eggs. Keep all the large eggs. Keep the large gold star eggs. Keep these. No wait. Take the spice berry because that one's gonna be community center since we're gonna be heading that way anyway. Sell. Great. Keep the spice. Then make sure biscuit has water. Yeah. These are my kids, Kipper and Trek. <laughs> Here's my darling daughter, Bodo. Yeah, I don't know about that one. But, oh my gosh, like, if anyone here is becoming a parent, please make sure you... <laughs> I forget what the name was. Um, but there was this one lady who had a... What was it? I think the name that the company gave when it was shortened and abbreviated, because like the way the company shortened the name like compressed like the, the first name and the last name and then it made a very offensive word i forget what it was i it's been a while since i read it but like they, they were like looking at it and like the email and the header it's like offensive word at company name.com and it was like a legit it's like a real name right and she's like yeah it's company like i there's no way we can change it just that's how it goes what was the name it was a story i read a long time ago though Gosh. Silo. Build. Wait, hold up. Move buildings. Move this one first. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. I can oh, I can compact it even more. I can put it behind my house. It's like a perfect 3x3. Three three. That way it doesn't get... Ooh. 
Wait, does this take time? Does this eat time? I don't know if it eats time or not. It's instant, right? Okay, hang on. Let's move that there. Let's change this. Uh, I kind of wanted to put it here so like the dirt path leads to the home, but then I realized like that doesn't really work. If I do it this way, Biscuit can't get to her water bowl, unfortunately. Can okay, put that there. Oh wait, hold up. Can we put this here? No, I can't put it there. I can stick these like... Hmm. You can move the pet bowl? Oh my god, you can. Oh wait, that's perfect. Okay. Where's a good place to... Slot it. No, then I can't read the mail. <gasps> Wait, that's kind of cozy. That's kind of cozy. Ah, it doesn't. It doesn't allow anything else to be fit up here, though. Hmm. If I move this down one block, this way I can fit like one. I can fit one extra silo back here. Cause like the silo doesn't do anything besides take up space. And hold the grass. You're blocking the spouse area though. Wait, spouse area? Chat, what? <laughs> it's fine, he ain't using that area. I don't know if that oh. Ouch. <laughs> He's not married yet, this is better. The part in the back. Hmm. Like that? Like that? Wait. Hold up. We can be we can be economical about this. We can wait, that doesn't make sense. Why would I put biscuits bowls that far away? <laughs> we'll do that. And then I wonder, can I... Oh no, that, there's that one torch. There's that one torch in the way. Are you serious? Oh my god. This is literally just that one torch. Hmm. I kind of do want to put it here. But there's not enough grass for eight animals. Also, like half my chickens are outside right now. So I'll wait until it's nighttime. No, then the then Robin isn't open at night. I'll have to wait until it's raining, right? Uh Yeah, wait in, wait until it's raining, close the door so they're all inside, and then move it. Close the chicken door at night. Hmm. But the thing is, I don't know if there's enough grass here, because there's already four ducks, and then eight chickens on top of that would... Hmm. You can build everything and move it afterwards. Yeah. Let's wait for the grass to grow a bit more before I move it, because it kind of we, we kind of do have it set up right here so that all the chickens are here. What are these, like, Zawardo chicks doing? Like, do you see how everything, like, even the butterflies are frozen? Like, everything is frozen, except for this chick. Like, time has stopped, but this chick is too powerful. It cannot be stopped by time. It's still dancing around. Oh, there's another one over here, too. All the chicks are, like, like, look, the butterfly has frozen in time. But this chick's like, no, your, your time manipulation powers cannot stop me. And they're just, like, doing their own thing. <laughs> it's the Dio chickens, <laughs> right? The little chicks, like the ones hiding down here too. Like not even the grass is moving because of how frozen time is, but they're just like, you can't stop me. You are too weak. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Hmm. We could. 
could move it to like a completely different place, right? Like we don't have to like have it anywhere near our home, right? We can like shove it down here into the random corners. Oh my god, we can. We can just shove it into like a random corner of the farm. No way. Oh, like right here where you can't grow anything, like this small little patch of grass. You could put one there, like over here too. And then like all the way far into this deep corner here. Ooh. Okay. Build. Uh. I. We can move them afterwards. We can move them afterwards. So. I had all of mine at the lower left, lower right corner. I think it moving. <laughs> if afraid to give for the super, you thought it was a chicken, but it was me, Dio. You're expecting a baby chick, but it was me. <laughs> can we do the chick Dio now? We should, we should. We'll name the next one Dio. It's just a big hassle to collect the eggs though. Yeah, we'll we'll rearrange it. After the grass is finished growing, um we'll go ahead and rearrange it a bit more. <laughs> Ah, uh, my nose is still stuffy. Hey, biscuit. Oh. All right, one more chick. Wait, did we buy a chick? Yeah, we bought a new chick, right? It was called Track. Completely forgot. Which means we can head. Okay, we're gonna head into this town. But let me break all these. Yeah. Like all of the torches so that we don't we don't end up like getting stuck. <laughs> Diane, thank you. Thank you so much for the 14 months. Okoidi, okoidi. Oh, keep it closed. Imagine you were looking for a specific chicken. It's like you thought it was track, but it was me, Neo. <laughs> you can put the torches on the fence. Wait, you can? Wait, that's actually really nice. Wait, excuse me. All right, real quick. Let's go and get some grass starter. Mm, grass starter. Four. Help wanted. Local rainbow trout population is starting to threaten other species. If you could fish two of them for me, it would be a big help. I want, I wish, but we haven't been able to catch a single trout. We only have like the basic rod. I don't think we have any bait either. You can put sprinklers. You can put torches on sprinklers. Ooh. I'm used to like Minecraft logic right now in my mind. Because you need light in order to grow the. You need what is it? Blah, 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 bad words. You need light in order to grow the, the plants and crops. Okay. Let's go ahead, grass starter, and then just add a few more so that we can get it kick started. There we go, and then we'll move it over there. Wait, no, not yet. We'll we'll let them have some time to grow. And then... What else do we have to do? Lita, hello! Thank you so much for joining the Coilite Diff. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining the membership. Hope you enjoy the channel, Badge of the Emotes. We should go fishing. Wait, trout are... Fresh water, right? So would we have to go fishing in like the river? Is there like a specific place I have to go for trout? Oh, I should sell the mayonnaise first before I forget. Okay, wait, where is the river? <laughs> mayo, mayo. And then save the rest of this. By the river south of your farm. Okay, okay, let's go. Jump all that. Let's stick these away for now. Gotta sell that somehow. Yeah. But you need a different rod? No! This is the best rod that I have. I don't have any other rods. Trots are 
rivers, river fish. I, I've never held a fish before. Ooh. A trade is passing through Stardew Valley. I wonder, is that like a, what kind of an event is that? Yeah, I've never held a live fish before. Yeah. Sunfish. I love sunfish. Sunfish are pretty great. Have you seen sunfish, Chad? They look really cute. I want to like... I, wanna... I hate to say it, but like... Every single time I see a sunfish, I have the urge to slap it. You know how like, whenever you walk past like bags of rice, you, you have that urge to like slap the rice? Whenever I see a sunfish, I have like the urge to just slap it on the side. Hey Ruse, how's it going? How's it going? Out here catching kois. No, sadly kois are, kois are pond fish only. Slap the sunfish? Yeah! Have, okay, right now, go Google up an image of a sunfish, right? Well, that was a weird sound. L go Google up an image of sunfish, right? And tell me you don't want to slap it. Oh my god, it's very slappable, right? Right, that's what I'm saying. You look at the sunfish and you're like, I could slap that. I see what you mean, yes, Chad is a oh my gosh, Chad is beginning to understand. It's like a drum, right? That's what I'm saying. I hate to say it, but like every single time I see it, I'm like, I wanna slap that. <laughs> but I feel like a slap a sunfish, slap the sun, right? You get to slap the sun through like the transient properties. Most slappable fish NA, Shinri Circa 2024. I'm really bad at fishing. I am drawn to violent tendencies upon seeing the image of a sunfish. <laughs> they're so cute. Like their eyes, they just stare off into either side and they just kind of exist. Have you seen a baby sunfish? Like the baby sunfish are so tiny compared to like a big sunfish, but no. But like they start really tiny and then they just get really big. I feel like that's most fish. <laughs> oh man. I don't know, they're just really cute. Can't sunfish barely swim? Like aren't they too big? No, they're actually huge. Um, but unlike fish, they don't have they don't swim using their tail fins. They use they use their uh dorsal fins. The really big fins on top and bottom of the fish. That's what they use to swim. And like, the really fun part is, maybe not fun, maybe kind of sad, but like, the story goes that there are a lot of people who will occasionally encounter sunfish out in the ocean, but they'll think it's dead. Because what the sunfish does is, it floats up, and then it turns sideways, and then it just basks in the sun to warm up, because it's so big, it's like a big dish, right? So it just turn, it tilts sideways and it just floats on the like near the surface, just to warm up and just to, like in like enjoy the sun, right? But people will see that and be like, "Wait, is this fish dead?" But it's not. They're just chilling. They're just vibing. I'm really bad at fishing. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Bream. All right, let's go sell the fish that we did catch. A big dish. Maybe it's trying to get a satellite connection. <laughs> Solar powered like cats. Yeah, it's really, really cute. I always slap my stick and cook it. So you're such a nice piece of meat. <laughs> I see. I'm. I'm kind of glad that that era of content creation is kind of over. I remember like two years ago. Was it two years ago? Or was it three years ago? 
I remember a little while back where every single time someone was cooking food, they would always try to do like weird things with it, like slapping chicken or like like when you had to like cut it open, they would like use their finger in like really suggestive ways, and it's like why, why are you violating that chicken? Just just cook the chicken parm normally. Like why are you doing it this way? You know. Oh. Weather report for tomorrow. Clear and sunny all day long. Let's go. Go to sleep for the night. Yeah. Ooh. Plus one watering can efficiency. One hoe of proficiency. Iron fence. A preserves jar. Preserves jar? We don't have any fruits to make preserves with, unfortunately. <gasps> I saw one where the guy was putting his face into the dough. It was disturbing. Ah, why would they do that? You can make jam. <gasps> Wait, you can make pickles? Can we make pickled eggs? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh my god, that's so much money. Wait, oh, excuse me. That's so much money. A thousand for four jars of duck mayonnaise? Wow. One of my favorite cooking TikTok creators is one of the Japanese guys who always cooks using his electric stove and always has huge portions. I know, I've seen that one too. Yeah. Okay, I don't have enough to upgrade my tools just yet, sadly. Fortune teller today is somewhat annoyed. Hey, Robin. All right, let's go check all the. Oh, they're so cute. They're so adorable. Okay. No eggs. We can put hops in the jars. Wait, you can't make pickled eggs. Oh, I'm a little sad. Cute. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six. Okay, there was one hiding. Are the rest inside? No. Okay, there's two more there's two more chicks that I can't I have not pet yet. Okay, one more. Okay, I've already pet Werto. Chicky? Are you hiding in here? Grushenka? Ah, there we go. Yeah! Got them all. For a small fee, you too can stop food harassment. <laughs> Alright, these are all silver stars and small eggs, so we're gonna cook them all into mayo. Alright, let's just go put these away. I have to go remember to give water to Biscuit. I have to water the ancient seed. I'm still not sure what this is supposed to grow into. But we're gonna keep watering it every day. And then the last one is I have to water the hops because that one is not automatically watered. Yeah! There we go. Ancient fruit. Wait, can we preserve the ancient fruit and make ancient fruit jam? Under construction. <laughs> Have you got the workbench yet? No, not yet. Never tried it? Yes? You can make it to wine? Ooh. Ancient fruit wine. Wait. Okay. That, that little annoying turtle has been like shaking the whole time and it's been bothering me. Gonna grow into a fruit looking like the seed bag. Ooh. All right, let's go to the beach and harvest any forageables. Ooh, worms. Ah! <gasps> what? Summer squash seeds. Ooh. More summer squash seeds. What's going on here? 
What the heck? He really wants you to find his shorts. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, there's so many forageables here. What the heck? Ooh. Let's go. Alright, let's go take these home and then plant these into the slots where the um where the sprinklers are. That's the word. That's not much, I think. Ooh. 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 Community plays? Uh not yet, not yet. Soon. Wait, hold up. Wait, I don't have any I don't have my amethyst with me, darn it. Okay, let's go plant these, water them, grab an amethyst, head over to Abigail, and then ooh, ooh mayonnaise. Oh no, I'm getting I'm getting so easily distracted. Okay, sell, 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 sell. Sell, sell, sell. Okay, and then the squash so what wait where's my amethyst ah there it is okay i'm gonna go plant the summer squash in the spots where it's open so one here one there and one here are they watered they are watered okay there we go okay that's good and now let's go grab the Spice fruit? Is that a dog with the hat? Yeah! Okay. Community center. Anything else? Muscle also goes to community center. Wood. We don't have enough wood though to make it the that. Oh, we do have! We do! Okay. Let me just double check and see if anything else can go to the community center while we're here. Large egg. Spice berry. We already have a spice berry though. All right, let's go. Started a new star. Do you save a little bit ago? And I'm already on year four. Maybe I should play less. <laughs> oh my god, year four. Oh my god. I haven't even finished a single year yet. But then again, I only play when I'm streaming, so it's like. Six gold ores? No, we don't have the tools to even get the ores yet. <gasps> Wait, hold up, hold up. Talk to her first. Kinda wish I had a cat. Unfortunately, my dad has looked to pretty much everything. Aww. Thank you, it's my favorite stone, so pretty. Let's go. <sighs> I'm allergic to cats too. I'm so sad. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, sleepy. Next, head over to the community center. And spend a whole day on Stardew Valley. I want, I could too. I really could. Riverfish? Oh, we, okay, the sunfish too. Hang on, there is, ah, mussels. Yeah. And I think that's it, right? Yeah, sweet pea, spice berry, egg or wood. I believe the egg and wood go over here. Down this way. Sweet pea. And spice berry. Let's go! Ooh. Wow. <gasps> 30! 30 summer seeds! What the heck? That's so many! Okay, let's see. Anything else? Anything here? No. Blackberry. We don't have. We don't have. We don't have a consistent supply of hardwood yet, but we can do the wood here, the regular wood. All right. Ooh. Wait. What does it open up? It's by like a boiler, so I'm wondering if maybe it's where like ore goes in? Metals? Okay. One of these has eggs, I know. Potato? Egg! Large egg. 
Yeah. I know it was a gold star large egg chat. It's okay. The Jimmy knows deserve the best. Oh, they're so cute. I want to pat one. All right. Let's go see what they want from here. Blacksmith. Oh, it is ore. Ah, I figured. I figured. Quartz, earth crystal, frozen tear, fire quartz. Okay. <gasps> oh, adventures. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, okay, okay. All simple items. Yeah. I was going to say, like, if they wanted an amethyst, no, that would have been a deal breaker. Never giving them an amethyst. Abigail deserves all the amethysts. <laughs> All right. You know what? Hmm. We don't have enough iron to make any more, but let's go ahead and plant all the summer seeds we can, because I'm curious to know what they'll grow into. And it's also like the fifth of summer, so we have plenty of time for them to grow. It's one of the easiest ones to complete. Ah. Okay, chat. I've been saving the gold star large eggs for something, but I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Like, is there... What should I use? What should I use them for? Like, do they... Is it just mayo? Do they just turn into, like, gold star mayo? Is that it? Sprinkler. Eat the raw egg. Better quality mayo. Hmm. Okay, it should be safe to put one here. It should be safe. There we go. Alright, summer seeds. I don't know what these one turned into, but we'll find out. A higher star equals more money. But the thing is, mayonnaise on its own adds so much value to the produce. I don't know if it's worth keeping the keeping them or I don't know if it's worth keeping them in egg form when turning them into mayo already like quadruples the value or like triples there we go yeah mayo be better hmm eggs are worth Eggs are more worth to turn into mayo. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, even the large eggs, even the large gold star eggs, like, the basic mayo is still worth more than a gold star egg. Should we turn them all? Process it isn't regular quality. Keep the regular quality for gifts and cooking. Hmm. Unless you plan to use them for cooking, but we're not close to that. Yeah, we haven't gotten that close yet. Let's just turn them all into mayo. At least it'll be gold star mayo, and then gold star mayo is worth a lot of money. Exactly, yeah. Basic mayo is worth more than... Iridium egg? Wait, isn't iridium a mineral? How does a mineral lay eggs? Can you make more complicated food? We don't have a kitchen yet. We haven't gotten to the point where we can afford the house upgrade yet. Oh, Iridium Star Egg. Oh. Okay, let's go chop down all the trees here. Because we're going to need some extra wood. And then break that down, break that down. Break that down. I don't want to cut the grass yet. Iridium quality is the best. Chat, do you guys remember back in like 2006, 2007? When like every single game was coming out with like their own color scheme? <laughs> like almost every, almost every single game out there had agreed that white text was like the lowest quality like common item and then blue was like slightly rarer than common items right but then after that the colors went all over the place like some of them went like orange yellow gold red and purple and then other ones went like blue white silver platinum which is like a shiny blue 
and like every every single game had their own set of colors and it was impossible to like if you played multiple games um because like in one game gold would be the highest quality but in another game it would be like a mid quality and that other game's highest quality would be like uh like a brownish like sparkles with like platinum lighting or whatever right like in borderlands how they the names of the items had different colors and everything god i remember hating that so much because it was so difficult trying to remember which color meant what quality in different games because they all use different like styles white green blue purple orange see mine was like white blue no white gray blue uh, green was like a set item. It wasn't like a quality item because like sets were kind of different. Like if you bought, if you had different item sets, they give you different bonuses. So like it wasn't directly an upgrade, but it was also not really a downgrade either. Like, like oh my god, white, green, blue, purple, yellow, then orange for some games. Yeah, I think like I think that's what Diablo uses right now. But then like. Uh, Path of Exile uses a different set of colors, and then it's just all over the place. <laughs> Orange is highest tier, just like shouldn't we? Aww, no. <laughs> Alright, Spiceberry. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Preserves Jar. Stonewood Coal. Oh, wait, hold up. Stone, wood, coal. Wait, we don't have stone. We don't have stone. No, because I was thinking maybe we could use the spice berry as preserves and get that started. Okay. Where are my field snacks? Yeah, field snacks. Darn. Okay, tomorrow. We go into the mines. Go into the mines and we do, do a whole bunch of rocks, right? Should we? No, we still have like 40 energy here. Dying light as well. Yeah. I hope we get Borderland perms one day. I haven't played Borderlands in so long. It's been such a... When was the, when did I play Borderlands? The last time I played it was like... 2014? 2014? 2013? That's like a decade ago. Oh my god. That's been a long, long time ago. Yeah, it came out in 2012, yeah. Ah. Oh. Such good times. Such good times. I don't know what happens to this series. Didn't they come out with a, another one pretty recently? Um, like Dungeon, Dungeons and Dragons themed. Tiny Tina something like that. All right, let's go to sleep. Oh, the one like sad thing I don't like about this game chat, like this is my only criticism with Stardew Valley so far. You can only pet your pet once. Why? Why? Concerned ape if you're watching the stream. One. Hello. Uh, two. Why can I only pet my pupper once? Like, what's going on with that? What's going on with that? You know, imagine if that's how it worked IRL. You pet once, right? And then like, every single time you wanted to pet your dog again, you physically could not pet, you know? Like, come on, what's going on with that? All right, let's see. Very happy. Oh, let's go. Wait, wait, hold up. We technically have enough money to upgrade our pickaxe. But we need the stone. We do need the stone. Oh, man. If you're not constantly petting your puppet, then what's the point? Exactly. I read an art. I saw an article about you in the paper. It sounded like your country life is a good fit for you. So proud of you. Take care, sweetie. Love, mom. Man, imagine being told 
that by your parents. Imagine that. Imagine that, chat. All right, let's go. Let's go feed our puppers. Oh, the grass is growing. Okay. Oh, duck eggs. Let's go. Duck mayo time. Zina Kuni households. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's water this. I feel so inefficient, but at the same time, I'm like, I want to get better at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, let's go. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, seven. Oh. Wait, only seven eggs? Oh wait, that's right. Track is young. We we bought we just bought track like a day ago. Track is still a chick. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Good fella, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Oh my god, Chad. <gasps> There's so much mayo. Wait, can I make more mayonnaise? I'm still out of stone. I need earth crystals. Do I have any earth crystals? Let's see. I have one earth crystal. Wait. Can I make... Mayo. Wait! I do have enough to build one more. Earth crystal. And then... What do we need? Copper bar? Yeah! Mayo machine! The mayo must churn. <laughs> Oh no. Chat, could you imagine the smell of the farm? Just like... <laughs> what it must smell like to be like walk past is just mayo constantly. Okay, let's put the eggs away here. Oh! Okay. I don't want to picture the sm strong smell of mayonnaise. Yeah! Okay. Everything is watered except for the hops. And now the hops are water. Let's go. <laughs> Just raw eggs and vinegar. Oh. I've seen a big trend of people making... Um... Okay, I'm going to bring the hoe with me because in case we find... Um... Dirt. <laughs> in case we find dirt. Because I want to collect some more clay in order to have... Uh, a good stockpile of clay ready to go to build our third silo later on in the future. Smell of happiness, more like the smell of money. <laughs> what do you grow in the country? Mayo. Free range, non GMO organic mayonnaise. Is it possible to have non organic mayonnaise? I don't think so, is it? Because it wouldn't be mayonnaise, because mayonnaise requires eggs. Like, you can have the oil, but you. If you don't have eggs, it's emulsified oil and just that. So... Vegan mayo? Oh, that's true. I, I don't know how vegan mayo is made. <laughs> Synthetic mayo. It's like the difference between butter, which is made with churned um, milk fat, versus uh, margarine, which is more like churned oils. I forget what oil it was. Synthetic eggs. That'd be kind of wild. Chickpea water. Oh, that's right. You can make you can make things with chickpeas. There's a lot of things that you can substitute stuff for. Margin is disgusting. Can I be honest with that though? I I like the flavor of margarine, but that's because we couldn't afford veal butter. So growing up, I would just. We would have margarine as like a substitute for butter because it was like half the price. Which is kind of why I now have like a soft spot for those things. Like a lot of the foods that I eat, a lot of it comes with just like, oh, you know, it's considered like low quality or whatever. But like I still have like a, a soft spot for it, you know. It's kind of why I like white bread hot dogs. Like, it's not a hot dog bun, but it's like a hot dog wrapped up with a white bread and like with ketchup. It's super simple, but it's like, 
I have mem I have good memories with it, you know? Brumble and Brad was a margarine brand. Ours was, uh, we tried, I can't believe it's not butter a couple times, but then like that one was like weird and had the filmy texture on it. Sometimes though, I still want that filmy texture. Like it's nice. Soft, just like margarine. Yeah. White bread hot dogs brought back memories of like some <laughs> childhood summer barbecues. That's what we used to do though. Like craft mac and cheese. Like everyone's like, ah, oh, craft mac and cheese. Like why don't you just make your own real like real mac and cheese? And like sure, you can. You can make the roux from scratch. You can make them like the good, get good, um, get good macaroni. Why was that word so difficult for me to think about? But like something about craft mac and cheese is just like ah childhood nostalgia the old times yeah it's cheaper and there's something good about how processed it is it really is i don't know how to describe it Ooh. all right we don't need that much stone do we I want to get at least a hundred, if I can. Enough to build that second silo after Robin is finished with it. And then after we get our next 100... Oh no! I forgot to bring all my field snacks. Uh-oh. No, I'm already halfway through my energy. Ooh. Made my own mac and cheese. Ah, I want some mac and cheese. There's a few things that I would probably not do, though, anymore. Like, I probably would not make pasta with ketchup. Uh, I would I would try to use, like, actual pasta sauce instead of ketchup. Um, that's, that's something that I probably would never do. <laughs> not anymore, because the flavor of ketchup pasta is not, that, not the best. Oh, gosh, I love this sword. Why use tomato sauce? Because back then I didn't know how to use tomato sauce. And I was I couldn't afford like proper tomato sauce. Like the brand that I I switched over to eventually was Ragu, I think. Because you could they had so many sales where it was like buy one, get one free um pasta jars. 74. Darn it. I should have bought my field snacks. You're asking for trouble mentioning that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not like I really had a choice, you know? Filipino style spaghetti? Wait, is that is that a thing? Japanese Neapolitan pasta uses ketchup, it's very yummy. Ooh. Oh, wait, spice berries. Double spice berries. Uh -oh. There we go. Sorry about that. I had to clear my throat out real quick. Stir fry with ketchup and tomato sauce. Ooh. Aww. Hey, biscuit. <gasps> the mayo is done. Let's go. <gasps> and the silo is done too. Let's go. Okay. Quick. Churn more mayo. One, two, three, four. Do I have any more here? I do. One, two, three. And then four, five. Yeah. Okay, let's put these away. Wait, hold up. Okay. Yeah, consolidate. There we go, that feels so nice. Okay, egg here. Um, tools will go in here. T fishing, that, 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 that. And the rest of it, I guess, also. Hmm. Rose, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Wait. Berry. Spice berry. Okay. Pres we're going to put these into preserves jars. Let's see. Ah. Uh, 
do have copper ore. I'm not sure if we have enough time to break the geos today. We'll do that tomorrow. But we now have enough to start considering that. Mm. Mixed flower seeds. Mixed seeds. Do mixed seeds work in any summer? Or, sorry, in any season? The smithy is closed anyway. No. Okay. Sleep. No. No, no, no. No sleep. No sleep. We have enough time. We have enough time. Let's go head over to... Because it's only 5 p.m. We can stay out until midnight. Do I want to eat the field snacks? I feel like I should save the field snacks for tomorrow and then just go to the hot springs to recover some energy. Because we can stay there for a little bit longer, right? Which way is the hot springs? Up this way? No, that's the playground. Near Linus. Uh... As long as you don't plant them late into the season. <laughs> Man. Okay, chat, can I be honest? I... I love the idea of, like, this farming life, but I'm pretty sure I would not... Ooh, what the heck? Totem Beach, consumed on use. I'll save that for special moments. Mining monthly. Read this to gain some mining experience. Ooh, let's get some mining experience. Nice. Okay, hang on. Ooh, I'm gonna chop these. I'm gonna chop all of this. Give me the fiber. Give me the fiber. Fiber is good. Good fiber. What? Moss? A special type of plant that grows in shady areas. What? Moss? What do I do with moss? Where, where did the moss come from? Did it come from the tree? Oh, frog. Okay, well, let's scoop all this stuff up first. What do I, what do, I do with the moss? Moss is new to 1.6. Oh. All right. It's really cute. Okay, let's go take a nice little bath. <clears throat> if you see green stuff on a tree, that's moss. But what does it do? Yeah. Use it for deluxe bait, fiber, crafting. Ooh. I'm curious to know. We'll take a look at it. It might be like a high end, like end game item that we don't have the recipes for yet because it feels like it's a. Like a. If it's a new thing, I don't know. I should eat it. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Yeah. Will it meet others in the bathroom? Probably not. I don't think anyone else uses the hot springs besides the farmer. Let's go. You can wear it when you've been waiting to empathize, <laughs> empathize your weight. <gasps> like when you're waiting for your friends and then you have like a, what those like skeleton Halloween props. So you, you, you're sitting on a bench and you just set up the skeleton next to the, next to yourself on the bench there. What was the thing? It's a, it used to be a meme back then. It was like waiting for the OP to provide screenshots or source. And when they did it, you would just leave them there with like a skeleton on the bench. All right. More stone. There we go. I want to get at least 100. Because that way, we will be able to drop off the axe. Because we have 5,000 now. For the upgrade so we drop off the axe at Clint's to get it upgraded and then we'll still have enough stone to also ask robin to build the second silo 
or I guess third technically at this point. And by the time the silo is done finished, complete constructed, we should be able to get the axe back or pickaxe back and then make progress on the deeper stages of the mines. Moss soup? Ooh. Mines? Wait, regardless of the quality, the big ones can be mine? I thought you needed the copper one for that. Do you know anything about Homestuck? No. The only thing I know about Homestuck is that I actively avoided Homestuck because so many people were pestering me about Homestuck that I was like, I don't want this. And then I didn't. That's like the only, only thing I have about Homestuck. Ooh, you can! Wow. It's called Hype Aversion, and that's like, I... I don't know. It, it's kind of why I d haven't played Helldivers yet. Because everyone's all like, Ah, shit, we gotta play Helldivers, it's so much fun, so much fun. I'm just like, I... Nah. When there's that many people like trying to get me to play Helldivers, I can't. Hyperversion is real, yeah. Not to mention, I don't have time to get in involved into other games, like... I already spent so much time doing these. I had no idea there was a word for that. Yeah, so Hyperversion is the phenomenon where... If you have so many people who are trying to get you involved into a thing... Uh, it ends up having the opposite effect of making you not wanting to uh, participate in it. It's kind of a no-life game. <laughs> Alright, let's go back home. Game of Thrones, yeah, that one too. I never started Game of Thrones. Like, I got there, I was like, ah. Do I really want to start? Because by the time everyone was pestering me about Game of Thrones, it was already like in Season 2. And I was like, I don't want to catch up with Season 1 and all that stuff. And then... Did you see that? Did you see that? That was a possum! Oh my god, that was a possum! Cute! God, I love possums. A little unrealistic though, because if a possum was spooked, it would freeze up and then have the un... Um, the little resp the the fainting response. Alright, eep time. Yeah, it would play dead if you spooked it. Oh my god, that's so much money. That's so much money. The mayonnaise? Mayonnaise is insane. Oh my gosh. No way. Alright. Let's see. I think we have enough stone. So I don't think we need to get any more stone today. Uh... 140, yeah, that's plenty. Okay. Um, this totem thing seems really fancy. I'll hold on to it though. I don't know what I would use it for. Hey, biscuit. Alright, watering can. Water bowl. Build a horse? You can build a horse? Alright, duck time. One, two, three, four. Yeah. We're gonna corner the market on condiments. Yes, it's gonna be all the mayo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, they're so cute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my god, there's so many eggs. Let's go. So many eggs. Okay. Um, we have to water these. The hops. Nice. Okay. Uh, chickens are good. We need to build one more. Do I have enough clay? No, I don't have enough clay. Geodes. Artifacts. And then copper bar.
Yeah, let's go. Alright. After we go drop off the pickaxe at Clint's to upgrade it, we're gonna go and... Uh... Back to the farm. Harvest all of our grass, because we now have the second silo to fill it up with. So we don't have to feel bad about wasting grass. Let's go. Enough condiments for your apocalyptic scenario. It's... It's not condiments though, it's just mayonnaise. <laughs> it's like, very, like a whole shelf full of various qualities of mayonnaise. Oh my god, I don't know if I'll be able to survive that. Because you need, you need, ooh, what the heck? Jack be nimble, Jack be thick. Oh, Jack do be thick. Alright, let's go beat that. Sorry, I don't know why I said that out loud. <laughs> Alright, let's go harvest more of these forageables. Ooh. Alright, let's see. Okay, I don't see any more worms. Where are these worms coming from? This game is cool because I can't believe you can play as a mayo farmer and it's completely viable. Yeah, it's wild. I've seen people playing um, Stardew in like insane ways. Like there's the obvious one where you're like super optimized. You're like, all right, I want to be the ultimate farmer. Everything is automated and all that. Eat the egg. No, uh, wait, hold up, hold up. Uh, uh, talk. Okay. Donate to museum. We have a few things. Dwarvish helm. Collect shards. Yeah. Collect rewards. Do we have rewards? Cauliflower seeds. We'll we'll let Gunther hold on to those until next year. <laughs> we'll we'll have Gunther hold on to the, the spring seeds because it's already summer, so we'll come back next time. <laughs> okay. Don't upgrade tools. Process geode first, because if you upgrade tools, he won't let you process geodes until he's done upgrading the tools. So, process geodes first. Ooh. Stone. Ooh. Oh no, wait, I don't think I have enough inventory space for all these things. Uh-oh. No! Darn it. I think the update lets you do both now. <gasps> oh, 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 okay, okay. Hang on. Let's go over sell everything at Pierre's first. And then we'll go we'll go back. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, chat. I trust you all, but at the same time, like wait, hold on, I can just talk to Pierre, right? I trust you, but like, I don't know. I'm I'm still a little bit traumatized. Wait, I can't sell these here? I have to sell this here, right? Like... Is it here? No. Wait, what? Do I... Wait, how do I... How do I sell things? I can't sell these. Oh no. Streamer traumatized. Just a little bit. Here, we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna bake the whole trip over here. Sell to Willy? Ah, uh, that's too much effort. That's too much effort. Ooh. Inventory full. Okay, we're just gonna drop them all out here. Okay. Drop, 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 drop. Uh, drop. I wanna hold on to that. Yeah, okay. Okay. We did need to use up all the eggs too. Um, so it, it works out. Because the eggs are also taking up a whole bunch of inventory space on their own. Yeah. Okay, mayo. Mayo. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Head over back to... Aw, oh, squirrel. Sell the fish to Willy. Too much, too much energy. Or that's too much effort. We're just gonna go dump them all into the little box. <laughs> Have you ever thought about... I'm pretty sure people have thought about it already, but like the idea of just having like a bunch of fish and like vegetables not like packaged or anything, just like thrown into a box. So when the mayor comes over, they open the box, it's just like rotting fish and like a variety of various like 
plants and minerals and stuff. Wait, okay, process geodes. Let's go. Yeah. Ooh. Raw talking about fish. <laughs> oh, let's go. Getting some iron ore. Nice, nice. The thought of Mayor Lewis looking about digging through our bin. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. Jamborite? It's pretty. Ooh. All right. Now we upgrade to copper pickaxe. Yeah. Oh, you can talk to them. Okay, you can't upgrade twice, but you can talk. Okay, okay, I trust, I trust. <laughs> all right. Donate to museum. We're gonna donate all of these. Ooh, I love that green. Okay, we're gonna organize the colors later. Okay, what's the reward? Melon seeds. Melon seeds? Wait a minute. Ooh, that's nine melon seeds. Oh, oh wait, hold up. We have... We have enough iron ore to make two more iron uh, ingots. And then with the iron ingots, we can turn them into sprinklers. And with two sprinklers, we can automatically water two slots. Two boxes, two squares. Yeah, and they're part of the uh, the community community center puddle. Oh hey, are you looking at the cows? Wait, no. Oh no. Wait. I didn't want to give you the call. Oh my god. I didn't want to give you the call. I just want to ask if you're looking at the cows. Oh my god. Do, do you want something? No, I just wanted to ask. Oh my god. Fine. Fine. No, we're 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 just gonna go. We're just gonna leave. It's like, here you go, Cole. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just wanted to ask if she was looking at the cows and stuff. Man. Man. The anti-Santa. <laughs> okay. Iron ore. Oh, we have 15 iron ore. Let's go! Alright, stack all this in there. Uh, we got the summer squash seeds and then the melon seeds that we gotta cook. Ooh. I put these away here, put that away, put that away. Like that? And then we'll just wait for these to cook. <clears throat> Shinri accidentally traumatized the child. No, I feel bad. <laughs> okay, while we wait for these all to cook, let's get my... No, don't eat the egg. Let's... No, stop eating the egg. Uh, scythe? Ah, oh, darn it. Of course, as soon as I'm about to head out, they finish cooking. Okay. Egg. Egg, egg. Egg. Drop all these in here. Ooh. All right, we're gonna wait for these to finish cooking. And then in the meantime, let's go harvest some of the grass. Yeah. Oh, we can finally start clearing out this area now. Oh my God. Okay, we have 24. I'm gonna get up to 200-ish and then we'll stop at 200. 38, 39, 40. 50, 56. Oh my gosh, we can clear out so much of the grass now. But at the same time, I don't want to end up clearing out all the grass because I still need some grass, right, to regrow. Uh, I should be careful. I shouldn't be like, harvesting it completely clean. 97 hay. Okay. We'll 
we'll just like kind of sporadically cut, cut grass, like leave a few here so that they regrow. Like the blue grass specifically too. We don't want to cut all those away. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Almost at 200. What? No. Give me more hay. All right. I think we're now at 200-ish. Keep cutting away the green grass. The number of times I swung a sword at a villager. <laughs> All right. That should be enough to fill up both of the silos. So let's go double check. Ooh. Yeah. And the mayo is done too. Oh, they stack. You can check the status of both of the silos by just clicking on one. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. All right, let's go dump away the mayo in there. And now... Uh, put this away. Take all this, turn them into grass starters. And then we'll hold on to these for now. We don't have to cook, we don't have to plant them yet, but we just want to hold on to those. And now we got to get the sprinklers. One, two, three. Four. Yeah, we'll do four. We'll do four. Okay. And then let's go ahead and plant some of these. And then let's see, one down two to the side. Down two to the side. Down two to the side. To to, to the side. Down two to the side. There we go. All right. Now we get to plant these mystery seeds. Or no, no. well, they're not mystery seeds. We, we know what they are. We get to plant the seeds. Yeah. All right. Let's go. All right. Let's get the squash and then melons. One, two, three, four, five. No, I didn't want to plant it there. Oh, darn it. Okay. Ah, no. <laughs> There's going to be like two plants that don't get automatically watered in the morning and it's going to bother me. And since we do have a couple of extra spaces, let's go ahead and plant more of our mixed seeds. Because it's going to be like a little gotcha roll. We don't know what we're going to get. A little bit of everything. Plant them and see what grows. All right. Mix seeds here, 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 and here. All right. Ooh, I wonder what they're going to turn into. Mystery crops. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, so I have to water this one on my own. And then the hops on my own, and then everything else should be automatically watered by the sprinklers. Kind of want to carefully trim this away, as well as these. Yeah, that way the grass doesn't get too close to the the crops. Let's go. Can't retrieve the seeds. How do you, wait? Can you? Can you retrieve the seeds? I thought you couldn't once you're in the ground. You need to put a scarecrow. Oh no, that's right. We gotta get a scarecrow. Wood, coal, and fiber. Wait, I used up all my fiber. Oh no. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. I I trust. I trust. For for today. For today at least. <laughs> okay. Queen of Sauce. New episode. Ooh, baked fish. Let's go, and then the weather for tomorrow, clear and sunny. It's summer, so it's gonna be clear and sunny the entire time. Oh my God, look at that. Look at all the mayonnaise. Oh my God. 
Wait, there's so much money. There's so much money in the mail. Ooh. Ooh, fortune teller. Good Huber, a little extra luck. Oh my god. Wait. Wait, chat, we can... We can buy... We can buy the second ba uh, backpack. We have enough to buy a second backpack. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh. Okay. I have to water you and the hops. And everything else is automatically watered. <sighs> Let's go. Okay. We'll do our morning routine. First of all, gotta pet all the chickens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Ooh. All right, all the chickens have been pet and all the eggs have been harvested. Now let's go do the same for the ducks. Oh, one, two. Three, four. I love the eyes of the ducks. It makes them look like they're smiling the whole time. It's really cute. Ooh, what is that? No egg but a duck feather. What? It's so colorful. Ooh, pretty. Okay, plenty of grass here. I don't know what to do with the duck feather, so I'm just gonna hold on to it. Duck feather. All right, now we turn. We make mayo. Let's go. All right. While that is cooking, let's head over to forage at the beach. And then afterwards, we're going to go to Pierre's, buy the extra backpack. And then I guess we head into the mines for a little bit to get some clay. And then we get the get a third silo. That way we can clear out the rest of the grass. Make a pillow. Ooh. I love how your voice sounds in my new headset. Oh, new headset, let's go. I I lost, um, I have like earbuds that I got a while back because every single thing now no longer has a 3.5 millimeter jack. So I went and got wireless headset or, or wireless earbuds. And then I lost one of the earbuds because it fell out at night while I was walking and then I tried to look for it and it just disappeared. I think it just bounced and like fell into some bushes or whatever. So now I only have one earbud and it's like, uh, you can't buy replacements. You have to buy a full set. You have to buy both of those. So I'm just kind of like, uh, do I want to buy a new one? Because I have half the earbuds. It still works. You know, the right ear works. And it's like, do I really want to spend money on another one? Bleh. <laughs> Trying to keep the old art of fishing alive. I'll pay 100 gold to any fisherman who catches one tuna. Ooh. We've never, we've never caught a tuna before, so I don't know if we have the right thing for it. Let's go. Let's go. You got the deluxe pack. Your inventory space has increased to 36. Wow. Oh my God, that's so much. Oh my God, that's so much space. There's so much space for activities. Ooh. I can hold everything. Everything. Okay, okay. Now we got the backpack. Let's head back over to our home, cook the rest of the eggs because they should be finished into mayo. Halsey, thank you for the 13 months. Happy hoarder, happy life, exactly. Ah, okay, okay, thank you for the membership. Church of Shin Respects, thank you for re the membership, okay. Thank you for the 14 months as well. Imagine spending 10k on a backpack. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Okay, let's go put all these, okay, hold on to that. Put away the field snack, sell these. Mixed seeds. There we go. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah. Any more eggs? We do have eggs. Let's go. Get lots of eggs. Lots of eggs. And then we have one more egg that we can cook. Ooh. Wait. This is a duck egg that also belongs in the community center. <gasps> we should just take it to the community center. I know it's a lot of money, but I think it'd be worth it to finish the pack. Or, sorry, the bundle, I mean. Hmm. We can cook these while we're out. Put that away. Okay, community center, community center. Let's go drop this off. Uh, do I need anything here for the community center? Earth crystal. I want to hold on to the earth crystal though. <laughs> Don't forget the duck feather. I haven't unlocked the bundle um, thing for it, so it doesn't glow. Do you see how the community center button, like when I do this, earth crystal, it blinks, or it like pulsates. This one does not, because I don't have it unlocked yet. Oh, that's right, we can do one copper bar. Earth crystal. And then one slime. Bianca, thank you for re upping the membership. Farmer Shinwi is relaxing after a tiring day. Let's go. I kind of feel like I also needed, needed this. I think we got all of it. Yeah. All right, let's head over. Oh wait, hold up. We gotta get our sword, pickaxe. Pickaxe? Where's my pickaxe? Oh, that's right. Our pickaxe is upgrading. Oh, that's right. Oh no, we can't go into the mines yet. Darn it. Community center rewards can be pretty good. Recommend prioritizing boiler room stuff. We have a few, yeah. All right, if we can't go into the mines because our pickaxe is being upgraded, let us head over to fish, I guess. Community center first. Let's go drop all this stuff off. Moru, hello. Thank you for re upping the membership. XYC, hello, thank you for joining. Hope you enjoy the channel badge and the emotes. Uh, let's see, I think that's all for the fish. Boiler room is over here for the minerals and the adventurer bundle. So, blacksmith bundle, one copper bar. And then one quartz, earth crystal. And then we'll get these later. Adventures bundle. Oh, wait, we need 90. <laughs> we need 99 of those. Okay, darn it. Okay, so, hmm. Yeah, I guess fishing, I guess fishing. We don't have a pickaxe, so we can't break through enough of the rocks to consistently travel down the mines. So let's head over to the um Where do we get bait for fishing? I need to find those. Gonna have to bonk a bunch of slimes, yeah. I think Altair knows some slimes I can borrow. No <laughs> Not like that. I don't wanna hurt I don't wanna hurt the Altair. Okay, put that there, put this slime away. Um, fishing rod, bamboo pole, training pole. Where's my fiberglass? There we go. Yeah. Alishu, hello. Happy eight months. Sardu is very cozy. Thank you. Thank you for re upping on membership. Worm bin? You can make a worm bin? Ooh. More like you couldn't even have tried. <laughs> My back is sore, chat. Like, can I fish here? Are there things here to catch? 
I think this technically counts as a river, right? I'm a new subscriber. Hello. I should get some coffee. Hang on. Once once I catch this, I want to go pour myself some more coffee. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No. Ah, yeah, there we go. Another sunfish. All right. Hold on a minute. Let me make some coffee real quick. This is like the last of my coffee. No, no, no. There's like enough for like one, one or two more. Ooh. How often do you have to buy more coffee? Um, I buy like one jar a month, but it takes me like a month and a half to finish. <sighs> but it's like a very it's a very tiny jar like hang on how how big is this it says um it's a ucc brand coffee uh it does not actually oh 90 grams 90 grams <laughs> yeah so it's a small jar um it has 90 grams of instant coffee and that takes about a month and a half for me to finish <laughs> so i don't i mean like the reason why i like i never buy coffee outside um like i don't go to starbucks for coffee because i think it's like it tastes gross like to be honest it, they always taint it always tastes burnt for some reason and also it's like five dollars six dollars sometimes seven eight dollars for like coffee there so i'm like i don't want to spend that money oh ocean's really loud so like i would rather spend the seven dollars to get uh like a jar of instant coffee mix and then i'll just make coffee at home yeah it's way overpriced there so like that's why i kind of do it this way because i could spend seven dollars on a jar of coffee and then it last me a month and a half like that's perfect for me fish whoa oh my god why is this fish so fast <laughs> <No. laughs> outskilled by a fish shy violet thank you for the 10 thank you thank you it's raining outside snacking on choco pretzels and watching the stardew stream as a cherry on top making this an ultra cozy night thanks to the good vibes let's go thank you for the super thank you thank you Oh my gosh, why is this fish so... Please, please, please. No, no, no. Oh my God. What is this? Oh my, are you serious? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fish over here then. Fish got hands. Sorry that fish is being a little excited. <laughs> Thank you about the super church. Just let me catch you. Man. Yeah. But no, so like, even like back in Elysium, uh, even back in Elysium, I always just go for the instant coffee because it's easier for me to like, just make it at home. It's also cheaper. Oh, wait, wait, do I want that? Oh, it's treasure, it's treasure. No, let's get the fish, let's get the fish. Fish, fish, fish. The last time we got treasure, it wasn't anything big. Hmm. Is it a starter rod? This is the fiberglass rod, but we don't have any uh, bait to use with it. Okay, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I want, I want food. Why do I want food? Oh, it's 2 p.m. That's why I want food. <laughs> Fiberglass rod is not the starting weapon on the first you can get your hands on. Yeah. We got a little message from Willie, but like, hey, we have a new rod for you, and this is it. Come on. 
Come on. No. Fish. Oh my god, I hate this mini game. I hate this mini game so much. Please, 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 please. Yes. Tuna. Oh, wait, Tuna. Willy. Hey, you succeeded. Tuna is exciting catch, don't you think? They're always hiding in the most peculiar places. Here's your reward. Let's go. That was really convenient. Oh, it's a gold star tuna too. Ooh. Always worth trying for the treasure. Sometimes it's nothing but you get very valuable things too. Ah, but I'm so bad at fishing. <laughs> Ooh. I want to get like the powdered green tea. Um, we went to a couple of sushi places and they have like this little canister with like green tea in it. And then you just mix it up with hot water and it's so good. I wanted to get some of that too for myself. No. Oh, I was so close. There we go. Is it matcha? Is it matcha? Maybe? Is it sweet? No, it's not sweet. It's like bitter, but I like it. It's really nice. I thought it was green tea. I'm not sure if it's matcha though. It, it doesn't have the frothy thing. You don't froth it up. It's just like a little powder. Uh, like It's like green powder, and then you just pour hot water into it, and that's it. No frothing. Oh, come on. There we go. Ooh. Halibut. Yeah. Oh, that was fast. Wait. Wait. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wait. Build it up. Build up the. Build up the meter. Build up the meter. Okay. Oh, we can get that. We can get that. We can get both. We can get both. Yeah. Get back here. Nice. Ooh. Oh, it's it's just wood. It's just wood. Darn it. <laughs> okay, we're getting better at the whole fishing thing, though. This is nice. Between fishing and mayo? Oh, we're gonna make so much money. Come on. Yeah. Flounder. Flounders are kind of cute. Treasure chest also gives you more XP for the catch. Oh, nice, nice. I didn't know that. Uh, <laughs> soggy do safer. Wait, can we read it? This is trash. Darn it. Man. Why should we so aggressive on the mouse? I can't help it. I can't help it. I just want the fish. Better put some of the fish in the community center. I want to, but they're all like silver star and gold star. Wait. I, I kind of just want to sell them for now because I want to stack up on a lot of money early on. Oh, come on. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Don't move, don't move. Yeah. See, these are two gold star halibuts. I feel like they have a lot of money. Driftwood. Are you more comfortable using a controller or a keyboard? I'm definitely a mouse and keyboard guy. Um, I can't play I can't play many games with a controller unless it's like specifically designed for a controller in mind. Um, I still like, like I don't think hmm, Monster Hunter. Like Monster Hunter, I think you have to play with the controller because there just is no way to hit all those keys. On the keyboard. Start to place really well on the controller. Ooh. Wait, that was weird. Halo is the best game to play on the controller. I couldn't do that though. Like shooter games, I need the precision of a mouse. I cannot do it. I grew up playing a lot of RTS games like Red Alert, StarCraft, League of Legends. So a lot of my skill comes in just playing uh, with the mouse and keyboard. 
very few console games, very few controller games. Like during my toxic gamer phase, um, I used to play a lot of Call of Duty on the controller. Um, not anymore though. <laughs> Went from Xbox Apex to PC Apex, and I can't go back to control for AV now. Yeah. Yeah. I already told you the story. You were a toxic gamer. I was. I was a very toxic gamer. I was, like, really angry. Like, I was the type of person who would play games and be very frustrated when someone was better than me. And then, like, it took me a little while to, like, recognize the faulty logic of it. But, like, the idea was... If you're a toxic gamer, right? Ooh, that's a lot of mayonnaise. Ah, <gasps> mayo, mayo, mayo. Okay, let's hold on to the sunfish, but sell the starfish. Sell the mayo. Sell the starfish. This one does not have a star, so we're gonna put this one into the community center. But the logic was basically like, if you are better than me, then you have no life and. It's either you have no life and you cheat and or you cheat, right? If you're worse than me, then you're a scrub, right? But of course, like I, I would use like more like insulting words than that, right? But like the logic never worked out, right? But like that would just be the knee-jerk reaction that I would have. And then I would say like really rude things to them. I mean, yeah, I do have no life. Thanks for finding that out. <laughs> But no, like it that's kind of what it you know. Um like how how long was I a toxic gamer for? Uh I think like three three years. It was like right around freshman to like junior year of college. So for me that was like A decade ago ish like almost a decade a little bit over a decade ago um but then like one day i realized i just was not having fun like my life was not i was not happy right and then what ended up happening was like i'm like why why am i doing this if it's making me feel so bad right like is this really it like do i go to classes i come home i play games i get mad and frustrated and then I stress eat. Like, is that is there all there is to life? And then at some point I was like, no, like games should be fun. They should make you happy. And then like I took maybe a good like three months off. I, like I just stopped playing video games and then I just started like focusing on other stuff. And then I don't know why, but when I came back, it like clicked to me with, with me. It's just like I shouldn't be playing games when they put me in a bad mood. I should be like when I play a game, you should be doing this in a good mood. Like it should be some, it should be something fun, right? I think it's like, um, I think it was like a nature documentary that I watched that involved like bears, like little baby cubs, playing. Like I think the documentary was like the like this mother, this mama bear was raising these two baby cubs to like learn how to be self sufficient and like take like protect themselves and like find food, right? And what they would do, like the the documentary person would say, now these two baby cubs are playing games, but the games serve not just as fun and entertainment, but to give them valuable skills. So that in the future, when they're on their own, they know how to hunt for food and, you know, provide for their family and all that, right? And I think something about that kind of clicked where I was like, yeah, games should should be for fun. They should give you a skill. Like, you should learn something from them. Like, it should be a positive. Like, overall, the experience should be, like, a net positive for you, right? It shouldn't be, like, a negative, right? <laughs> shooting games though yeah i used to be like a very toxic fps gamer like call of duty it was only call of duty and then i like stopped playing fps games and i started playing other games so that's kind of when i found like horror games and story-based games and it was like around 2012 when i was like i need to find games that aren't gonna make me mad i need to find games that i think are fun and like that's when uh i fell into like the rpg maker rabbit hole 
Oh my god, that was like twelve. That was like ten years ago. Wait, no, that was like twelve years ago. Twenty twelve was twelve years ago. Yeah, turn based games mellowed me out as a teen. It's kind of wild just how like impactful some of these games can be. All right, tomorrow's weather. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Let's go. From <laughs> if I wonder if anyone like who knew me back then as a very toxic gamer bro type dude would see me now playing Stardew Valley. <laughs> I wonder if anyone who knew me back then knows me now. I don't think so. I'm very bad at keeping in touch with people. 12, year, 12 years ago is when I met my wife. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. Oh my goodness, 12 years. Let's go. All of us oldies clacking our bones. Yeah. Oh, there's a few. Oh. Mm. 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 Oh, yeah. There we go. Graduated college 10 years ago. Me too. Around then. Well, I graduated undergrad around then, and then I went to like Ronin Academy for like additional school. We have so much money. Oh my god. Wait, hold up, hold up. I think. Oh, I think we have enough money. Wait, hold up, hold up. I think. Wait. Is Can we pick up our axe today? Oh, no, we're actually a little bit short on copper. If we cook all of this right now, we may have enough- Ooh, sorry, it's a little loud. I think if we cook all this together, we might have enough to go and visit Clint to upgrade our... Uh... Other tools. I forget what other tools. Moth stars, hello! Thank you for the eight months. Just in time for another comfy star to Sunday. Let's enjoy summer. Let's go! When is this going to grow? When is this going to finish growing? Please. One. Two. Three. Four? Yeah! There we go. Okay, we have plenty of hay. You can sell your stuff at the general store if you need more money immediately. I don't think we need more money immediately yet. Well, hmm. We're, we're getting good daily amounts of money. But I think we're okay. I just need to figure out what direction we want to head into. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, Chad, did you guys know chickens are really warm? Like, have you ever picked up a chicken and held onto one? They're so warm. It's insane. Like you can't you you would look at them and be like oh look it's a chicken right but then if you th if you ever thought about it like what would the temperature of a chicken be but like if you pick them up they're so warm egg 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 mayo if you've not had a chance to hold a chicken I would recommend it always recommend it all right water for biscuit give a little pet. Oh, and then, okay, all of these are watered except for the hops and then this mysterious plant here the, on the bottom and, ooh, what? <gasps> Is that asparagus? It, this makes me think of asparagus. Ooh. Have you guys seen an asparagus field? How much does Punica weigh? Punica weighs about... Five pounds? Four? Four pounds? Around there, thereabouts. Four or five. Asparagus. I want to say that's wheat. Ooh, wheat? Yeah, asparagus does just grow out of the ground like that. They look like little sticks. Like they, I, I, I don't know how else to describe it. They literally just look like asparagus. If you look at a field of asparagus, it looks like someone walked around the field and then just stuck asparagus into the ground. Like, that's what it looks like. Ooh. <gasps> More summer squash. Yo. 
I like I have no other way to describe it. it like go Google up like a, like a field of asparagus. It looks it legitimately looks like someone walked around the fields and then just stuck a whole bunch of asparagus into the ground. I kid you not, it just looks really silly. <laughs> asparagus takes seven years to sprout, does it? I thought they just grew very slowly, but they look like um like kinda how bamboo just kinda like sticks out of the ground like that. Yeah, they just do. <laughs> it is derived from an uh, ancient Persian word meaning shoots of grass. Ooh. It does look like that, yeah. Shy Violet, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. They look like little dirt wormies. It's really cute. Ooh, speaking of dirt worms. Yeah. Chipped amphora. Ooh. Asparagus looks like it's someone pranking you on how it grows. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It really does. Oh wait, hold on. Clint is down here. Dragon fruit? I've never seen dragon fruit growing. It's never occurred to me. Like, the thought has never come across my mind. <gasps> Let's go, copper pickaxe. All right. Steel pickaxe requires five iron. Copper watering can, copper trash can. I think we do need to go back and farm some copper too. Dragon fruit is cool looking. It does look really cool. It's a cactus. Oh, I know like prickly pear cactuses have prickly <gasps> Hey Abigail, hair is so thick with honey and nectar all summer. I almost feel dizzy. Same. Wait, do I have any minerals? Dude. No, I don't have any minerals. I can't give her anything. Wait, did I already give her? Oh, it's a new week. Oh, man. Okay, we'll come back later. We'll come back later. Oh, my nose is still kind of stuffy. Ooh, sleepy. It's like a combination of a tree and a cactus. That's what dragon fruit grows on. That's so cool. Man, I want to eat some dragon fruit. I heard that dragon fruit is really good as a laxative. Is that true? I've never had dragon fruit before. I've seen like a couple of videos of someone, uh, some people being all like, dragon fruit's a great laxative. And then, like, if you eat a whole dragon fruit, you clean out your bowels. I think I've seen a few of things like that. Okay, let's go drop all this stuff here. Yeah, all right. Uh, we'll do it this way. All right. I don't want to go too deep early. Should I go too deep? Hmm. <laughs> Only overripen dragon fruits? Oh. Ooh. I remember it smells very nice, but it doesn't taste so much. Maybe I didn't have a good one. I mean, lots of food is like that if you eat too much of it. <laughs> do I want to go deeper and get iron, or do I want to stay up? Because we don't actually have that much copper, to be honest. Five grams of fiber for every six ounce serving? Oh my god, that's a lot of fiber. You know what? Let's just keep going. Let's go through. You can torture people with it. They're like, hey, try this out. Wait, I think I already told this story before, but like the reason why so many people poop whenever they eat um, Taco Bell is because they have very bad diets. So when they eat Taco Bell, Taco Bell actually has a lot of fiber, a good fiber, like a really, really good amount of fiber in it. So when they eat it, the body's like, oh, we finally have fiber. And then that's what allows them to poop. It doesn't make them poop, it allows them to poop. And that's the difference. And it makes me wonder, like, how bad are most people's diets? You know? Oh, right, we have to kill bats and slimes to get the their drops for the community bundle, too. I've heard quinoa is another good, good stool softener. Ooh. I've not had quinoa in a while. I could go for some quinoa. Oh, wait, let's get that. 
Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wait, we're getting so much iron ore already. Ten? That's insane. Not a fiber grenade. <laughs> fiber is really important. As you get older, you're gonna wonder like why does my gut not work this not not work as well? And then the answer will be because of fiber. Goes on a cactus called the Hilo Hilo Serious? Kinda like a weeping willow with a cactus and a baby. Ooh. Apparently a lot of people suffer from vitamin deficiencies have no clue about it. I don't get enough potassium despite my best efforts. Yeah, it's not like I wish there was a way that you can like right click yourself, check properties, and be like, oh, I am deficient in this mineral or this vitamin, right? There's nothing like that, unfortunately. And I think that's why a lot of people end up being like dehydrated pretty often. Like you have like the crankiness debuff. Why? Because you're dehydrated. How would you know though? You can't tell. But I like, gosh, that would be so nice. Okay, let's just keep going. I want to see how far we can go. Ding. We'll get to the next stage where we would need a lot of iron. Humanity needs a patch 2.0. We really do. Like, fixed an issue where acquiring a certain amount of wealth would render your empathy meter non existent. Like, that should be a good, good change, you know? Drinking water but not peeing. That's, oh, that was another thing. If you if you drink too much water, like your pee should not be completely clear, by the way. It should have like a little tint to it. If it's completely clear, it means you're drinking, ooh, warp scroll. If it's completely clear, you're drinking too much water um, and you run the risk of losing electrolytes. So yeah. Oh, I love the music. The music is so nice. <laughs> Happened to me at a con, I almost passed out. Yeah, because your body, um, human bodies operate off of electricity. And in order to have electricity, you need ions. Ooh. A rusty cog. Yeah, everything in excess can be bad. Even water. I remember a long time ago, I heard a story about this woman who had who went on a radio show, I believe. And the challenge was like to drink a certain amount of water in a certain amount of time. And she became very ill or she passed away. One of those two, um, just because the, the imbalance of like ions in her body made it, um, difficult for her body to function. Yeah. Water poisoning. Everything in moderation chat. Oh man. There was a chubby emu video about that. Man, I'm I'm scared of chubby emu's videos. The way they, the way that he opens up his videos always scares me because it'll be something mundane like, like this teenager woke up one day, and here is how their liver failed. I'm like, what? Oh my god, they woke up and their liver failed like that or something crazy. It's just like what? Yeah, presenting to the emergency room with like all these symptoms. It's like, oh my god, what the heck? It's scary. The last one that I saw was about this one guy who, um, you know how when you have an illness in your throat, there's like a, a numbing spray that you can spray into your mouth. Um, this person wanted to show off to his friends about how much spicy food that they could eat. So, but like he, he wasn't like actually prepared for it. So instead what they did was they went and they just downed a whole bottle of that numbing spray and they use that to like disguise and hide the pain of the spice, but it was like this the sheer amount of that causes body to like shut down and oh my gosh, it's insane. I remember seeing the one with the guy who ate day old gas station sushi. Oh no. Oh man. Like fish of any kind, you should try to finish it within the day, unless you know that it's it can be kept safe, you know? But man, it's insane. 
Very scary. But I honestly think, like, it's probably a good thing to just kind of remind yourself of that every once in a while. Just to give yourself a reminder, like, hey, the, the human body is not... It, it's, like, amazing, but at the same time, it's not indestructible, you know? Just remind yourself every now and then, well, you, got, you gotta take care of yourself, you gotta be aware, be careful here and there, like... Because the body really is fragile at times, you know? Like pineapples. The kid who ate a giant gummy vitamin gummy bottle in one sitting. Yeah, that one too. Because you would think like, oh, it's just gummy vitamins, right? But then like the way that it has an impact once it gets inside your body is just wild. It's scary stuff. Ooh. Okay, more field snacks. I saw one with the farmer that accidentally injected a horse vaccine. Oh, I saw that one too. It's it's scary. Like for me, the realization is that like it doesn't matter what you are, like everything around you is all made up of chemicals. Even simple water is chemicals. And the way that those chemicals will interact with your body is just scary, like even if you don't think about it, you know? Be careful, chat. I thought I heard a bat spawning. I thought it was gonna come up here. Yeah, I keep hearing the bats, but where are they? Oh, there they are. If the bats keep spawning, we might be able to farm our uh, total number of bat wings. Okay, we had to go. It's 11 p.m., so that's good enough time. Did I have anything in here? <gasps> oh! Oh my god. Oh my god, we have stuff in here. Wait, no. <laughs> Our energy is fine. We have enough to make one or two mistakes. Alright, let's get back home. Shouldn't we, we feel like tired, shouldn't we? Yeah. One of the scary things to think about is almost every single product that you see outside that's being sold. Ooh, worm. Summer squash seed, let's go. Every single product that you see out there that has um, a warning label on it almost always has some kind of a story behind it. Like there's a reason why there are warning lab labels on those. I'm gonna sell this, sell that, sell those, sell that, sell, sell, sell. Keep these. Sell. Hold on to those. And then the rest of it we'll hold on to. Do I have any eggs? Large egg. Large egg. Large egg. We won't have time to cook these, but we'll get them cooking so we can pick them up tomorrow morning. Then mayonnaise. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> this is Biscuit's bed tonight. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Oh, so cute. Oh, that's so cute. Ooh. A chance for a gem to appear in pairs or plus one ore per vein. I want to go for the ore per vein because this is a bit more consistent. The gems are nice, but we don't actually meet that. We don't see that many gems. So I want to go with, with this one because I do want that copper and I want that iron. All right. Give me just a minute, Chad. I'm going to go to an idle meeting real quick. I'll be right back. Oh. <gasps>
chat. I am back. <laughs> it's like 2 p.m. And I'm wondering what I should eat. <laughs> because I finished... I finished the last of my food, or like most of my food. I have like a few things, but it's mostly like condiments. Doji, thank you for the 14 months. The soothing sounds of farming at bedtime. Yeah, let's go. Okwiri okwiri. Instant noodle, konbini onigiri. Ah. I would have to leave though, that's the thing. <laughs> Spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Hmm. Taco Bell. <laughs> Get that fiber. Dear Shinwei, tomorrow we're gathering at the beach for the annual Pelican Town Luau. The highlight of the event is the communal potluck. Make sure to bring something good to contribute. The governor himself is attending the event, so make sure you're on your best behavior. Come to the beach sometime between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Hmm. Do you mean like jelly filled donut? <laughs> Uber Eats? Should we get some Uber Eats? I did order that one time, the previous stream. You may need to do groceries. I do, but I, I kind of don't want to do groceries. Not tonight, or not today, because it's it's Sunday and everyone's going to want to do their groceries during this like weekend. So I want to I wanna wait later, wait, uh, wait to do groceries until later. I don't know, I just don't like the crowds, you know? <laughs> There's so much pressure, like, just ha having to... Oh no... Uh-oh, I totally forgot. Um... Oh no, Chad, oh no... Wait, my watering can! My watering can is over by the... It's in the, uh, it's in the caves, it's in the mines. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven... Hey, oh, look at Biscuit run. She got the zoomies today. Okay. I did get, uh, or I did order delivery that other time, but, hmm. <gasps> Ooh, wait, hold up. We can save one of the, uh, one of the gold star eggs for the luau and then cook the rest of these. Is this the Meadowlands farm? It is, it's the new one. It starts you off with chickens, and it's been insane how profitable it is compared to like the amount of work that you do. Oh, they're so cute. <gasps> Duck eggs, let's go. Jill's Coda, hello. Thank you so much for the three months. Okwady, okwady. Using this now, thank you for your hard work. I might mostly lurk, but you still make my late night study stints bearable. Much love. Thank you. Wait, thank you so much. And of course, more than happy to continue to provide chill vibes during the streams. Wait, oh, I can take all this out. Ooh. Ooh. But yeah, of course. I'm gonna keep doing this. Haha, <laughs> you cannot stop me. I'm gonna keep making chill, cozy streams. <laughs> Aggressively. Uh... Wait, I should cook these. Cook, cook, cook. Alright, organize. Wait, chat, do I need the duck? Do I need the duck feather for anything? I'm not sure if I will use it for anything though. Remember this is a kid who wants snacks but the dad says no, so I took the snack. So I took a look at the snack they wanted because I felt mischievous right in front of them. That's so mean! Poor little kid. Didn't get to say hello since I've been cozy driving for the past few hours. Thank you for the cozy vibes to make the day better. Aww. Community center! Ah, okay, okay. Okay, winter route goes to the community center. We already put in the spice berries, so we'll sell those. And then I'll hold on to one of the eggs. I'll hold on to the chicken egg because I want to cook the... This one will be for the luau tomorrow. Right? Okay, yeah. Now let's head over to the mines, pick up the watering can, bring come back, and then give Biscuit her water, and then water the other two plants down below. Ooh. 
Is there a way to not hold things? Because I've been running around constantly like this. Okay, do you see that? I can't, I can't select this empty space. I can't select eight. So I'm perpetually running around holding things above my head because I can't put it down. Like, is there a way? <laughs> is there a way to just, <laughs> just put your weapon in your hand? I, I suppose. But it feels so, it feels so aggressive. Also, right-clicking accidentally makes me block. Or oh, you can just click on the empty space. Okay. We don't need this many chests here, so I'll break those two and like, take it with me. Keep at your work. Gwee, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Pressing a number key? Ah, oh, I wish. I wish I had my old mouse. Um, because my old mouse has all the the number pad on the thumb area. I wish I had that one again. Okay, construct a farm building. Deluxe coop. Wait. It comes with an auto feed system? Wait. It only takes wood and stone? Hmm. 20,000 gold though, that's quite a lot. 10,000, wood stone. Or do I just want to build another coop? 4,000, 300, 100. It's something more sense to unlock, upgrade to the big one? No, now that we already have a big one that unlocked the ducks, it would make more sense to build a second coop in that small little area. Unlocks rabbits, though. Hmm. If you keep building coops, you're going to run out of space on your farm. I know, but there's, like, there's enough space to have at least one more coop in the area that we've got. Auto feed automatically puts the feed from the silo into the trail. Useful when animals are stuck inside. That is true. The auto feed is nice because I'm having it automated would be super convenient. Hmm. Hmm. But we don't really have that much. Uh, not many animals yet, right? An auto feed. That, wait. If we have an auto feeder, technically we don't need to have grass as long as we have sufficient numbers of hay. So we could have a deluxe, hmm. As long as we have enough hay, we can have a very, hmm. Auto feed is a lifesaver in the winter, ah. Grass makes them happy, you get better products when they're happy. Ah, oh, that's true, okay. Hmm. You can buy the hay from Marnie, but that cuts into our profit margins. <laughs> All right, let's go put you there, put this here, put that there. No, we give that to Abigail. All right. Oops, collect rewards. Starfruit seeds. Ooh. It's just one. Let's go. Don't forget they need pets every day. Ah, oh, that's true. Pets every day. Do you, hmm. Ha. Ah. How do I want to do this? I think it's worth saving up for that. The auto feeder would be very nice because then we can upgrade it to 12 chickens in the auto feeder place. So the only thing we would have to do, wake up, go inside, scoop up all 12 eggs, which is a lot of eggs. Hmm. And then I need to, I'm gonna have to move the rant or move the coop around to a place with more grass. Should we do ever plan on playing that climbing game? Climbing game? What climbing game? Do, 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 do. 
Ah, the music is so nice. I hear there was a um orchestra that played like Stardew Valley music. I want to go see that. Yeah, there we go. A difficult game about climbing. A game about climbing. Is it? Ooh, wait, that sounds kind of fun. I don't know how to climb IRL. I've seen people like rock climbing. I've always wanted to rock climb, but I've never like actually rock climb myself. So I don't know what to expect. Wait, that's for the Luau. Don't touch that. Okay. Uh, hang on a minute. <laughs> Forgot. Okay. Water for biscuit. And then the star fruit, I think, is important, right? So I'm going to put the star fruit here. Next to that. This way, we don't risk it dying. There we go. These two. Ancient seed and then the star fruit. Yeah. Battle lost his voice playing it. Is is it one of those like rage games where like you get you're supposed to get mad at it and be like, er, I'm not happy you play this game. Rar. It's always been funny to me seeing people play those games. I don't know. I usually don't rage that much at games. Wait. Takes six days to grow. Continues to produce after harvest. Ten. Eh. It's fine. It'll be an extra nice little supplemental income anyway. Yeah. Gerard beat it. Let's go. Okay. When this is done cooking, we got one more duck egg to process. And then we have... Do we have any more ore? No more ore to cook. Any ore here? No. It was made by Bennett Foddy. Oh, it is. Okay. I mean, that could be cute. I would try it out. All right. How much? Oh, we do have enough iron. Hmm. Hmm. Do I want to? Do I want to upgrade my tool again? Do I want to get iron pickaxe? Because that would be really nice. But that's yet, m like, several more days that we can't go into the mines. Oh, but it'd be so nice to have the iron pickaxe while we have it. It wasn't made by Ben Afadi, it was inspired by Ben Ah, inspired. Okay, okay. Close up Wednesday. No! Wait, if it's closed, where's Abigail? Where's Abigail? Abigail, where are you? Doesn't, wait, doesn't Abigail like stare at the river? She plays flute, right? Where would I find Abigail? No. Get the upgrade? Yeah, I think I'll just get the iron upgrade because we have it, we have it. Wait. Uh, wait, quick, quick, before, before he closes, before he closes shop, let me go double check. We don't have enough time to upgrade it today, but let's go double check and see how much gold we need. Upgrade tools. For the steel pickaxe, I need 5,000 gold and five. Okay, we have enough. We can afford that. Let's go. She plays flute at the mountain lake. Ah. Oh. Man. Why is Abigail so great? Do you play any musical instruments? Not really. Um, I wanted to practice piano and then this the idle duties became very difficult and very busy. So I've not been able to practice that often. Although, when I do, oh, what? I came for the beautiful ocean. Oh, ooh. She's drawing? Oh, Let's go. 
Did you learn the musical instrument as a kid? I used to learn. I used to play piano. Um, that was a long, long time ago, though. So I do want to get back into it. I just haven't had the chance to. And then now I'm gonna be here for a couple of months, so I will be yet more unable to practice piano. But when I get back, when I get back, I intend to get back into practicing it. Leah is great. I think they're all pretty great, aren't they? Like, wars are fought over. <laughs> Which Stardew Valley resident to make a wife or husband or just general partner. Wait, is it true you can go and like date multiple people at the same time? Is that true? Like, apparently, if you go and you court like all the the guys, they have like a special cutscene or something. Date multiple, but only marry one. Ah, I see, I see. You can't, but they're not gonna be happy. <laughs> Any plans? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. But you will get caught. Wait, caught? You can get caught? What do you mean you can get caught? <laughs> Are there like consequences of it? Oh my god. Date everyone. It happens to the girls too. You get an intervention cutscene with the people you cheat with. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. That's a rust. Chat. It's a rusty spoon. It's a rusty spoon. Oh my god. Flashbacks to uh, Salad Fingers, right? I think it was Salad Fingers. Yeah. Rusty Spoon. I don't know why, but that's like stuck in my head. All right. Uh, duck Egg. There's one. Wool Milk Large Egg. Wait. Large. A brown large chicken egg. Okay, okay. So-so, thank you for the super. You can't do that for my first save and dated everyone. Let's say I'm afraid to go back after years. <laughs> oh no. Why does it sound so intimidating and scary now? Thank you for the super. I hope they did not, like, scare you. Oh no. Oh, it's so pretty. Alright. Winter root. Yeah. Uh, I think that's it for there. Don't have any of these. Don't have any hardwood. Blackberry. Hazelnut plum. Nope. Wait, chat. Do we... We haven't harvested any of the mushrooms ever since Demetrius put a mushroom farm inside our cave, have we? We've never touched it since. I <laughs> just realized that. <laughs> Sunfish. I completely forgot. I was like, it's, I'm not surprising. Like we haven't had, we haven't had mushrooms in a while. I'm like, wait a minute. I I know why we haven't had mushrooms in a while. Because it's completely blanked out. I forgot to go get those. Mm, don't have any of these. Iron bar. And then frozen tier. Let's go. Wait. Yeah, we're good. Let's go. <laughs> I forgot about the cave after a whole year. <laughs> no, but it's supposed to be good mushrooms. All right, it's 7 p.m. Uh, should we try to ambush Abigail? The visual is odd of me just standing here at, at almost 8 p.m. at night with sunglasses on, holding an amethyst above my head. I mean, the minecart's good. That's how you use the automate mod? I wish I could use mods. Oh, I wish. Mark, but spelled Kark. Hello, thank you for the super. Hi, I have no idea who you are, but you were the first live stream came up, so here's some money. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. We're just playing some Stardew Valley. We're gonna ambush the best girl and and give her some amethysts. Yeah, 
you know that meme where it's the, the guy is like sitting by well, like he's like hiding behind the corner of a door and he's like I, and he has like a like a like a like a pie like one of those like whipped cream pies and he's like oh well, i'm gonna ambush my friend when he walks to the door and then he's just sitting there for like days and days and days right it's like that it's me just like standing here waiting to like ambush abigail with the amethyst and she just never shows up. <laughs> yeah, gonna prank him when Silk Song comes out. <laughs> no, no, not the Silk Song jam. It's 10 p.m. We've waited for two hours. She's not here yet. Blue Mantis, thank you for the gift of membership. Thank, thank you. Oh, there she is. There she is. Hey, Abigail. Yeah, let's go. Okay. <laughs> it would have been so awkward if the entire night went by and she just never showed up. Everyone's excited for the Lua tomorrow. Maybe a little nervous too, considering the governor will be here. Oh, let's go, man. We totally didn't wait for hours, right? <laughs> Shh, she doesn't have to know that part. <laughs> hmm. I guess what? Uh, wait, we can still the sea urchin. I'll do tomorrow, wait, hmm. tomorrow's an event day, so I can't really do anything with that, so. Sandstone and calcite, I think we have not donated either of these to, I don't think we donated them to the um, museum. So we'll do that tomorrow. No, we can't do that tomorrow, we'll do that afterwards. Oh, I can't do anything tomorrow. No, it's the Luau day. Darn it. Okay. Mm, put that away. I can't tell if this is romantic or not. <laughs> oh, hey, biscuit. All right, eat time. Stardew Valley Farmer has some serious riz if people are concerned about them standing outside someone's door late at night waiting for them to come home just to give them a rock. <laughs> oh my god, look at the mayonnaise. The mayonnaise must flow, chat. The mayonnaise must flow. Oh my god. Okay, so they're at the beach, right? Hey, Biscuit. Okay. Oh, I can see them actively eating away all the grass. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go. Ooh. Egg, 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 egg. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Let's go deposit these away. And then the fishing rod. I need to keep this here. Okay. Alright, let's go. Mayo. 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 We're gonna hold on to this one large egg for the community center. Yeah. Alright. Ooh. Oh wait, no, it was supposed to be the ah, uh, it was supposed to be the brown one. Ah, oh, darn it. No. <laughs> oh, I forgot it was supposed to be the large brown egg. Oops. We'll get it tomorrow. We'll get it tomorrow. Okay. No eggs today, but that means eggs tomorrow. Okay. Still plenty. Hmm. Time to go water some of our crops. Please no crows. Please, no crows. Oh, 
Summer squash. Let's go. Okay. Water this. Water the hops. Water that. Over here. And everything else is automatically watered on its own. Yes. Yeah. We got some summer squash. Okay, we sell two, and we keep one for the community center bundle. Sell two. Yeah. All right, and now, um, we should go grab our items because I think we have enough to build one more uh, barn, stone, wood, Oh, we're a little bit short on clay. A little bit short on clay. Okay, this goes to the museum. And then... The rest, we're going to hold on to it. To the mines? Aquamarine Jade Quartz. Sea Jelly. Alright, let's head over to the mines real quick and do a little bit of digging. Extreme optional farming. <laughs> Wait, I missed one? I missed one? Wait. Are the sparkly things new seeds? I think so. Wait, hold up. Can we make a new... F no, we don't have enough fiber. We don't. We can't make another fiber. You missed the wheat? Oh wait, hold up. Do I need my sickle? The luau has begun. Okay. Let's get the wheat. Alright, harvest the wheat real quick, and then... Oh! <gasps> wheat and hay! Yo! That's nice! Wait, can I just hoe the ground here and get clay? Because if I can, I, I would like to save some time and space. <laughs> what are we taking to the Lua? We are taking the egg. This gold egg. Because I don't want... <laughs> I'm not gonna put mayonnaise into the soup. I don't want to do that. That's kind of weird. That, like, I don't know how bad it's gonna be, but I don't want to put mayonnaise into the soup. Okay, uh, put that there. Cook this. Cook that. Cook that. And then we have this large gold star egg for the luau. All right. Mayo soup. Ah, uh, it's so weird. Do I have enough time? I, I'm i scared, because it takes like an hour to get to the mines, and then an hour to get back. And by then it'll already be like 1pm, and it end, the luau ends at 2pm. No, I'm not going to risk it, I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to go to the museum, drop off whatever we don't have, and then sell the rest of it. And then, yeah, I don't want to risk it. Did you just hear mayo soup? Yeah, when you pour mayonnaise into the soup. Like, it's already 11. It's like, oh wait, it's an event day. Ah. No, we can't do anything. Oh my god. Man. Okay, let's just go to the Luau. Let's just go to the Luau. Okay. Gold egg. Let's put everything away so we don't accidentally drop anything else into there. There. Oh, wait a minute. At the very least, we can buy something nice. Wall palm, jungle decals, climbing leaves, donuts, starfruit, plain torch. Wait, aren't starfruits good? Something about a starfruit, right? Ooh, ooh. The Scarecrow? Wait, can you buy a Scarecrow? These are all furniture. No. You can plant one? We already have one planted, but... You planted one the other day, yeah. Do... Do I... Should I buy this? It's 3,000. It's not the stamina raising one? Oh, I see, I see. Wait, it doesn't make sense to buy it then, right? I think you get something for putting starfruit in the soup. Do you? Oh yeah, no, I'm thinking about the other one. The item that we found in the mines. When we made it to floor 100, they give you a different thing. It's 
good for wine, but not at this point. Just go with your egg. Okay, okay. It's a fancy lemon. <laughs> oh, the stamina one is a star drop. Okay, okay. Not this one. Hmm. Who's the person that sells like the the fancy things here? Oh, she's just going for it. Look at that. Okay. The music is too loud. Had to have a little peace and quiet to enjoy the ocean. Of all the days, why did you pick today to come join the ocean? She's unresponsive. <laughs> I think the better description would be that she's really engrossed in dancing to notice. When you say she's unresponsive, it sounds like she's passed out on the ground and isn't responding to, like, you trying to wait. Because, like, when you say someone's not respond, like, they're unresponsive, right? Like, that's what I think. In my mind, they're, like, out unconscious and they're not able to respond. Like, that's what I think, right? Just saying she's unresponsive sounds a little... Ow, you stepped on my foot. Oh, no. This is tiring. Are you ready to visit the buffet soon? <laughs> I would dance, but I don't want to get sweaty. Perfect weather for a beach party, huh? One year, Sam put a pound of anchovies in the potluck soup. <gasps> Abigail. It's tiring to socialize with everyone. I'd rather watch the sea. Oh my god, me too. Same though. Same. Oh. Oh my god, I love that game. <laughs> I'm full, but what else is there to do besides eat? Clint, you can go break it down on the dance floor. I hope the soup is good this year. I put fresh vegetables from my garden into the communal soup pot. Good thing I came with sunscreen. Sunscreen's always important. Preventing skin damage is better than trying to cure skin damage. Whatever Linus is roasting smells awfully good. What are you roasting? Slow, continuous rotation of the game. <laughs> I'm sorry. In this moment, I get like Senshi vibes from Dungeon Meshi. Like this is like this is like with this with Linus right now and that. A slow, continuous rotation of is key to achieving the perfect roast. Right? Like that's what I get. Like it, this is like Senshi vibes right now. <laughs> Let's go! We do this festival every year to give the governor a taste of everything the valley has to offer. Okay, here's the thing. I understand that. I understand giving the governor a taste of everything the valley has to offer. I get that. But does everything have to be in the same dish? Like, like does it all have to be in the same soup? You know? <laughs> like, yes, here's a taste of everything the value has to offer, but like, you would imagine them to be in like, a variety of different dishes. Not all together in one go. All at once, right? <laughs> Don't mix apples and garlic, mayo in the soup, anchovies and everything. Oh, the ultimate soup. <laughs> Putting even the people in the soup, right? Even if all the ingredients are good, just adding them all together won't make it good. Exactly, exactly. Like, you could put, like, gold star everything, but then... I don't know, like... Okay, what would be a very weird combination to have? Bacon... Lemon... Pasta... With... Mayonnaise. Wait, no, pasta and mayonnaise kind of work. The lemon, I think, would be the worst one. Like, a cit no, actually, there are citrusy pastas. Wait, that would actually kind of work. Um, mayonnaise and chocolate, but that's a thing, though. That's actually a thing. Hmm. Okay. Fish. Fish and chocolate. I am. Fish. Would fish and chocolate go well together? Raw fish. And chocolate. Raw fish and chocolate with asparagus. 
and egg. Maybe? Fish and chocolate sounds terrible. Yeah, that's a, I'm, I'm, fish on chocolate. <laughs> Champa rather have dry fish? That's true. It depends on how the ingredients are prepared. Like raw fish versus cooked fish versus dried fish is very different, you know? Pickles and Nutella. Wait, pickles and Nutella is really good though. Pickle and Nutella is really good. Fish and chocolate can work though. Maybe if it's smoked. But it's not smoked, it's boiled. It's all boiled. Chocolate mayo sushi can also work. I'm not sure. Chocolate mayo sushi? Hmm. Fish fingers and custard. <laughs> I don't think fish fingers and custard actually work. Didn't, didn't Matt Smith admit that it wasn't actually fish fingers? That he instead had, it was like bread. It was like toasted bread, like French, like French toast. Strips of French toast in custard because uh, the actual fish fingers and custard was really nasty. <laughs> yeah, French toast sticks that were like breaded a little bit to make it look like it was fish sticks, but it wasn't really fish sticks. <laughs> what a faker, right? Gosh, the doctor lying. How could he? <laughs> fish fingers good with anything and I'll die on a hill. Okay. Mm, I think a lot of like... What would be like, hmm, I'm trying to think and I'm having a very difficult time trying to think of like really bad food combinations. Like I, I like Marmite, you know, like I like Marmite. I like Vegemite. I like, like that's how far my taste buds are. Like I can go and eat those and be fine with it. You know, toothpaste, but toothpaste isn't a food, you know, jelly and sprinkle sandwiches. That sounds okay though. Eels? Wait, eels are really good though. Unagi is really delicious. Durian and Vegemite with fermented fish sauce. Wait, that actually sounds nice though. Because you have like the creamy smoothness of durian, like the tart tanginess and the bitterness of the Vegemite, and then, or the, ta the bitterness of the Vegemite and then like the tankiness of the fish sauce. Fish fingers with Vegemite, that actually... I'm, I'm trying really hard, but like my palate is pretty broad. So everything that I can think of, like as long as you prepare it correctly, I think it can work. Mint jelly with anchovies? Maybe if it was like 80%, 80% mint and 20% anchovies, because then it just sounds like ruined mint, mint jelly. Mm. Do you like durians? I love durians. I love durians. Blue Mantis, the soup. Uh, if it's pure dark cocoa, it might be like mole sauce. I think sugary milk chocolate might be hard to sell. Well, it isn't. It, it's like a. It's like a broth, you know, like it, it, or it's like a soup, like this, right? So, hmm, boba ramen with durian. I think the big issue there is like the proportions. Curious how veggie might taste like. It tastes like like a very bitter paste. I guess would be the best way to describe it. It's like a bittery taste. Sliced bananas and grilled cheese. That's really good. Sliced banana and grilled cheese, especially if you um, like toast the cheese so it gets that nice little like crispy brown layer. Hanabi, think for the soup. Uh, I mean, mayor shorts are in the soup. Wait, you can toss the mayor's shorts into the What? You can toss the shorts into the soup. <laughs> Have a taste of everything that Stardew Valley has to offer. Even... Even the mayor's pants. Oh my god. Okay, let's put in the egg. You add a large egg to the soup. I like to imagine that I just put the egg itself whole into the soup. I didn't crack it open. I just put large egg into the soup. Like, shell and all. You get a special dialogue for doing the shorts if you correctly. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah, it's got calcium in there. If you brought something for the soup, climb the stairs on the other side to throw it in. Oh wait, excuse me. Oh wait. 
What, how did this tradition start up? Want to become a hard-boiled egg? I don't know. It's not particularly steaming. So I'm not sure if it's hot. What if it's a cold soup and the, there's just like an egg in there? <laughs> Food combos don't always make sense. Egg whites, no flavor. And vinegar, bad flavor, makes mayo. It's like the emulsification process of it is different, you know? Hey, free buffet. One of the perks of living here. Enjoy it, kid. It's like once a year. Hmm. These blasted sandflies keep landing on the food. <laughs> wow, you don't get hot pepper chutney like this in the big city. Hot pepper chutney? Wait, that sounds really nice. Man. I woke up late, sat down on the door, and found myself in the middle of this hubbub. You would think that someone who lives on the beach would be aware of, like, the, the big luau. <laughs> I wonder if Mara could use some sunscreen on her shoulders. <laughs> Aww, he's worried for Maru. Cute. Okay. Is there anyone that I did not talk to? Oh. <laughs> Ever wonder why Sam leaves the town in community service hours? Does... does he? No? I've never... <laughs> I've never wondered that. I'm bored. Vincent isn't a good dancer. <laughs> okay, I think we haven't talked to Willie, but is Willie here? Oh, there. No, that's the wizard. Where's Willie? Is Willie here? There's Willie. All the way down here. Hi there, Shinwe. Are we taking a breather? Oh, good happened twice. To tell you the tooth. I to tell you the truth, I'd rather be fishing right now. I feel that. And then the wizard is the last person to talk to. Oh, Abigail is so cute. <laughs> oh, my, yeah, thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. <laughs> the mer people are curious about your festivities. They become upset when you litter into the ocean. Mer people. Ooh. Did we talk to everybody? I think we talked to everyone, right? Oh, we can talk to these two again. More conversations. Why should I care about some old random guy? Mayor Lewis hopes he'll get the governor's good side. That's why he's so neurotic about the way the soup tastes. <laughs> really? Really? Just dumping everything in and that's what you're worried about? What a lovely occasion. It's always a joy visiting Stardew Valley. I must speak to the missus about purchasing a vacation home here. Man, imagine being able to afford not just a home, but a vacation home. Imagine that. Look sharp, government is here for an annual visit. If you brought something, if you brought something for the potluck, make sure to add it to the soup cauldron. Yeah. All right. I think we're ready. I think we talked to everybody. Oh, uh, wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Hold up. Let me go double check. Oh. Oh. No, we don't have a no scarecrow. Gosh, okay. I just wanted to double check. Let's go. I remember when homes are twenty five dollars. <laughs> Well, folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put in high-quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the governor to regret his, vi his visit to the valley. Well, governor, would you do us the honor of tasting the soup? Of course. I've been looking forward to this all year. Really? I feel like you can make the soup at home. Just go buy, like, a one of everything and toss it into a big bowl and then boil it up. You can look at this. <laughs> this is the face of a man who is in pain. Look at his eyes. <laughs> He's looking down at his spoon. <laughs> 
his eyes. <laughs> oh, he's trying really hard. Oh, that was a cute expression, though. Ah, that's a very pleasant soup. The produce from this valley never disappoints. <laughs> it does not look appetizing. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Mm, tasty. You all did very well today. Now, who else wants some soup? Man. The Lua was a success. Good thing I brought something tasty for the soup. Time to head home. Oh, it's already 10 p.m. Man. Okay. Man. Yeah, we bought a gold star large egg. I, I don't know. I don't, I won't judge. I won't judge. Um, I'm just... Small, small town, small village quirks, you know, just, just, yeah, just small town things, small, small town things, yeah. Okay, tomorrow's weather, rain all day tomorrow, let's go. We didn't get to spend any of our energy. Ooh. Oh my god. 20% more. 20% more? Oh my god. Wait, does mayo count? Does mayo count? A hundred and ninety, a hundred and eighty-five. Twenty percent more on that. Ooh. Ooh, let's go. That's amazing. Oh my god. Oh. We have so much money. Okay, these are good to go. Let's go pet all of our ducks. Oh wow. One, two. Wait. Oh, there. There we go. Are you stepping on something? No. Oh, they're so cute. Time for mayo. Wait, why do I keep getting duck feathers? Okay, turn those into mayo. I don't know what to do with the duck feathers. Do I just sell them? <laughs> don't forget to save one large brown egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for the reminder. Okay, oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Large brown egg, large brown egg. <gasps> what? Wait, is that the iridium quality? Ooh. Whoa. Wait, but mayonnaise is still worth more than the iridium egg, so... What do I do? <laughs> what do I do with it? It's the best quality. Should I sell the iridium egg or turn it into mayo? Because if it turns into mayo, it just becomes like a. Does it make iridium mayo? Does it? It'll make high quality mayo. Is it guaranteed to make an iridium? Uh, is it guaranteed to make an iridium mayo? Or just like regular standard high quality mayo? It becomes gold mayo? No. It just becomes gold mayo. Ah, oh, no. It feels like this should be a more special moment. But, darn it. It's just gold mayo. You need iridium star ostrich egg to make iridium mayo. Sell it. Gold mayo still sells more than iridium egg though. Ah, oh, darn it. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll turn it all into mayo. We'll turn it all into mayo. Hold on to this one for the community center. Alright, iron bar, and then... Oh, wait, hold up. 
We almost jumped the gun. We have to head into the mines real quick. Okay. We need to head into the mines real quick in order to get our clay so that we can get our third silo. Because we already filled up two silos worth of hay, so we need to get that second one. <clears throat> Golden mail sound off, but it's something iridium makes it sound irradiated. Yeah, that's what I get too. Makes it feel like it's uh, radioactive and dangerous. Oh, <gasps> spicy mayo. Wait, no, spicy mayo is already a thing. Sriracha mayo exists. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <gasps> Ooh, I see those. I see the little grass, the dancing grass. Extra spicy mayo. It's like pop rocks, but it's radiation instead of. Ooh, we're getting so many summer squash seeds this summer. What the heck? I love it. Worms. Ooh, two rusty spoons. It's another rusty spoon. Pop, pop rock mayo sounds horrible. If it's warm, if it's warm mayonnaise, I could see it being horrible. But I will say, pop rocks ice cream is actually pretty nice. It's not that bad. Pop rocks on ice cream is pretty good. So like if you had mayo, but you froze it with Pop Rocks inside it, maybe it could be okay. Ooh. Grapes. Wild grapes. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna head over to, was it 15? Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go get some clay. I just want three more clay. Yeah, because like I'm thinking to myself, like it doesn't really matter what ingredients you use. It's more about the preparation that makes the food palatable or not. Not necessarily the the ingredients themselves, just on their own. It's like, like a warm ice cream would just be like a very. It would be like a sad smoothie, you know. But it wouldn't necessarily be bad. Two silos should be enough for you to hold a long time. Ten animals require thirty hay in one month. I want more though. I want to over prepare. There we go, we got 10 clay, let's go. Oh wait, hold up. We should get some fiber since we're here. Because I think I need a few, what do I need? At least 10 fiber, right? To make the, ooh. <gasps> wait, there's a lot of bugs here. Wait, there's a lot, a lot of bugs here. Oh my God. Wait, there's a whole bunch of bugs here. Ooh. Okay, uh, real quick, let's grab some of the copper while we're here. Oh, that's so much copper. Oh, another amethyst. Another amethyst for Abigail. Yeah. God, I'm so happy. Ooh, okay. <laughs> there we go. All right, we don't need that much more. We should head home before it gets too late because I know I can, I can spend the entire night here and I don't want to distract myself. <laughs> Wait, what? out here in the rain. They're all things I would say. Oh no. They're all just doing some work. Enjoying the weather. I could ask you the same question. I could say mm. I want to say enjoying the weather because I like the rain. I could ask you the same question. Like we're both like we, we are the same people. We eat rocks. We don't like to socialize. So like I understand. So I don't I don't want to ask her the question, right? But I would just want to say enjoying the weather. 
Yeah, I guess you would be the one to appreciate the somber ambience. Oh, she's so sweet. What the heck? I came here to spend some time alone. But I don't mind your company. Oh, what? <laughs> Wait, why is she so cute? Oh. Sarah, thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Oh, Miguel is so cute. You're getting soaked. Come, stand under the tree. Oh. What? That Abigail Riz. Look at that. That Abigail Riz. <laughs> Rilla, the you the four months of Quady Quady. Been taking care of my baby nephew shit. Baby nephew night shift this past month. Your streams are engaging enough to keep me up. Thank you and hi say, say hi to him. Hello. Oh, thank you for every people membership. But hello baby nephew. Hello. <laughs> oh, Abigail is so sweet. What the heck? It's impossible to describe this feeling. I'm watching the curtains of rain whisper above a silent lake. Oh. <gasps> hey, a mini heart. Wait, where did we get the mini heart? You're full of surprises, shouldn't you be? I'm impressed. Are we playing song? I'm gonna play music together. <sighs> Wait, this is so cute. That was really cute. <laughs> oh, wait, why was that? What the heck? That was adorable. Oh my god. My heart. My heart. Next thing you know, she's a ghost girl. Oh, Abigail was dead all along. <laughs> Always watch YouTube play music, yeah. Man, why was that really adorable? That was really cute. All right. Um, wait, I, I didn't remember what were we doing. Oh, that's right. We were gonna go. We were gonna go talk to Robin about getting that third silo. I completely forgot. I got so flustered he forgot. <laughs> no, I just tried to. I'm really easily distracted, Chad. Really easily distracted. <laughs> and... Okay, let's go get our... Oh no, you're soaked! Alright, construct. We're gonna get... We're gonna save up for this one. Silo. Build. Right there. Yeah, let's go. First thing tomorrow morning. Oh, distracted by Viz. <laughs> Understandable though. Silk of love. Wait, silk of love sounds weird. That one sounds a little bit... Maybe... maybe. <laughs> Wait, maybe not that. <laughs> Ow. Oh. Okay, that, that might be a little bit too... Yeah, phrasing. Phrasing on that one. Okay, wait, 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 hold up. Do we... Oh, we can give her one more, we can give her one more. Abby, get over here. Get over here. Oh. The valley looks more interesting in the rain, don't you think? Wait, we got an achievement. 
uh, collection? Is it achievements? Let's go. He asked for another silo again. <laughs> This new farmer moved into Stardew Valley, and the only thing he's been wanting me to build is silos. It's just non-stop silos. This is the 13th silo he wanted me to build. What is he doing with all this hay? <laughs> like, have you built anything else? No, he hasn't even expanded his, his home yet. It's only been silos. Oops, all silos. Okay, we're gonna organize those later on. No more Mar, thank you for the 30 parts. Upgrade it, ready. <laughs> Collect rewards. Ooh. Oh, <gasps> standing Geo. Night on Eco Hill. Let's go. And Gunther, you keep holding on to those cauliflower seeds. I'll come back next year for those. <laughs> Chelon, hello. Thank you for the we have the membership. Welcome back. Upgrady, upgrady. Oops, all silos, yeah. Should be sitting in the middle of 46 silos. Just spooning mayo out of jars. <laughs> oh my god. Chad, we have so much inventory space, it's not even funny. Oh, <gasps> more summer squash? What the heck? Why are we getting so much summer squash? What the heck? Why is it so much? I I feel like I should save a few of those for next year because of how many we have. We're already almost halfway through summer too. Alright. Uh, before we head back, it's 4pm. Mm, community center. Deposit the egg. And I think there's a couple of other things, like one or two other things. Slaps the wall asylum. I just think they're neat. <laughs> These babies can hold so much hay. Ah, that way. Alright. What do we have? Egg. Oh. Hey. Egg and slime. Okay, it's just the egg. Egg goes here? No. Egg. Large brown egg. Large brown egg. Yeah, let's go. All right. Pickled summer squash. You can pickle so many things. Wait, I want to try that. Plus, the finish in the greenhouse can you send and just plant them this year? Ooh. We already have a few. Wait. Summer Squash does not react to Community Center. So I don't think that's a thing. Luau. Trout Derby. I need Tuna if it's not too inconvenient. It is pretty late, so we might as well spend some time fishing. But we'll do that tomorrow. <clears throat> House expansion. This is tedious. Silos. But I like this. <laughs> ah. Man. Oh, Mayo is done. Oh my god. Okay. Duck mayo. Regular mayo. Uh, we're gonna sell... Hmm. Should we sell the minerals? Sell the summer squash. Sell cave carrot. Sell these. And the rest of it we hold on to. Wait, we can sell duck feathers, right? Because it technically is an animal product, which means that it also benefits from that 20% bonus that we got. Why don't we go ahead and sell it for now? Because I don't think we really use it for anything at the moment. Egg. Egg, 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 egg. Nice. Alright, so let's cook all these eggs. I feel so sad about cooking the iridium egg, but 
alas, the mayo is still worth more. Okay. Sell duck feathers. As long as you have one? Okay, so we'll hold on to one. Um, I guess we also sell the rusty spoon because we've already deposited one of those into the museum. Uh, bug meat. Let's turn that into a bug steak. And then... Turns 10 pieces of wood into one piece of coal. Nah, I don't think that's really necessary. Alright, let's go ahead and plant the seeds. Plant those. When ducks are giving you feathers so I would sell them all, you can get another one you actually need it. Mm. <gasps> Wait, we got we forgot to harvest these. Wait a minute. Ooh. Wait. Ah, <gasps> peppers. Let's go. Alright. Squash. Squash. Summer squash, summer squash. And then let's get some more mixed seeds. Mayo in your Coca-Cola. Mayo in your Coca-Cola? No, that sounds... <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that one. Pepper for the center. Yeah, we're going to save one of the peppers for the center. Okay. Put you here, put you there. Any other seeds I can plant? I don't think so, right? Mm. Milk and Pepsi? Was it... Uh, wait. Pilk. Right? Milk and Pepsi. Wait, I've had Pilk before. Pilk is not that bad. Pilk is alright. Huh. Let's see. Hmm. Tomorrow, we will go upgrade the copper pickaxe to an iron pickaxe. We've already gave Abigail enough of those. Put these away. I'm gonna sell the minerals. I'm just gonna sell the minerals. Sell these, sell that, sell the grapes, sell the spice berry, sell the sweet pea. Sell one hot pepper, sell one hot pepper, hold on to this one for the community center. And then. Hmm, you're gonna need hardwood sometime? That's true. I do need to have. I do have to upgrade that. Um, let's put the rest of these away. Then, and then, wood, stone, quartz for Abigail in the future. Summer seeds. We should go plant the rest of these. There should be enough time to have at least have one harvest of them. I don't know what they're going to be though. Root beer float. Do you have to be a farmer or can you be a miner too? Uh, I think farming is more consistent in terms of giving you money. But I guess you could be a miner. Um, it would just be very difficult to make money early on without some part of some kind of farming. Okay. It's there's 17 of these. Let's just go ahead and plant them all. Like, that's a lot of energy that we're gonna be spending. I think this should be fine. We'll hold off on the 17 summer seeds for next year. Where's your scarecrow? <gasps> Wait, fiber, wood, uh, coal. No, I need 20 fiber. I have 12. Do I have any more fiber? Uh oh. Okay, quick. Let's go chop down some grass. See if we can get some eight more fiber. Hmm. Get some of these. Oh no. Oh no. This is all hay. I don't have anything that gives fiber. Chuck, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Almost there. Almost there. I have 15. 16. Come on. Oh, it's like a very specific type of grass I have to cut. Okay, 17. 18. Oh, there's a few more here. No. Oh, 19, 20. Scarecrow. Alright, we got one Scarecrow. 
I don't know how big the area of effect of a scarecrow is, so let's put it in the middle. Look right here. That'll be the best. It covers like this area. So the ones at the tip here and here are still at risk, but at least most of them will be protected. <laughs> well, I have my axe. Should I upgrade my axe? There we go. Okay, where's my axe? Axe, axe, where's my axe? There's my axe. Should we upgrade the axe instead? We can't afford it. Mm. No, we should, go, we should We should. stick with the pickaxe. That way we can get more iron. Okay. Sorry chat, I'm like way too indecisive. <laughs> Alright, so let's go put you down. Yeah! And then... We'll have to upgrade the house at some point. Alright, what's tomorrow's weather? A storm is approaching. Thunder and lightning is to expected. Uh-oh. Wait, doesn't that hurt our crops if we have thunder and lightning? Because I don't think we have like a lightning rod to protect our crops. Oh gosh. <clears throat> is the sauna open? The sauna is, but it's almost 11 p.m. So by the time we go there and we rest up, it'll be too close to the night. Hmm. Wait, chat. It's like 3.30 p.m. right now, and I haven't eaten food. And I don't really have much... Wait, I have some like... Should I eat some food? Should I order food right now? It'll be like another 40 minutes before it arrives. <laughs> There's a couple of like kebab places that still offer the buy one get one free deal, which is I'm surprised they still do. Anything else you can snack on? I have like vinegar seaweed. <laughs> I have some vinegar seaweed that I can snack on. Cereal? Oh, I don't have any cereal, sadly. I could order kebabs. I could order kebabs again. Because I ordered that last time. For the buy one, get one. <gasps> French fries with the kebabs? Wait, I want I'm gonna try that. Do you still have some candy left? No, I, I gave all my candy for the hand cam stream. Um, from the candy taste testing stream. I gave it all to Flayon. And then... <gasps> oh my god. Oh my... 3,000 gold just from... Oh my god, that's insane. One duck mayo is 450 gold? That's so much money. Oh my god. Like, the peppers are nothing compared... Like, the grapes? Like, look at all that. <laughs> Kitty cat in the bag. Thank you. Take off. <laughs> thank you for the orange soup. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Duck feathers are 300 gold? Wow. Keep in mind ducks produce every other day compared to chickens, which are daily. Yeah. I don't, is it, does it make more sense to get chicken mayo? Because, hmm. 400. It, it's like, honestly, it's about the same. It's really about the same. Like, if you get Okay, in the span of two days, you get one duck mayo. One duck mayo is 450 gold, right? But in that same time, you get two chicken mayonnaise or two chicken eggs for mayo, and that becomes 228. 228 times two is, what, 456? So, like, you get six gold more if you have chicken egg, right? But 
I guess the benefit of chickens is that you have the chance to get the gold star mayonnaise, which actually doubles up. So if you're able to consistently get gold star mayo, you'll outperform duck mayonnaise. But otherwise, like, it looks like chicken is a bit more consistent. We haven't gotten a single gold star duck mayo, though. <laughs> yeah, duck mayo doesn't even have stars on it yet, but we have not seen gold star duck mayo at the moment yet. Happy chickens always give large eggs, which give gold mayo. Yeah, so maybe in the long run, gold gold star mayo still outperforms duck mayo if we can get it daily. Depending on how much the animal likes you, eventually duck will surpass. Ah, we just need to keep giving lots of love to our ducks. <laughs> duck mayo doesn't have gold rarity either. Yeah. Wait, is there? Is it possible though? Like, why can't I pet? Why can't I pet? No. Sadness. All right, let's go scoop all this up, and then let's go pet the ducks. Really happy today, but no egg because we got egg yesterday. Oh, so cute. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, they're adorable. Gold duck mayo doesn't exist since mayo grade is tied to egg size. Wait, if mayo egg is tied to egg size, then wouldn't it make more sense to just only focus on chickens? Because at least you have the oper the chance of getting a large chicken egg instead of an egg instead of a duck egg. <gasps> Oh, it didn't hit anything. Darn it. I thought it hit something. Hmm. Duck mayo is faster to process than chicken egg mayo, but the speed doesn't really help. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Duck egg mayo is still expensive though. On its own, it is, but I think it's. If the. If there's no way. Ooh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah. Maybe chickens is going to be more like consistent when it comes to making more money. Ducks are cute though. All right, let's take a look and see if any of our crops have finished growing. Anything? Ooh. Summer squash. Whoa. Oh, I love thunderstorms. Wait, I'm gonna go hang out with Abigail in the thunderstorm. Huh? What's that sound? Wait, what? Who's... Oh, Robin is working in the back. Okay, that's right. I was like, who is hammering away? What the heck? But no, it's Robin. Robin's the one that's still working. In the storm, no less. Robin is insane. Okay. Egg. 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 Let's go. Robin is wild. It's storming. There's lightning everywhere. And she's like, nope, that's not bothering me. I'm going to keep working on the silo. Wait, hold up. I haven't ordered food yet. I looked at food and I decided not to order it. Um... American long potato. What is that? What? What does that mean? Wait, I should, I should order food though. Yeah. Uh, do they have spicy ones? Mm. I'm going to go with the buy one, get one free deal that they have because I am... Stingy like that. Ah, <laughs> uh, they also have French fries. They call it chip French chips, French fried chips. But mm, it's just potato. It's just potato. 
Nothing wrong with the buy one get one deal. You can eat it once and then you save the other one for the next meal. Ooh. Hmm. I can't read any of the descriptions on this because it's all in Japanese on on uh on Uber Eats. Potatoes, potatoes. Money saved is just future money for more food. This is true, it's future money for more food. Mm. Mm. Should I get the one with the sandwich or the one with the rice? Sandwich or rice? Can I make it? How, how spicy can I make it? I don't know if they actually do too spicy. I tried the food that they said was the spiciest ones last time, and then even then, the one that I had last time wasn't that spicy. Mm. You know what? Since I'm getting the buy one, get one, I'll have one that's spicy, and then the other one, I'll try a different flavor in case I don't like it and I want to try something new. I might as well just experiment, right? Let me give it a shot. The free one, the other sandwich is free, so I guess I won't like worry too much about it. Because it's a free sandwich, it gives me a chance to experiment. All right. Sandwich and french fries. But they're not, it's not really, a, they call it a sandwich, but it's not really a sandwich. It's like a gyro? G-Y-R-O? Yeah. So it's not like a sandwich sandwich with bread. It's like, it, it com it's the one that comes in like half a pita bread. Yeah, that's the one. But it's called Sam. Yogurt, spicy, spicy, spicy. Okay, we'll go with that one. I kind of don't want to get the french fries now. Okay, fine. I'll order it. I'll order it. <laughs> the carb doesn't matter. Exactly. The, the bread doesn't matter. It's all, it's like a carb. It's all wrapping. It like encapsulates the food. Still within the concept of sandwiching ingredients. Yeah. Inaki, thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Evelyn would like to hire someone to fetch pipe. You will get you be paid for your time. Ooh. Ooh, wait a minute, Chad. Wait. I just realized we have so much money. We have so much money. I've not had this much money in the previous in the previous one. A dehydrator? Place five pieces of fruit or edible mushroom to dry them. I'm thinking, wait, should... Because... We could start looking into... Trees. Because like, the reason why I didn't get those is because last time we didn't make enough money. It takes 28 days to mature. We could look into trees. Uh, there's fruit in spring, bears fruit in spring, bears fruit in summer, summer. Apples and pomegranates bear fruit in the fall. Mm. You have a dehydrator in the mushroom one? Spare one for the wedding. It's already the 13th of summer, but if we use one of, if we use the speed grow, this one, increases growth rate by 10%. So it grows 10% faster. Elf Lion, thank you for the gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. Can't get some hearts and chef, Elf Lion, the gifted memberships. Thank you. If you receive one, please enjoy the channel badge and the emotes. Speed grow doesn't work on trees? No! I thought you could at least cut it down by a couple of days to take it down from 28 days 
10% would be 2.8, rounded up would be 3. So if you could reduce it from 28 down to 25, that would have been worth. Is it worth now? Because it's the it's the 13th, there's 28 days, so that's 15 days. We would need to wait 13 more days into fall for the apple sapling to start giving us trees. You need tree fertilizer. It can only be used in tilled soil. Ah. Make the full orchard next year. You need tree fertilizer. Very much worth having if you already have the greenhouse fixed too, regardless of season. <gasps> mm. Apple is the fastest production but lowest income? Darn. Okay, we'll we'll look into apples later. We'll just focus on the uh focus on animals for now then. Okay. In in that case, we'll save the money. Because we're almost at the 20,000 necessary for the deluxe coop. Deluxe chicken coop. That opens up rabbits. Oh, wait, I want to see the rabbits. Oh, hey, what are you doing out here? I'm going to go inside. Just wanted a quiet moment. Honestly, I understand. I understand that. I feel that. Yeah. Okay, nothing new. Uh, let's go upgrade our... <laughs> Been a long day for me. Night, night, shimmy, and boy. Chani, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Alright, let's get the steel pickaxe. And then, in the meantime, we have our regular axe that we're going to go and chop down a whole bunch more wood so that we can go and make sure we have enough wood ready for the deluxe upgrade. I hope... I hope we have enough stone, because I just realized we're not going to be able to get our pickaxe for a couple of days. Oh no. Wait, Robin. Robin, how much does it cost to get a d Ooh. <laughs> Wait, why did that startle me? <laughs> Wait, Robin, how much stone do I need in order to upgrade to the deluxe... Deluxe coop? I forget. Mm. Peach and pomegranate are the best trees. I've wanted to have a... I wanted to eat pomegranates. No. It was like 20,000 gold. I know that much. And then stone and wood. But she's building your silo. Oh, that's right. She's building my silo. Darn it. Okay. In anticipation of a ton of wood, let's go ahead and chop down some more trees. <clears throat> Probably many. Yeah, I, I'm... I'm going to assume at least four. She's going to need at least four stone to build that deluxe coop. The silo PTSD is kicking in. <laughs> Have you ever juiced your own pomegranates? No. Yeah, mayo. All right. So while that is going, let's go ahead and chop down some trees. Get some wood. I really hope it doesn't kill my plants though. Like I know my uh, animals, my chickens are the ones giving the most amount of money, but still, like, I would feel bad. I feel bad if the tr uh, the crops died. Okay, chop all of this down. Deseeding a pomegranate is a pain. I. I just, I just go for it. I just munch down on everything. <laughs> um, the last time I ate a pomegranate, I just like went, went to town. I just munched on all the seeds and everything. It was too much effort. I tried and I was like, no, this is taking too much time. I don't have the energy for it. So what did we order for food? I ordered kebab, uh, Eros? And then a small side of fries. Did it stain everything red? Thankfully, no. I was extra careful not to get it on uh, 
not like split on anything. Oh, these are so cute. What are these? I forget what I planted, but they have little cute berries on them. Okay, how much wood do I have? 400 wood. Y'all, do you see pomegranate? Some people do. I know there's like a squeeze, like a juice squeezing machine that like, um, juices the pomegranates, but then also like separates out the seeds. Uh, I feel like that's a lot of effort, you know? Remember once I did a tired pizza, like a duck rolling it up and swallowing. <laughs> <gasps> Wait, I completely forgot. Let's do this. Ooh. What is this? <gasps> Wait, it comes with a dehydrator. We don't have to get a dehydrator on our own. It just comes with it. Nice. Let's go put the de- oh wait, could you dehydrate mayo? Wait, you shouldn't do that. Don't do that. That's weird. That's kind of gross. Oh, come on. There we go. Don't dehydrate mayo. Uh, let's put the mayo dehydrate over there. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can, but it's gross. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to know what dehydrated mayo tastes like. I'm much happier not knowing. Okay, we're gonna lose some, but that's okay. Oh, we didn't lose any! Let's go! Okay. This one might definitely lose some. Into the pond, or uh, the river next to it. Ah! We lost like half of it. Darn. Okay, how much energy? 30? That's enough to fell one tree. Halfway. Yeah. Alright, since we don't have the pickaxe and we can't go into the mines, let's go ahead and head over to the springs and rest up a little bit. When it turn to meringue? Isn't meringue more like egg froth, frothy egg whites and sugar and not like oil? Because I don't think the oil would dehydrate well if you tried to dehydrate mayo. If you dehydrated mayo, you would get like chalky mayo paste, but I don't think that would hydrate well because it's predominantly oil. Yeah, meringues are egg whites with sugar, which is why when you dehydrate them, they get sweet. But mayonnaise, on the other hand, is egg whites and oil, and I don't know if the oil would work. Dehydrated mayo is like oily tissue that your mouth is... <laughs> Wait, that sounds really gross. Hey, Linus, what you doing here? I'm happy by myself, you know. I don't need new friends. Linus has things... Linus has... Yeah, damn. Okay. <laughs> Linus, uh... Good luck. Good luck, Linus. I think he'll be fine. I think Linus is a good friend. I want him to be happy, too. Okay. Let's heal up real quick, and then... Oops. And then with the extra energy, we'll head back home and then chop down a few more trees. Not even one who eats rocks and farms mayo. <laughs> shirt off time. Oh, that's right. Hang on. Shirt off time. So we gotta be... Like... There we go. Yeah. Now we match. <laughs> there it is. It's been a while, hasn't it? Oh my god, flesh. That's right, this is the default. This is supposed to be the... the normal one. And now we have close back on. <laughs> the immersion. Whoa. Alright, Puniko, get out here. <laughs> Wait, since we're here, we might as well go visit the community center real quick and drop off the mushrooms too. 
Can't you take the jacket off too? I can, but the the turtleneck on its own has to become has to come with the jacket. <gasps> Gasp! Immersion was broken, unsubbed. No. <laughs> I'm sure there are ways to do that. Like, I know there are people who have, like, um, integrations with really cool, um, cool apps, I think. Like, when they're, when they play a certain game and they take damage in the game, they, uh, they're, like, screen shakes and stuff. Like, that's really cool. Hot pepper. Ah, oh, I forgot to bring the hot pepper, darn it. Okay. Corn, eggplant, pumpkin, yam. You look more natural with the shirt on. That's what I'm saying. You don't have these? Common mushroom. Nice. Uh, hardwood. We don't have any hardwood. The red mushroom here. And then... I think that's it. Do you have anything else? No. Community center button is not shaking. Let's go. What I love is that since I started watching you more seriously, I started popping myself. <laughs> I've been hearing that a lot. People who watch my streams will unconsciously just be like... When they're thinking. <laughs> it's my it's my lasting legacy. <laughs> oh, wait, hold up. We didn't go to the beach today. Let's go get some forageables in the beach. And then on the, in the meantime, also keep our eyes out for worms. I'm surprised we found so many books. I go Uwe unintentionally too. <laughs> Ooh, corals. You can change the pitch of your pops by adjusting how much air or like how much volume is inside your mouth when you pop. So like you can have like a lot of volume and have your pops be like and then if you like reduce the volume of air inside your mouth, you can go like like that. <laughs> I need to learn how to gas when I jump scare from you. I think that's a I don't know if can you train that? I'm not sure why I gasp in shock instead of scream. I think screaming makes a lot more... It makes for better clips. I don't know why. Um, but... I don't know. Uh, you don't have girlfriend? Ouch! Why, why, you, gotta, why you gotta say it like that? <laughs> but now... Uh, uh, let's see... Chest... Basic fertilizer. Um, I don't think we really have much. Damn, me too. I meant in game. Oh, in game, yeah. Um, I mean, we're we're trying to woo Abigail. <laughs> oh, biscuit sleeping in the bed. Okay, let's check out tomorrow's weather. It's gonna be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Let's go. Your gasping helps people feel less scared. Biscuit, I can't, I can't sleep. Biscuit, please, biscuit. Oh no, there we go. <laughs> it's so accurate though, because when the like when your pet just decides I'm gonna take up the whole place and then sits down in the middle and you can't move. Yeah, can only watch horror games though because you don't scream. Aww. Oh, two thousand six hundred. That's so much mayo. That's so much mayo. It's so much mayo. And money, but mostly mayo. That's a lot of mayo. Oh my god. <laughs> Queen of Sauce new episode. Let's go. What is it? Pancakes. Ooh. We need to upgrade our house at some point. Okay. Is our oh, let's go. Hey kid, my throat's about as dry as a desert bone. I'm a real thirsty for a pale ale. You got one? Regular old beer won't do. I need a pale ale. Uh. Oh, 
okay why why are you telling me this pan go get go get paleo on your on your own <laughs> sounds like a skill issue pan i'm sorry can't help you there <laughs> all right let's get the ducks oh eat the sap no what okay oh yeah duck eggs let's go Oh, yeah. Okay, all the ducks have been pet. Let's go and grab the chicken eggs. Oh, cute. Okay. Uh, that's one. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Eating a sapling will grow the plant inside you. No, oh, I'm scared. Did anyone else's parents do that? Say like if you eat like a watermelon, then you have the watermelon seeds growing inside you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, do we feed the ducks? I forget. And rugrats. I have, I don't remember that episode of Rugrats. It's been a while. Let me go double check and see if I fed the ducks. No, I did not feed the ducks. One, two, three, four. Yeah. All right. And then water the crops down here. My friends told me. Parents know teachers, yes. When I told my parents of the pictures, they just rolled their eyes. <laughs> Blueberries. Let's go. And squash. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> and hops, let's go. Okay, these are not done yet. Okay, water you, water you, you, and the hops. I think everything else is all watered. Yeah. Wait. Wait, hold up. We can dehydrate the berries, right? Does it do anything? Okay, I put five in there. Let's see what happens. I want to know what happens there. Yield snack, stack them up there. Um, sell the mushroom. Hold on to the hops. Sell the blueberries. Wait, does it? It makes raisins? Save the hops for the ale. Ah, okay. Sell that. Sell the squash, sell the coral, and then we'll dehydrate the blueberries. Sell the mushrooms. Okay. Egg. Duck egg, duck egg, egg, egg. Let's go, more mayo. Mayo for the mayo gods. All right, we're gonna save the hops. Save the hops. Let we'll the plank go away. Um, stone. We don't have enough to upgrade to the deluxe yet because we're still a little bit short on the money. So I guess we'll have to wait until the next day after we get paid. We don't have... Hmm. Our pickaxe won't be done until tomorrow. But I guess we can go talk to Robin real quick and see how much it costs to upgrade because I don't know how much stone or wood we'll need. Raisins are dried grapes. Blueberries become dried blueberries. Still yummy. Yeah. Mayo God, this is a cult now. <laughs> The idea of an automated chicken feeder is actually really appealing to me, though. Okay. Ooh, sweet pea. All right, so we're gonna go in order to the beach, forest, or the forage for any forageables at the beach. Then we head up and visit Robin real quick and ask how much it costs to upgrade the big coop to a deluxe chicken coop. 
And then afterwards, we go back home, use the sickle to cut away the rest of the grass, now that we have our third silo, and then we should be good for quite a long time. Because we have plenty of hay. Yeah. If you have unlocked preserves jar recipe, you can make blueberry jello too. Ooh. Preserves jar. We're actually pretty low. We're pretty low on a lot of ingredients. Okay, after we get the after we get the pickaxe, we're gonna head back into the mines and mine for stone and copper. I think I think this is mostly the stone and copper. And dehydrate forgeables? Ooh. Dehydrate can I dehydrate the sweet peas? Ooh. Ooh. It's really cute that Jazz goes over like leaves the house to go visit the cows and then just watches them. Okay. Wait, I forgot. I was gonna go over to I was gonna go to Robin. Wait. Oh no, I keep getting distracted. <laughs> Alright, let's head over to Robin's place. Ooh, biscuit. No, biscuit, please. Okay. Can pickle things in the preserves jar? Ooh. I want to learn how to pickle my own things. It doesn't seem too difficult. It's like salt, peppercorns, vinegar. And like that's really it, right? Like, do you really need too much? Like maybe a bay leaf and some like ginger, but overall, it doesn't seem too like difficult. Construct. Okay, deluxe coop. Two hundred stone, five hundred wood. Two hundred stone, five hundred wood. We actually don't have two hundred stone. Hmm. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit. Yeah, throw in some herbs and stuff. It's not that tricky, you gotta make your ratio right. Hmm. Wait. Upgrade house. Hmm. We'll upgrade the house afterwards. We'll upgrade it afterwards. Let's see. Chicken coop, chicken, a barn, a well, silo, mill, mill wheat, beets and rice, a shed, fish pond. <gasps> oh. Wait, okay. Remind me not to sell the seaweed or green algae. We should save a few of these because I've only found them very randomly. We should get a couple of fish pots. That'd be cute. Cabin. Home for a friend. A pet bowl. A stable. Slime hutch. <laughs> Raise up to 20 slimes. Fill the water trucks and slimes will create slime balls. Iridium bar. Yeah, we haven't... This is like endgame stuff, I think. Big hoop. We could upgrade. Hmm. We could upgrade the small chicken coop that we have right now with ducks into a big coop. Because I believe we do have the stone. But I kind of want to save for the deluxe one because it comes with the auto feeder. And that would be very nice, especially for eight chickens. Well, eight chickens and up to 12. So, mm. slime farm is kind of useless. <laughs> Maybe it's one of those like if you have more money that you know what to do with, you can just go like build some cute things. Okay, wait. Ah, no, I completely forgot. Uh, five hundred wood, two hundred stone. Five hundred wood, two hundred stone. Five hundred wood. 200 stone. Where would I find stone if I can't use my pickaxe? I guess I can go blow it up. I don't know if I have that many tray bombs though. Mm. 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 
Ooh, look at the mayo. Yeah. Nice. Oh, this is still cooking. Mayo, mayo, mayo. All right, let's see how much stone and wood I have. 500. Oh, no. I only, okay, I have enough for that. I have enough wood. I don't have enough stone though. Could I possibly get more stone somewhere? I'm not sure if I can get like, that's almost 50 stone. I don't think so. Mayo making hand cam stream. <laughs> A mayo making hand cam stream? I'm not sure about that. I don't even know how you would do that. That would take a long, long time. If I use like an immersion blender, I think that'd be really quick, but then that takes like a couple of seconds, so. Get more bombs next to the rocks. Do I have any? <laughs> I have two cherry bombs. That's definitely not enough for 50 rocks, unfortunately. Take bombs to the first. I would need a lot more. Unfortunately, I don't have that much. Let's go chop some of these down. It's quick, even if you use a whisk, it takes a lot of arm endurance. I don't have a whisk. I would have to go buy a whisk. <laughs> okay, we're gonna clean up all the wood here. That way, when we're ready to go... Oh wait, hold up, we can use our sickle now. I just realized, we have that third, um... We have that third... Silo. So we can just cut all these down. Ooh, look how clean it is. Okay, I'm gonna do my best not to cut the blue grass, so that we let the blue grass propagate more and clear out all this standard grass. Ooh. Like hopefully these will grow and spread a bit more. Cherry bomb recipe. Coal and copper ore. I don't think I actually have that much coal. I think we're actually running very low on coal, to be honest. Let me go double check after I clear up all the stuff here. Yeah. Mushrooms? Mushrooms? No mushrooms. Not yet. It's late for me, gonna go eat, but have fun for me. Hip hip right, thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Let's go double check and see how much, uh... How much coal we've got. Oh. Look at all of that! Gold star mayo! Ooh. I can't wait so much by chat. Okay, let's see. Copper ore, we only have one. And coal. We can make one cherry bomb. Never mind, we can't even make one cherry bomb. We don't have anything. We can't even make one cherry bomb. Abby, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Let's go chop this. Garlic bread, hello. Thank you for the 14 months. Okay, okay. Oh. Woody secret? Reading the book again will grant some foraging experience. Oh, ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Foraging experience, is it worth that? Foraging. Or... Or should we save this? Because I think the bookseller... Remember the bookseller wanted one of these? Oh, the food is here! Hooray, food is here. I kind of wanted to just read it. 
But at the same time, we already, like, we don't have any need to read it. I'll just put it away for now. I'll put it away, just in case, just in case. <sighs> what did you get? I got, uh, chicken gyros. They look pretty tasty. And some french fries. Might as well just read it. I want to save it for the bookseller. I just don't remember when the bookseller arrives in town. Hmm. We can't really do anything until tomorrow. So I guess we'll just go and fish a little bit. Because we still can use some money. Where's my fiberglass? There it is. Yeah, let's go and fish a bit. Doesn't show on the calendar. Unfortunately, it looks like the my the main character does not have the technology to bring a calendar with them. <laughs> and the only way we can check the calendar is by going into the town and looking at the thing on the wall. You can buy a calendar. Wait, can you buy a calendar for your house? Maybe. Bookseller doesn't show up for another week, two weeks even. Oh wait, book dance the moonlight jellies. Oh, that's an event. Okay, bookseller's next week on Thursday. Ah, I see, I see. Wait, ah, oh, darn. Hmm. Look at the calendar skill from the main menu is a mod, but not new to the game. No. Why are there so many things that are mods? <laughs> so many mods are like such great quality of life changes. Wow, this dehydrator takes a long time. Hmm. Should we just go to sleep? Time goes so fast in the world, even for the character. Can I be honest though? As I've gotten older, time really does feel like it's moving faster. Like, even for myself. Wait, there's only garbage here, isn't it? I think this place only has garbage, right? I, if I remember, yeah. Community center for blueberry. Oh, we'll do that for tomorrow, we'll do that tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, it's mainly trash. How is it already mid halfway through April? I know. The older I get, the more I like, I try to remind myself not to fall into a routine because I feel like if you end up in a routine, that's where a lot of the time flies by, you know, like autopiloting, trying to make myself not do that. Because the more I autopilot, the more I realize it's easy for me to just like have a whole day go by without really noticing it. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Uh, fish. <sighs> But yeah, like even if it's like a day, um, or you like commute. I remember because like I would spend maybe about almost two hours just commuting every single day, and that's like two hours of your day just kind of gone, you know. Got that nice, and if you don't really like use it. It, it just like vanishes and you know out of sight out of mind kind of thing ancient sword ooh stone but yeah mishtal thank you for stopping by hope you have a wonderful night dehydrogen takes one day to complete also four hours between 2 a.m mandatory six hours wake up time counts as ooh. Ooh. oh no Oh my god, oh my god, this fish. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, how come I never find treasure in random lakes? I want to fish up ancient swords. You gotta find the lakes where you have those like mysterious fairy ladies that show up with the axe and they're all like, 
did you drop this golden axe? Did you drop this silver axe? And like they ask you a question and you have to like answer correctly. You gotta find those. Come on, come on. Uh, almost, yeah. Chub. <laughs> Mysterious salty wenches is no basis for a monarchy. <laughs> I understood that reference. God, that was so good. I love that one. <laughs> I also saw like someone talking about like um was it like you know the whole sword in the stone like myth, right? What if what if there was someone who was strong enough that they grab the sword and they rip it out of the ground, but it doesn't unsheath the sword. Instead, the sword stays stuck in the stone and the person just uses it as a giant club. You know? I don't trust mysterious fairy ladies. They're always trying to walk you into mushroom circles or sell you the movies. <laughs> right? And it's just because I have her. Oh my god. That's amazing, right? Like, oh, I, think, I think that's such a great concept. Okay, sell the chub. We're gonna put this one into community center. One blueberry for community center. And then let's check. Oh, 720 is our maximum. Oh my god. Alright, let's check the weather for tomorrow. Queen of sauce again. Pancakes. Oh, we already read that. Okay. Tomorrow is. There appears to be some kind of anomalous reading. I don't know what this means. What? What? Okay, we're gonna go to sleep for the night. Oh, <gasps> crap pot! Dish of the sea. Ooh. Okay, wait, chat. Give me a minute. I'm gonna go grab my food before it gets cold outside. All right, I'm back. I don't want to eat in the middle of a stream, so we're just gonna. It, it's on my table. It's on the table. It's like right here. Can you hear it? Yeah. I want more coffee. Oh my god! Look at that. Oh, that's so much money for mayonnaise. What the heck? That's. Oh my god. All right, let's see. ASMR eating stream. Okay, personally, I hate the sound of listening to what? What? Hey, biscuit. Uh, fortune teller? It's just static, what the heck? It's just one. Is this safe? Told you not to talk to the fairy lady. I saw the weather report last night. I'm not sure what'll happen, but if anyone wants to take shelter in the saloon, I'll keep it open all day. Gus. <gasps> Gus is a Champ, what the heck is all this? Whoa! What? Wait, are my chickens safe? Whoa! Moss? Okay, okay, wait. Oh my god, wait, this is kind of freaky. Okay, give, give pats to all the chickens, okay. All right, chickens are good, chickens are good. What the heck? Whoa. Gus is a hero. I appreciate Gus. All right. Uh, there we go. And then mayo, mayo, mayo. 
even though this is there's like freaky weather happening here, like we still have to make sure we have money. Ready? Yeah, I want to go talk to the other villagers real quick and see what their thoughts are. One, two, three, four. Okay, all ducks are counted for. Um, what the heck? Wait, can I chop these trees down? Ooh! Wait, that's just a break. Whoa. Oh my god. What? Oh! <gasps> Wait, what the heck? Wait, this. Oh my god. <laughs> What happened to my farm? <laughs> That's so much moss. What do I do with? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, I wanna, I wanna harvest this. Wait, we needed, we needed the fiber. We need the fiber. That's so much. Quick, quick, harvest all the fiber we can get. Oh my god. Green rain only happens once a year? <gasps> okay, okay. Okay, Do I, can I harvest anything here? Okay, I can harvest the peppers, harvest the peppers. Thankfully, I don't need to worry about watering them. Wait, I'm gonna get all the- I'm gonna get all of this. Oh my god. What do I do with the- I don't know what I'm gonna do with the moss, but I wanna, I wanna harvest all of it. <laughs> Oh no, I feel kind of bad. I should have cleared out more space on my farm if I knew this was going to happen. Oh my god. There's a few more over here, but everything else is already covered by grass, so... Can you get 99 moss in a single day? I don't think so. <gasps> Wait, we can also, like, scratch the moss off of the trees. Like that? Yeah. Whoa. What is it for? What, a... what do I do? Th what do I do with all of this? Moss? Oh my god. What? This is kind of creepy. Okay, let's cut these carefully though so we don't hurt the plants. There we go. Oh, there's more up here too. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Okay. Any more? Oh, wait, there's a few more over here. <gasps> Whoa. This is so trippy. Wait, do, are, are these wood? Are these trees anything special? Because they look like. Like they have like the weird curly branches, but it looks like it's just regular wooden sap. It doesn't seem like they're anything different. Okay. Uh, more wood? Ooh. Alright, let's... Let's go finish off this. Any more eggs? No. Okay. Oh, there's like just things growing all over the place. Okay, let's go into town. Let's go into town. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's more here too? Oh my god, what? What? Wait, I want to harvest everything now. It's already 1pm. Oh my god. <laughs> it's already 1pm. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Check on everyone first. Okay, everyone head over to the saloon. Eat the hot- no, just enter the saloon. Is everyone here? Oh, almost everyone is here. Okay. That's a sigh from the almighty. We're doomed. Are you alright? We're all wondering what's going on. I brought some medical supplies just in case. Be careful out there. Wow, like... 
genuinely no one has any idea what the heck's going on. I I hope these weird rains don't bother the fish. Could ruin my life. I just got off the phone with the governor. Apparently this rain is supposed to be completely harmless. Just an unusual phenomenon in nature. Still, some of the townsfolk are panicking, which is never good. I saw the weather report last night. It really gave me a scare. Let's not get in a tizzy now. Gus, I propose a round of drinks to settle the nerves. I don't think I've ever set foot in this place. It's actually kind of cozy. <laughs> Aw, Haley. Okay. <laughs> there must be a meaning behind this. Nature's trying to tell us something. In situations like this where a person's true character is put to the test. Is Abigail here? I don't see Abigail. Where's Abigail? Wait, did I bring any minerals? No minerals. What? What? What is that? What is that? A mossy seed? Rare wild trees? What? That's so cool! Okay, let's go chicken piers. Let's go see. Oh. <gasps> they are okay, good, they're good. They're indoors. They're safe. They're safe. I've never seen green rain before. It must not be too dangerous if you made it here. I wanna go exploring, but I can tell my mom is kinda of worried. I don't wanna to add to her stress. That's a mood. That's a mood. I want to go explore, but also I don't want to worry the parents. <laughs> Five out of eight. Ah, no customers. Any more of this green rain and my ledger will end up in the red. Okay, Abigail is safe. That's all I need to know. <laughs> is there anyone else that we should check in on? Like, maybe Robin and Demetrius? They're so creepy. Can I harvest these? No, I can't harvest those. <gasps> what is that thing? <gasps> you can chop it down. Wait, what does this turn into? Little head fern. What? Yeah, Demetrius is the, the town scientist. He he should know, right? <gasps> D Demetrius? Is that Don't mind me, Shimwee. I'm just collecting Sam samples. This may be a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um Wait, Demetrius, should I also be wearing a hazmat suit? Like, is... If the town scientist is walking around in a hazmat suit and, like, a gas mask and everything, sh when the scientist is in the hazmat suit, you should, you should wear it. Yeah, like, I feel like I should also be in a hazmat suit of sorts. <laughs> It's too late already. Um, if you see my wife, can you tell her I'm okay? I think you're more than okay. I think you're like very, very well prepared for this stuff. I mean, I, we're, we're, it's too late now. We're going to commit. <laughs> okay, wait, hang on. Someone should check in on Linus because Linus is alone, right? I want to collect all the moss too. To be your son, you ever play Fallout? <laughs> Linus, are you okay? Oh, Linus is just loving it. He's just like vibing. All oh, these strange trees will be gone tomorrow. It's one of the mysteries of nature. Linus is just vibing. Oh my god. Wait, I want to harvest all these things. I wish I had like a better pickaxe. 
or a better uh, regular axe. And I feel like you can give him the seeds. Do I want to give him the seeds? Uh, wait, I only have one of this. Like maybe a fiddlehead fern. Thank you. It's a very interesting specimen. <gasps> wait, that's kind of sweet. Yeah, we're gonna help him. Uh, Collect samples. I want to save this one though because we only have one. Well, Marnie and Jazz. Okay, let's go. Let's go check out the others. Oh my god, it's already 6 p.m. Chad, no, I don't have time. Wait, are the Junimos okay? Like, it's green here too. Do they, are they fine? No, they still run away. Okay, never mind. You can't even talk to them. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, check out Marnie and Jazz. And then Penny and the other students. I wonder if the wizard might know something. Oh no, chat, I want to talk to everybody. There's too many things to do. Okay. Anyone home? No. Okay, not here. Run, I wish I could run faster. Okay, how's it going? Whoa, is it acid? Will it burn through the roof and sizzle us alive? Sam's really panicking. Look at this. I've never seen Sam like that before. I gotta keep my little brother safe. Aww. I like how that's his priority. Mom, I wanna go outside and play. Vincent doesn't care. <laughs> Are you alright? We've never seen anything like this before. I wish my husband was here. He'd know exactly what to do. Oh, man. Drink coffee to walk faster? I don't have any coffee. Wait, I had the Joja Cola. I can drink this, right? It gives me like a, a small speed boost. Yeah, just a tiny bit. For a couple of seconds. It's locked. No, we couldn't see Marty or Jazz. Ah. Darn it. Okay, we're gonna go chop all this stuff. We might as well click on the moss and fiber we can while it's here. Oh man. The wizard! Oh, that's right, we can see the wizard! Wait, wait. Wizard. Oh no. Does the wizard close? I don't think the wizard closes, it, right? More espresso, less espresso. <laughs> We're off to see the... Oh, sleepy. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Uh, wait. Is it down here? Is it up? Is it up or down? Oh, it's up. Oh, no. It's north here. It's north of there. There we go. I want to I clip all the fern stuff. Blah. Wizard, wizard, wizard. Wizard, what's going on, wizard? Tell me. Do you know any information? Though the unusual main rains may be alarming, there is nothing to fear on this day. In fact, it is a day of great joy for many living things. Oh. Is this chill? Wizard chill. Okay, maybe, maybe wizard is chill. All right then, we'll take it. Let's collect the ferns. Honestly, if the wizard is chill with it, I guess it's okay, because the wizard seems to like, the wizard seems to know his stuff. Okay, in that case, let's go and collect all these things. Yeah. Ooh. And collect more fiddlehead ferns. It's like they don't really know, but if it's good stuff, this will be it. Yeah. More fiddlehead ferns. Can you eat the fiddlehead ferns? I know you can actually, like, real life fiddlehead ferns, you can cook. Um, apparently they're very good if you fry them with some oil and garlic. But I don't know what you do with them in this game. 
I say this without having ever eaten it myself, so I only see what I saw on social media, people cooking it at the meals. But I hear they're supposed to be tasty. You can't eat everything, basically. Gotta get the recipes, yeah. Okay, moss and fiddlehead ferns should be the priority for today. Let's go. Oh my god, it's almost 11. <laughs> Time travels so fast. Oh man. But here's the thing though. Even though time travels really fast, I don't want to end up like those people who desperately try to hold on to it, you know? Because you've seen those movies, Chad. You've seen the movies where people are like, oh no, time's traveling too fast. I need to try to get under my control so that I can manage it and all that. I feel like there's nothing that you can really do when it comes to time. And the best thing to do is make the most of it while you have it. If you spend too much time like effectively just worrying about time, you're doing yourself a disservice, you know. Because, you know, as I say, like time waits for no one. It'll just keep going. Yeah, you do what you can with the time that you're given. And it might be tempting to wanna like hold tight onto that time, but I don't know, I don't think it's really productive that way. Because the time that you spend worrying about time could be spent enjoying it, you know? Yeah. Oh my god, there's so much moss! Yeah, let's go. Okay. I'm gonna keep myself out until 1am, and then we'll head back. It's already like 1am already, darn it. Thankfully, a majority of this can be harvested without energy. Which is really convenient. Kaika, thanks for stopping by. You have a wonderful night. There we go. Oh my god, we have so much fiber. Okay, there's more AM. No, I want to harvest more. I want to stay out and harvest as much as I can. But if I do, Linus is going to take. <laughs> Linus is going to take all my stuff. Okay, harvest it on the way. No. I'm gonna lose a whole bunch of things and Linus will take my money. Run. Okay, we'll get the mail tomorrow. We'll get the mail tomorrow. Okay. That's right. TV doesn't do anything. Linus doesn't steal. Okay, that's true. Linus does not steal. My bad. I should not accuse Linus of doing that. Put the event for everyone who complained about not having enough fiber for crafting. <laughs> Is that why? <laughs> Wild seeds. Mushroom for fall. Oh, <gasps> ooh. Wait, we can make warp totem beaches? Ooh. Day 16. Let's go. Let's see. Spirits are very happy. Weather for tomorrow. Rain all day tomorrow. <gasps> Wait, we can go pick up our axe now. Our axe is fully upgraded at this point. Ooh, wow, that's so much fiber. Oh my god. That is so much fiber, chat. Okay, I have six of these mossy seeds. 28 fiddlehead ferns. 185 moss, but I have no idea what I'm going to do with the moss. Would you be scared if we had green rate event in real life? No, I would love to go outside and collect a whole bunch. I want to get a jar and just fill up a whole bunch of jars with uh, green rain and just like hold on to it. I want to know what it's like. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. I think it would be really cool. You know, things that don't happen that often, you know? Like, like as bad as it was when... If you guys remember, a little while back, during like the... In 2020, there were those huge forest fires that caused everything to turn orange, so it looked like Blade Runner. Like, I thought that was kind of cool. 
like I hope to everyone, you know, I hope everyone stays safe and avoids like all the the dust and particulate matter. But like, I couldn't help but be like, wow, that is so it's so alien, it's so new and unique, you know. So yeah, it's getting late. Kitty cat in the back. Just hopping by. We have a wonderful night. Yeah, I had to stay indoors. I'd like blasted my fan with the uh, the filters and everything. Oh, all right. Let's go. The little ducks are so cute. All right, so let's see. Water the hops. Ooh, squash. Water, water, and water. Squash, squash. Oh, what are these? Oh, they're not ready yet. They look so close to being ready, though. Ancient seed is... Ancient? That one? Wait. That just looks like blueberries. Been dormant for aeons. What do I do with it? I can't eat it. Even though it is a fruit, I can't eat it. Do I sell it? Do I... Wait, do I get the preserves and preserve it? Wine? Sell it? Make wine? Wait, I can plant this one for more? Keep it? They make the most expensive wines? You can sell it or wait till you get a keg and make ancient fruit wine. Okay, let's keep it then. Let's keep it. <gasps> it keeps growing? Oh no, I thought... Oh no, I'm gonna have to figure out a place to move it to. It's gonna stay here forever and just kind of be there. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's sell the mayo that we've got. Feed it to Abigail. Would Abigail appreciate it? I don't know if Abigail would appreciate. Cause she'll bite into it and be like, "Oh, this is too squishy. It's too. It's too. It doesn't have the right the right crunch to it." Uh. We're heading to the museum, so. Let's take that fish. Wait. Uh, community center. One blueberry for the community center. Chubb does not go to the community center. I think it's just that. You need seed maker to turn fruits into more seeds. Unlock greenhouse? I don't have the greenhouse yet. Peppers. Slime, not yet. Oh, hardwood, not yet. Batwings, not yet. I don't have enough of those to qualify for the... <clears throat> hmm. According to the wiki, Abigail dislikes ancient fruit. Man, could you imagine that? It's like, hey, this is fruit. It's like, a, this is an ancient fruit laid dormant for aeons. And they're just like, ew, gross. <laughs> it's like the rarest fruit ever, right? I'm pretty sure like that's what Betel would react to. If you gave Betel like the rarest ancient fruit, he would have like a texture issue with it. Craft a seed maker. Okay, we're gonna have to keep our eyes out for the seed maker recipe. Clam. Clam. Tomb cheese? What's tomb cheese? Okay, any more? Okay, I don't see any more. So, let us head over to the museum, drop off the ancient sword, then we head over to Clint to pick up our steel no our iron axe and then we go into the mines and we chop down like what 50 50 or so rocks and then get the upgrade for the deluxe uh cool because we can finally afford it donate sword put that there yeah there's a tune that was found cheese on honey in it oh <gasps> Wait, I, hmm. 
ancient cheese. Would I? Would I eat ancient cheese? Okay, so the honey is probably going to be exactly the same. Like, honey does not go bad, you know? But the cheese, that's like, that's like age, like thousands of years. Ancient cheese? I wish to sample the forbidden cheese. <laughs> I mean, it's gotta, it's gotta be good, right? Like, there's a reason why they kept it in the tomb, you know? Like, you wouldn't keep something like... Okay, how many of you actually know? I was gonna ask how many people would be would want to be buried with Baja Blast, right? Implying that Baja Blast is not that great, um, and it would not make sense to be buried along with Baja Blast. But then I realized it because I'm asking you guys, you would probably all say yes. Um, so instead of that, like, I don't know, like I I would love to be buried with like Takis. Yo, I like Takis. Takis are great. Takis is like the food of my. Wait. Uh, like ten. Like Takis was like a, a food that I would eat growing up. You know. Should we go deeper into the mines? No, I need copper. I can't go too far into the mines. I need copper. <laughs> I'd rather be buried with Mountain to Code Red. <laughs> yeah, Takis are really good. I love Takis. It used, it's like the snack of my, my childhood, of my people. <laughs> oh, I get to break all of these in a single hit. Let's go. Cheese was probably inevitable when I was buried in the tomb. Yeah. And as long as. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It was. It was good enough that the archaeologists were able to identify it as cheese, right? So there was enough cheese like quality that they could see it and be like, ah, this is cheese, right? So it can't have gone bad, right? Because if it went bad, you would look at it and be like, hmm, I'm not sure what this is. Like, it looks like a gooey mess of things, right? But they were able to identify it as cheese. So... There are, like, qualities to it that are still cheese-like, you know? Perfectly edible. Exactly! Like, cheese is a great way to preserve food. So... How... how how better than to preserve it for thousands of years? How much stone do we have? 40? Almost there, almost there. I don't know but theory that will stay the same because it won't change flavor or color depending on the flowers. Ooh. Depending on like the ingredients they use, I suppose. Like, as long as the cheese has been dried and all the moisture has been taken out, it should still be good to go, right? <laughs> Turning it to dust. Oh, but then you'd have, like, cheese dust, and that might be really good, too. Because you could, like, sprinkle it onto your mac and cheese. God, like, imagine. Imagine going up to the cow that first, like, you know, you got the milk from. Ooh, and being like, hey, the milk that you gave us is going to turn into cheese. And then it'll survive for thousands of years. What the? Wait. Where's the... Oh no. Oh no. Where's the, uh, the ladder? What the heck? Oh, you had to. Okay, okay. Let's get some clay while we're here. What is he swinging? I am swinging a insect head. It's a level six sword that I randomly found in the chest. Ooh. Okay, wait, wait. It's four thirty. It's four thirty p.m. It's four thirty p.m. Gotta head back. Gotta head back. Wait, wrong way. Wrong way. Whoa. Quick, head back. Okay, 
Uh, I had to run back home, pick up. Oh, Abigail. Sebastian mentioned that he heard strange music while having dinner the other night. And just like that, everything's back to normal. It's like magic. Wait, uh, mineral, mineral. Mine. Yeah. Hey, how'd you know I was hungry? This looks delicious. Let's go. Abigail's best girl. Man. I need an Abigail in my life. <laughs> All right. Do we have time? I don't think we have time. I think we'll make it. No, it's all, it's already it's already 6 p.m. And we'll keep it in our pockets for next time. Where's all the wood? Where's all my wood? There's my wood. Okay. Uh, did I just put the wait stone away? Okay, there's the wood. There's a the stone. I don't even have enough stone. I need 200 stone. Ah, oh, darn. Never mind. We didn't even have enough to, to do it in the first place. And... Darn. Carry all the stuff. We have a backpack. That's why we have so much space. I'm loving the backpack. Okay. Sell the cog. Sell these. Sell that. Large egg. Mm. I guess I'll have to wait until tomorrow to get the uh, upgraded chicken coop. Which means... <clears throat> Which means we can go drop off. We can also go upgrade our uh, axe so that we can chop down more wood too. Because we won't need it for a while. And then we'll use the steel pickaxe that we've got to go dig into the mines and collect a whole bunch more iron as well. So, dried blueberries. Oh. Dried blueberries. Oh, wait, we could dry more blueberries. Okay, blueberries. There we go. And then over here, sell the sweet pea, sell the chub. 16. No, we can get a couple more harvests of that. And then we sell the blueberries here, the dried ones. And then we'll see how much the dried blueberries give us uh, tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. Have we tried making human cheese yet? I. Uh, I, I suppose it would be feasible to make human cheese. Um, the ethics of whether or not we should is another matter. Uh, I don't know. Maybe? I'm sure you could. Like, milk is milk, you know? The way that you turn that into cheese is relatively the same. But... I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> Yeah, theoretically. But it's one of those things where, like, you know, in, um, was it in Jurassic Park? Uh, who's the guy? I forget. The main character, I forget his name. He goes, like, your scientists were so occupied with whether or not they could, they never stopped to ask whether or not they should. You know? Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, there we go. Jeff Goldblum's character. You know, it's a very important thing to ask, you know? You were so occupied with whether or not you could, but you never stopped to think whether or not you should. I'm sure someone's out there doing that kind of stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I, if they do, I don't want to know. But I would not be surprised if people have. Like, wasn't there this one lady who... Actually, no, that's kind of gross. I won't say it. I won't say it. No, I won't say it. That's really gross. <laughs> uh... Yeah. 
they could brand it instead of happy cows. I mean, they could, but... <laughs> is it the knitting thing? No, it's the... I'm... <sighs> the bacon thing? I'm not sure if it's bacon. I'm not sure if you can call it bacon, but like, they fried it, you know. Oh, my kids have pet you more than once. I'm so sad. All right, head up to bed, sleep, and wake up. No, it wasn't the yeast one. It wasn't the, oh. I'm gonna be honest, chat. The dried blueberries are kind of mid compared to standard duck mayonnaise. Like it's only 400 for all of that work. Not only do we need five blueberries, right? We need five blueberries and a whole day to dehydrate them. Compared to duck mayonnaise, like that's a lot of work for 400 gold, you know? <laughs> Dried blueberries are kind of mid. We're gonna stick with the mayonnaise. This is pretty standard. All right, let's go. Is mayo just egg jam? Oh my God, you're right. Oh my God, you're right. Mayonnaise is just egg jam. I don't know how I feel about that, but yeah, technically I guess it is egg jam. I don't feel, I don't feel safe with that knowledge. That's so cute. Inchidiaya, hello. Thank you so much for being that membership. Welcome back, welcome back. Egg, egg jam. <laughs> what a cursed, what a cursed trade of thought. Just a little bit. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's go. So many eggs. More mayo. Egg chutney. I think, I mean, it can't be bad, right? Like egg chutney sounds kind of, kind of all right. Egg, egg, egg. Should we get another egg machine? 15 stone, 15 wood. I mean, I can't afford it. There we go. Six egg, si no, six, six egg, no, six, ma six mayo machines. Yeah, let's go. I was gonna say egg machines, but that's not the right, that's not right, it wasn't egg machines. Ooh. Are these done? No, not yet. Soon though, they're getting close. Ooh. No, because jam needs to go through a very long process. Does that make coffee fruit juice? I think coffee is technically bean juice, right? Because it's not the fruit of the coffee plant. It's like the bean that you roast and then from there you make the juice. The town lives on mayonnaise and is unhealthy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> is your food warm? Uh, it's still kind of warm. It's not that warm, but yeah, I should eat soon. I should eat it soon. Bean soup. What is the difference between a soup and, and juice? Juice is predominantly like one thing, right? Like apple juice is predominantly apple juice. Wait, no, there's fruit punch too, which isn't like... Because fruit punch has a multiple, like a variety of different fruits too. So, what is a soup? Soup savory? Is the savoriness of it? Mm. Coffee with oat milk is a two bean soup. <laughs> soup has solid components? Not necessarily. Like, broccoli soup doesn't necessarily have like chunks of broccoli on it, it could be like pureed broccoli. And it can be very smooth. 
Guess the difference between juice and broth. Mm. Ah, close on those days. Pumpkin soup. Yeah, pumpkin soup doesn't necessarily have like chunks of pumpkin, does it? I guess you could, but miso soup is broth. Mm. Juice is raw. Wait, maybe? Oh, chewing stick. I wish I could give it to my puppy. I wish I could give it to Biscuit. That'd be kind of cute. Okay, we're gonna swing around here, scoop this stuff here. Okay, we should be able to go talk to uh, Robin for the upgrade. Soup is decided in the will and hearts of him. <laughs> hey, Robin. All right. Deluxe chicken coop. Build. Let's go. Ooh. Let's go. I love her smile. First thing tomorrow morning. Let's go. All right. And we still have 10,000 gold left over. That's insane. Soup can stand alone. Soy vanilla coffee is three bean soup. Oh my god, that's right. It is. That's a lot of beans. Robin, I need a new silo. <laughs> need that Mary Robin mod? Wait, no, isn't Robin already married? That doesn't sound right. You need I right, like if they have a mutual falling out with Demetrius and like if there is a canonical reason why she would leave Demetrius, maybe. NTR mod? No, don't call it that. <laughs> don't call it the NTR mod. No. Oh. Oof, no. <laughs> Upgrade tools, upgrade copper axe. Yeah. All right. Home record mod. No, that's even worse. Okay. Um, chewing stick goes into the museum. Donate. We reached the time of discussion where questions of this guy's kind of hot dog is sandwich and a super cereal. <laughs> I love the is hot dog a sandwich question. I love that question because you get to learn a lot about people's um like priorities and they're like what they think is important, you know? Okay, so here's the thing. Whether or not a hot dog is a sandwich depends predominantly on what your definition of a sandwich is, right? And the definition of a sandwich is based in culture. It's based in society. It's based in like your lived experiences, right? It's not what is a sandwich, but what does a sandwich offer for you, you know? So for some people, a sandwich is an object that requires portability, right? And as long as it's some kind of a filling that's covered in bread and is portable, that classifies as a sandwich because for them, maybe um like their lives involve a lot of movement a lot of traveling so they want to be able to eat a food that is neatly packaged without having to sit down you know whereas others see it as more of an art style where they like oh it's a food that i want to be able to sit down and eat at a restaurant you know it's got all these feelings and you can't carry it around because if you carry it around the feelings will fall apart right sandwich is a state of mind <laughs> A hot dog isn't falling apart like a taco. You can call hot dog a soft shell taco that's ground recycling. <laughs> you know? So, and then there are other people who are like mathematical people who view sandwiches, hot dogs, tacos, or like a calzone based on math. And like, well, if these certain conditions are met, like three of the four sections of the food are covered with a carb then it is considered a i don't know like a like a hero or something right and then like if two out of the four sides or two out of the six faces are covered it's a hot dog or a taco or if it's one it's an open face sandwich or whatever you know like it depends it tells you about the person more than the food itself and it's really fun to talk about it and i love that all right 
right, we're gonna sell those, sell the sweet pea. Sell, sell, sell. Oyster, I think the oyster, wait, hold on, do we put the oyster away? It does not go to the community center, no. Blueberry does. Okay, we can sell the oyster. No, it's a lot of fun. Shinri, I know it's out of context, but I have one question I really want to ask. What does a roughly five minute mean in audition forum? It means about five minutes. That's really it. Like, four minutes and 30 seconds is fine. Five minutes, 30 seconds is fine. Like, it's around five minutes. Enough to, like, showcase your talents, your abilities, who you are as a person. So yeah. I would not think too much about it. Um, my own audition tape was like 4 minutes and 10 seconds, I think. It was pretty short. Um, it was on the shorter end of the 5 minutes, so it's around there. Yeah. Is the question a social experiment? Not necessarily a social experiment. It's more of like a really good way to like... Mm, like an icebreaker question, I guess, on a first date. That's what I would do. I would ask... Like, is hot dog a sandwich to someone I was dating? And I would, like, depending on how they respond, I would kind of know. Like, if they are the type to say, okay, let's let's entertain this silly thought and just have a fun time talking about it, right? Then I know, okay, they're the type of person I would jive with. They're the type of person that I would, like, really, I can see myself just having fun and enjoying my time spending with them, you know? If my first date asked that, I would get up and leave. No. <laughs> but like for me, I love having those kind of thought experiments. Like they don't have to be super serious or whatever, right? But, you know, that's kind of how I would judge things. Like, I would like, can you, are you chill enough to like just joke around and have a fun time without making everything super, super serious and all that? But that's just me, you know? Hanabis, I now identify Shinri as broth soup. Let us koi panions. The meat of potatoes. <laughs> oh, that's kinda cute. Thank you for the soup. Uh. Ah. There's an issue with the map layers on the silo. Yeah, I saw that. I think I don't think they expected us to ever put a silo this far up here. Which is kinda why you get that little clipping issue right over here. Like just there. But that probably, you know, considered they probably didn't like consider people putting silos all the way up there. <laughs> More emotion it goes into the deep things of life. Remember to think about lots, think a lot on the walks. Yeah, there's not much else to do besides you know, get lost in your thoughts about it. Yeah, let's go. I don't know because for me, it's very easy for me to get like really into the 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 weeds about like oh I gotta think about all the super serious things and like work and life and all that stuff but like I have I have plenty of time to do that on my own <laughs> I have enough time to just kind of worry and stress myself out about the serious things so I would much rather like if I'm out there and like I'm hanging out with someone I'd rather just have fun you know not take things too seriously keep it kind of casual just mess around okay i want to clear out this area around the bluegrass just so that we can help the bluegrass propagate a little more, a little bit more yeah i just put the food in my mouth i don't know what, <laughs> what <they're calling. laughs> it's like i'm just here for the delicious food as long as it's tasty it's good for good enough for me Like 80 more pieces? 80 more pieces? It's almost 100. Ooh. Yeah. Let's put that away. Nice. Oh. No. <laughs> There's like notifications on my Discord. Like I have to clear them out. <laughs> like I'm walking away, but if I see it pop up, I'm like, okay, well, I saw it pop up. Now I have to go clear it out, you know? <laughs> Potatoes are very versatile tubers. They are. Have you seen people doing dumplings, dumpling machines, and slapping away them? I I don't like those. I've seen those. I really do not like them um, because they're like intended for engagement bait, and I hate them. 
like if i see it i will scroll away immediately because it's not like it, it doesn't provide me anything of value which is why i hate it like it's just there to waste time and i don't like that like ah I, i've seen way too many of those like i see it once and it's the same and they just like repeat it over and over again because they know it gets clicks and that's why i don't like it shimmy's only one year one and has a lot of silo Meanwhile, I'm at eight and I only have two. I can't. I just, I need, I need more. I need to have this silo space, you know? Because, because what, what if there's like a big drought and I need to feed my chickens for seven years nonstop, you know? Who knows? Like, better, better to be prepared, right? <laughs> I want there to be enough, I want to have enough silos that I never have to worry about grass ever again. Which is physically impossible because they will continuously run out of grass, but you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, that feels good. All right. Mm, oh my God, that's so much fiber. <laughs> I was running out of fiber and now I have 430. God, that's so much fiber. Oh my god. Okay, uh, since we have that much fiber, let's go ahead and make one. Uh oh. Oh no, chat, we're out of wood. We're out of wood, oh gosh. Okay, in that case, what I'll do is I'll move, I'll space out the uh, scarecrow. So I'll put like one right here. Like that. And then I'll pop this one out. And then shuffle this one a little bit lower. Like this. So the 7x7 seven seven area kind of overlaps. So they both capture like that top half. And this captures this bottom half. Yeah. Alright. Now we continue breaking all these stones. Ooh. it's a lot of stones. Ooh, more stones. How much toilet paper did you stock up in 2020? Barely any. Instead, I went and got a bidet. And I haven't looked back since. Because a bidet doesn't use toilet paper. It cleans so it cleans so well that you only really need to like get two sheets to dry. So every single time, instead of using multiple squares, uh, you just use a bidet instead. It's been amazing. I want to have to ask how hard would you say it is to get a collab? For me? Uh pretty difficult. But that's a skill issue on my part. Because I am very much a solo streamer. I like just doing things on my own, unless it's with the boys. Um, but like I would have to really want to get value out of like a collab with someone to want to collab with them. And there are people I do want to collab with. I just I just like being alone a bit more because it's it's easier to control the flow of a stream and the energy level of a stream if it's just me. Um, because I think I am probably close to the bottom of like VTubers when it comes to energy. A lot of people in the VTubing sphere have so much energy and I cannot keep up with it. So for me, it's easier for me to just kind of be on my own and just stream myself without a collab because that way I can you know keep the comfy energy comfy vibes going the way that I like it and it's sustainable for me um like the boys sometimes are already like remarkably wild and out there so it's hard for me to keep up with that and especially the people who are like you know the other creators around my size like even those they're like still pretty high energy so it's hard for me to keep up with them yeah. Which makes it really nice when I'm able to collab with someone and our energy matches, it makes it like a little bit more special. You know. You're chill but in a good way. Sometimes it's not about burst of energy, but the consistency. Yeah, the consistency is like the big thing for me. Ooh. Okay, it's almost midnight. Let us go head back home. Wait, how much 
to 143. Oh, I can't watch TV now. Because, oh wait, I can. All right, tomorrow is clear and sunny. Let's go. Ooh. Oh my God, 3,000 again, and it's all for mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Bayonets is so powerful. We are single-handedly powering through the entire year just off Mayo money. It's insane. The bookseller is in town today. Alright, fortune today is... Mildly perturbed. That's fine. Ooh. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some water. Yeah. Our fortune for today is egg. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then seven. And then eight is over there. Hey, Robin. Eight. There we go. All right. And we should get some hay just in case it starts raining again next time. So it's already prepared for us. Mayonnaise made from fish eggs. I. Maybe? I would try. I would. I don't know if fish eggs have enough fat in them to emulsify into mayo, but like, I, I could see it possibly be a thing. Ah, there you are. You're hiding in the bushes. That would be so salty. I'm sure there's a way you can get the salt out, but... I don't know, maybe? I would try it, I would try it. One, two, three, four. Don't think it wasted that. Have a good rest of the stream, I'm gonna head off today because I'm close to stay in Delivia from the cold. Oh no! You hope you're able to get some good rest. Thanks for stopping by, Moru. Recipes for raw mayo on Google. I know there's some recipes where you get, um, like the, like mentaiko, like the row, and then you just kind of mix it with mayo, but it's not like mayonnaise made from roe. You know, that's the difference. But I don't know, maybe? <laughs> Radish. Cute. Okay, what are the, what are that? What are this? What are that? What are that? And then, yeah, we're good on everything else. Let's go. Mm. Our axe is still cooking. Um, hmm. Robin is working on our farm. We're two thirds of the way through summer, so we should start looking into fall, preparing for fall. I wonder, wait, hold up. We have fall seeds, right? Like a variety? Yeah, wild seeds, fall. Assortment of what? Ah, I've requested mushroom, wild plum, hazelnut, blackberry. Ah, we don't have any of those. All right. Let's go check the mushrooms and then drop everything off. And we can head over to the mines while the pig or the while the regular axe is being upgraded. We can head into the mines and then see how far we can go so that we can start harvesting iron. Maybe Romeo could work if some savory oil was added to it. Ooh, like a sesame oil? I could see that. Alright. Let's go sell everything. Oops. Okay, sell the squash. Sell the peppers. Wait. Radish is not community center. Okay, sell that. Sell the duck feather. Mm, should we sell the blueberries? Yeah, let's sell the blueberries. Yeah, I'm gonna sell the blueberries. It takes way too long to dehydrate them anyway. And eat the duck, you know. Oh! Mayo. Any more eggs? Large eggs. Let's go. Turn it all into the mayo. Put 
this away, put that away. We're gonna hold on to the common mushroom and the hops. Last time I had fish row was in New Year's at my sister's home. Oh, was it good? I hope it was tasty. I really like the taste of fish row. It's really nice. Uh, let's take the bug stick with us and we'll put the mushroom in there. And then drop all of these off, drop the fiberglass rod, scythe, and then these. Wait, where's my field snacks? Field snacks, field snacks. Field snacks. Do. What? Oh, there it is. Okay. I was like, oh no. I must have missed the field snacks. And Moonshio, thank you for the gifted membership. Thank you. Chat, almost the entire day is gone. It's already 5.30. <laughs> Oh no! So Shinri, what did you do while you were in Japan? I played Stardew Valley. <laughs> Wait, can't you play Stardew Valley anywhere? Yes. But I couldn't. I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. Alright, I want to go talk to the bookseller. Alright, trade in books. We have one Woody's, right? Yeah, Woody's Secret. Oh! <gasps> He gives us 20 hardwood for one woody secret? Oh, I should have brought it with me. No. It's going to be like an hour to walk back and forth now. Darn it. Uh, let's go into the mines. Oh, hey. How's it going, Penny? We're lucky to have a liar in such a small town. When you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget the realities of your life. That's, that's a mood. Felt. Felt. Same thing with me, except for video games. <gasps> hey, Abigail. How's it going? Yeah, I hope I don't get a tan this summer. Don't worry, Abigail. You, will, you won't get a tan. You, you turn pink and burn. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's really hard to... It's hard work to get a tan, like a proper tan. <laughs> it's more likely that you just... Turn pink. Per yeah, pink burn and then peel. It's... Yeah. Usagi, hello! Welcome back. Quite the upgrade. Thank you for having me up that membership. And tea time! Thank you for the 14 months. Welcome back. Oh, great upgrade. Pleasure to be a great penguin. Wish me luck. I get the chance to apply for my dream job. <gasps> Ooh. Good luck, good luck. I wish you the best. Good luck with the dream job. Good luck with the... Good luck with the application. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. That's exciting. Man. Sorry, chat. It's been like six hours, so like my brain's kind of starting to run out of energy. Actually, it's been a little bit past six hours. Ooh. A single hardwood. Ooh, a door scroll. Let's go. We'll drop that off at the museum tomorrow. Yeah. Oh my god, this makes it so much easier. Having the upgraded pickaxe, like everything is one hit. This is so nice. You haven't eaten yet. Yeah, the food is sitting here in the little bag. If hot dogs are sandwiches and sandwiches are hot dogs, then are sandwiches sandwich cookies hot dogs? Uh, it depends on how you define them, but like possibly, depending on how you define it, yes. Like there is also the whole thing about um, like are all like all squares are rectangles, and. Both squares and rectangles are all quadrilaterals. However, not all quadrilaterals are rectangles, and nor are all quadrilater quadrilaterals squares. You know? Because a square has specific requirements. Um, that's not just, it has four sides. It has four sides, and they're all at right angles, and the uh, lengths of each of the sides are identical. 
congruent? No, not congruent. Uh, I forget what the word, specific word is. There's a specific word for that. Um, so like, it depends on how you define them. So like, it's possible for something to be something, but also not the other way around. Like rectangles, you know? Rectangles are just uh, are quadrilaterals with right angles, and that's really the only definition is. The sides, the length of the sides can be different. Um, as long as the angles are still 90 degrees, so... Yeah, classifications, yeah! So it depends on how you classify sandwiches, right? Classify, it depends on how you classify what a hot dog is, and so on. Yeah! The content is from within, patty itself is fundamentally different from sliced bread. But if you have like, deli meat, sliced deli meat, how, what makes, what's the difference between a patty and sliced deli meat, you know? And then you get to have the fun conversation of like, oh, you know, for the good of society, this is why we should consider one thing and not the other thing, you know? It's just fun to talk about. All humans are primates, but not all primates are humans. Exactly, exactly. Like, all of A can be B, but that does not necessarily mean that B is all of A. Or all of, all of B is all of A too. But it's fun to think about. More hardwood, please. Where do we even find hardwood naturally? Because I only find hardwood through... Uh... Like these boxes. I should maybe remember when I said we moved to a new country for work. Well, now I'm in Ireland for three months. And I finally got my nursing license. <gasps> finally settled in, really missed your streams. Oh my goodness, Usagi, congratulations. Whoa. Congrats, congrats. I hope the move was not too difficult. Hope you are settling in well in Ireland. And I hope the work is not too difficult. That's so exciting. Oh my goodness. Let's go. I'd love to see that. Wow. That, that must be so scary. Well, I will I don't know if I don't know if it's scary for you, but for me it would be scary. Moving to another country entirely for work. Like I know I'm here in Japan temporarily, but like I don't know, that's a lot of it's a lot of moving parts in a single go, and it takes a lot. Uh, it takes a certain type of courage to be able to do that. I think. I hope you are adjusting well to it. Congratulations again. Mm. I like the music of this stage, of these uh, ice caves. Okay. Oh, there it is. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, shoes. I took comfort in your comfy streams. I even included the background while I studied. Let's go. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. One defense, one immunity. Two defense, one immunity. It, chat. Chat. Look. It's the boots with the fur. Got the whole club looking at. No, wait, that's that's such an old song. I don't know if I want to sing that. It's gonna make me feel old. <laughs> oh no, no, <laughs> it's so old. <laughs> it just reminds me of how how ancient I am. Oh, wait. Gold ore and solar essence. Okay, one of the solar essences will be going over to the community center. Oh my god. Save it for karaoke? I, oh my god. I wonder how many people would listen to that for the first time in like almost, I don't know, how long has it been? Like 14 years? 15 years? I don't know when it, came, when it first came out. Shawty got low, low. No. <laughs> I can't see myself singing that one. That one. I don't know if I have the energy for that, you know? But man. We're gonna, we're gonna sing the song, and then half the people in chat won't understand what it is, and then the other half will go through that Saving Private Ryan cutscene where Matt Damon's character slowly ages from like his like 24 year old self to like his old grandpa self like that's what's gonna happen half of it <laughs> just <laughs> what song i don't even know what the title of the song is 
It's like apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. So what that? I, I don't know what the title of it is. I, I never paid attention to that. I only know about the ooh. I only know like the chorus bit. Let's go. Oh my god, there's so many slimes. We're getting close to finishing that slime uh slime challenge. Was it we need like 99 slimes in order to fill the community center one? Ooh. It's 10 p.m. I think we can make it to the next one. Oh, this one has a little star on it. Oh, it's so cute. I'm sorry I have to kill you. Wow, you're tanky. Ooh. Magnet ring. <gasps> Double magnet ring power. Let's go. Magnets, how do they work? Whoa. Plays oldies. Man. There was like uh there's like one radio station that I used to listen to. I'm not even I'm not even sure if it's a thing or if it's like a local thing. I don't want to say it just in case like docks is where I used to live. But like there's a very specific like radio station that I used to listen to every single day when I was going like I didn't understand it because back then I didn't speak English. And I was like still a baby and I was like learning. But I have it in my brain. It's still like it's still there deep inside my my memory archives. And sometimes I'm like, man, I want to go back to those times, you know? Yeah. The slime had a family. You're right. It had a family. Puts on sunglasses. <laughs> No, do not anthropomorphize these uh, these creatures anymore. They're already too cute, and I feel bad about killing them already. Like, look at the little sit sprites. They look like the ones from Spirited Away, you know? Ah, oh, it's... Ah, oh, no, it's already midnight. Is Puniko heavy? No, Puniko's about like four to five pounds. They are... Like... A hefty, hefty weight? Like, a good, good holding weight, you know? Adventurous cousins. No. Oh. I think we're gonna have to go call it here, chat, because I am like getting really hungry, and I I think the food's cold at this point. <laughs> Ooh, grapes. Oh. Ooh, grapes. Wait, what? What was that? I heard a sound. I heard a... it sounded like one of the, the Jimmy knows. <gasps> Duck mayo. Okay. Toss in the duck mayo, toss in the grapes, and then everything else we hold on to. Let's go. Hanabi, thank you for the soup. I have a question. Are koi's were waffles. Does that make us a koi fool? Aww. <laughs> I suppose it does. But it would be more like taiyaki, you know? A burp for sure. Ah, burp. Okay, let's go save. <gasps> Ooh, water and camp proficiency, hope proficiency, hardwood fence, cheese press, cheese press. <gasps> Wait, a quality sprinkler. What? A quality sprinkler? What does a quality sprinkler do? More range? Oh, oops. That was combat. Wow. What the heck? Oh my god. 6,000 gold, chat. Oh, hey, Gerard. Thank you for the raid. Hello, hello. Welcome. Thank you for the raid. Uh. <laughs> you've, you've just been geraded? Get Rexed? Wait, I see two gray messages. Which one is it? Is it Get Rexed? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Dang it, I thought you'd say something wacky. Um, that's Bettle's thing. I can I can channel Bettle for a little bit. Um uh -huh, Hey, hey everyone. Welcome to my channel. Uh -huh. Is that is that wacky? Is that wacky enough? I don't know. 
uh sorry that you guys had to raid because i'm actually planning on raiding out because i it's i've been streaming since i woke up and it's been like six hours so i i want to eat food i haven't eaten anything <laughs> since i woke up <laughs> and it's like 5 30 p.m um so yeah raid tavi are you raiding tavi is tavi still alive okay everyone hang on hold on to your hold on to your butts uh do not do not take your seatbelts off we're gonna there we go progress saved i'm gonna send you on a raid rest well bro eat well thank you thank you i hope your stream was fun too hope your stream was good yeah <laughs> sorry chad i do need to eat though because i ordered food and it's getting cold and i don't want it to go too cold but yeah thank you all for stopping by we all right outro so that it doesn't it doesn't make me okay turn the music off i'm gonna keep it in uh starting music yeah Thank you for the raid though, I really appreciate it. Hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend. Um, let me send you off over to Octavio, who's streaming. Is he, is he streaming? Let me see, raid. Junon my soul? Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, spoiler warning. Okay, we're sending you over to Octavio. Back to back raids, yeah. So hold on to your butts chat. Do not uh, change that dial or something i forget <laughs> thank you all again for stopping by um apologies for oversleeping uh i don't know why i was really tired but um i'm really glad we got another long stardew sunday stream and then again yeah let me uh i think that's it a new schedule coming out soon Please keep your eye open on Twitter and on the YouTube community post for that. But otherwise, thank you all for stopping by. Tomorrow we have Minecraft Monday because we took apart the entire uh, Shinri Kansen tracks. We're going to be putting them back in, but more clear or something. Or we're going to figure something out, but yeah. <laughs> thank you again for stopping by and I'll see you soon. Oyasumi, everybody. Oyasumi.